You know, it's funny. I was speaking the whole entire time and I didn't even realize my mic was off. You know, it's funny. I was... And uh, it, good to know that, you know, it, my stream has audio. Uh, hi, everybody. Gildam here. Uh, doing a morning stream. Uh, now, I'm not expecting there to be a lot of motion and, and or like motion and chat you know i'm not expecting a lot of people to be really all that talkative but that's okay uh i got a wet cat in my lap because my cat was really naughty <laughs> made a mess of himself and had to give him a bath now he's uh now he's all chill he's not shivering so much which is good but just got him in my lap trying to warm him up got my blanket on it's early in the morning got a pretty good uh got out at a pretty good time so i decided you know, I'd just chill, do a little bit of um, a morning stream. That'd be pretty good. Oh man, Until Dawn. I've never played it, but I've heard a lot of things about it. And the audio is going from uh, what OBS is showing, so this is good. Until Dawn. Uh, worked out the brightness, so that, that's pretty good. So, I've heard a lot of good things about this. Haven't played it. It's been out for a while, but um, I figured it'd be a good thing to actually do if I was going to play a game just spazically early in the morning. Let's see. We've got bonus content, status collectibles. No one cares about that because I haven't even played this. I'm doing this blind. That's right. The butterfly effect. A tiny body butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Uh, now I get it, Chaos Theory. Hi Reggie, how you doing? You're probably not too happy. Pretty upset, pretty pissed. Again, my cat got a bath and he's, he's not having it. That's okay. You can just, you can, I'll just warm you up as we play Until Dawn, which is a uh, cold game, Arctic chill, something along those lines. Your story is one of many possibilities. Is this how this works? <sighs> choose your actions carefully. Oh, I'm not going to choose them carefully at all. This will be interesting to see what happens, where I wind up. I do like it when the game gives me choices and I can be like as critical as I want or you know I can think very carefully. Knowing my luck, I'm gonna kill everybody. Because this is a horror game. Feels very much like a movie you'd watch. Uh, and knowing my luck, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna kill everybody. Is this our murderer? Murder man? Oh my I know God. what you did last summer. Like you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit cruel? Oh, come on. She deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on Hannah. Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, and just because Oh, I already hate all our characters. I know nothing about them, and already I, I, I don't like them. anybody's man. Whatever you say, darling. So, are you going to be the one that I want to keep alive, or are you going to be the one that's going to die first? Anna! Uh oh. So what what kind of prank is being portrayed here? Mike? <laughs> it's Hannah. Hey Hannah. Look, I literally know nothing about what's going on other than uh, I, this game has been out for a while and uh, I get to make choices. Josh. I actually have control. All right, let's see. Uh, so based on what I'm seeing, you know, play it over and over again, make some different choices, but we're doing it blind, so 
Uh, this shall be interesting. Who's gonna live? Who's gonna die? Um, tutorial. Okay, so we're looking around. I'm moving. Left, left one moves. Right one, I guess, controls the camera somewhat. All oh, this, I bet this is the action that makes you kill everyone. Or do you just pick up the note? Uh, R2, right stick to inspect the note. Here we go. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike, oh no. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Uh, I, I already don't like Mike. Hannah, Hannah seems like she's pretty innocent. Like, she, uh, she got thrown into this situation. Maybe, maybe there was a reason she wanted to come here. Uh, my, my guess is, um, we want to keep Hannah alive and Mike, Mike has to go. What's that? Uh, can't, can't go through the door. Gotta find the key. Such an elaborate puzzle in ever, in modern day. Uh, where are we? <laughs> all, all I'm getting from this is we're in a cabin in the woods during a snowstorm, which uh, is a really good setup for a horror movie. Uh, we got like two people passed out at the counter, which uh, you no, know, knowing me, I'm I'm this guy right here. Oh, am I supposed to? Am I supposed to interact with the faucet? No, that's not a faucet. I guess I gotta interact with the bottle. I mean, I I kind of am. Is this just them saying like, uh, "Hey, look at this! It's a bottle." Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm -hmm. I got your note. Glad you could make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. No, Hannah, don't do it. He's a oh. he's a douchebag. Yeah. No, Hannah, have some standards. She's taking your shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah, Hannah, no. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. This is all got Just a stupid prank. Uh, hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Yeah, I agree. You guys are terrible. I don't even know who we are. Uh, oh, I guess I'm going for the others. There's someone outside. What the hell? So are these the choices Anna! I get to make? What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. It's what just a prank, do? guys. Just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! I'm Hannah. Bev. Hannah! Oh, no. After her, you know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Uh, the oh, correct shit. action. Oh, okay, action time events. We're doing square. Is this where she has the option of dying? Uh, fast, fast. We're going fast. Look, I got, I gotta find her. Quick and now and in a hurry. Cool, babe. It's like an interactive horror movie. Oh, what is it? Uh, follow the footprints. That, that's probably the safest route. It's probably the wrong route. Or am, am I gonna get gored? Oh man, you gotta keep that it, heart Hannah. rate up. Where Bev? Are you? Oh, I don't, I don't know. She's probably gone. Oh, not again. 
I, I go early in the morning and already get I got bots doing the thing. Let me just uh you know, let me just delete message. There we go. Uh that's better. All right, what were we doing? Uh, not becoming famous. Oh, we got no signal. This isn't. Oh, you got the flashlight out. Okay. This might be a little wise. Although I gotta say, I'm, I'm probably, uh, I'm probably way off from Hannah. She probably didn't go that far. I mean, it is a snowstorm. <laughs> Whoa. You just kind of disappeared into the background. Oh, hold. Okay, all right. I gotta keep this heart. I gotta keep my heart rate going because, uh, you know, it's freezing. I gotta keep warm, or at the very least, get that adrenaline pumping. Anything to keep going. Is this a mitten? No, it's a statue. Oh no. Death totem. Death, guidance, lost, danger, fortune. Oh, I, I think we want the fortune, not the death totem. Uh, indigenous tribes believe that the butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. So, uh, my guess is that, that, that prophecy was us. That premonition was us. We're, we're going to fall onto a rock and, uh, dead. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clearer. Wait, that, that told me literally nothing. Is that because I only got a piece who is that person? I don't think I'll ever know. Alright, fine. Time to wander about aimlessly. Cause my inevitable death. Well, that looks... That looks... I have to say, that looks like uh, success. I, I didn't even know. Okay. Beth. I thought her name was Bev, but it's Beth. Dude, I, I control her. <laughs> I know, it's so weird, isn't it? Gildam, I can't believe you're controlling me. This is so weird. I'm, 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 I can I can make her sarcastic and rolling her eyes, and it's like I gotta find Hannah, who is your sister. And uh, you, you, I guess you don't seem very funny or romantic, but you're honest and charitable and brave and... You're really curious. Care about Hannah and Josh because the, I guess that's your brother and sister. Uh, everyone else is kind of lame. You, apparently, you really don't like Emily. I don't even know who Emily is. She's probably she's probably the person who was doing the thing. The twins. Uh, I I have nothing going on in terms of mystery. I'm pressing the button that makes you go faster. Uh, that that's curious. As in, like, probably the thing that's gonna kill me. Hannah. Hello. Hannah. Oh my God. My sister. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Hannah. You know, they, they do have somewhat of a re resemblance. Uh-oh. No, Hannah, you're the only person I care about so far. Screw the phone, we'll be okay. It was probably our only lifeline in surviving all this, but... um. Uh-oh. This is where Beth dies. No. Oh, is this where I get the chance to either save myself or 
or um, you know, let, let Hannah, Hannah die. Hold on. Oh no, that's that's pretty horrific. Uh, I guess, I guess, let go. You know, I choose not to die a horrible death. Or at the very least, I choose not to have Hannah die a horrible death. I, I don't think it mattered. I think either Hannah was going to die or... Uh, I was going to die. But I was going to be responsible for Hannah's death. I guess technically I still am, but... Oh. I, I am this guy. Oh, now he, he can be sarcastic. And uh, I don't know what he's... I'm thinking. No, I was just gonna say, um, I feel like both Beth and Hannah, at least, like, tutorial-wise, I feel like, uh, given that set of circumstances, if I let Hannah go, uh, I think Beth was gonna die, but she was gonna be like, I killed my own sister, so she would've died with guilt, but having let, um having let go uh I, maybe there was a chance that uh she could potentially have saved Tana probably not though oh well before we begin there are a few things i need to make sure you understand you uh, see, no, no. Can change what happened last year the past is beyond our control you That's have true. To accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. I, I guess. See, I hear what he's saying, and it sounds good, but I, I honestly so, think I'm going to, uh... You have committed to commence with this game. This no. And I want Therapist, to man, I don't want to be analyzed. You're going to do it anyways, though. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. I, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm not scared. I'm just, no like, I, I don't care. Things may get. Uh, I want you to reprimand me and commit me to a mental asylum. I All want right. to get the worst ending possible. Well, well okay, I, I say that sarcastically, but honestly, I feel like that's what's going to happen. So, uh, you, you know, every beginner's trap I'm going to fall for. It. It is oh, I'll tell you what I feel. I feel nothing. In order to get the most out of this okay, I'll tell you what I'm feeling. I'll comply. R2, here we go. Oh... I'll tell you what I feel. I know what I feel. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Be honest? It makes me, uh, uneasy. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? It's the scarecrow. Is that even a, oh my god, it's an option. Well, I see. I see. Let's yeah, see. pretty normal. Let's Nothing to write home to. Not there. Will you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. How about a day? Oh no. Why not? I'd be lonely. Don't know what I'd do. It's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Perhaps this is something we can explore in the future. To be honest, I think I'd be okay living on a farm, I'm but we're out of time. <laughs> I, see, yeah, <laughs> what what was this whole point? He and wants my money. Then try to surround yourself with friends. Look, having gone done uh sick. counseling. I can safely say sometimes you come out with something, sometimes you don't. And in this situation, I feel like I didn't. 
feel like he's just probing my mind to figure out what makes me tick so that we can get to the bottom line of whatever is plaguing my head. Uh, still, you know, I, I have to commend them. That was, that was pretty rad. I, I like it so far. Again, I do feel like I'm going to run into every beginner's trap, and that's, uh, that, that's pretty depressing. But with that in mind, I feel like I can move on with the game successfully, knowing that if I kill everybody, it's because the game tricked me into it. Uh, that said, I mean, it's still on, it's still on me. I, I, I'm the one that was the downfall for everybody in the cabin. Unless we got one survivor. I don't know if that was like a necessity, if that's what's going on here. I still don't even know if like Hannah and Beth were, um, were like meant to die, or if that's just like tutorial. Also, I, I, my, my symbolism alarm is going off. I, I feel like everything I'm seeing is very symbolic, you know, it's supposed to represent something, or it's supposed to mean something. Uh, I, I can tell you right now, though, I, I, it's beyond me, like, I know, it, I know what I'm seeing is supposed to represent something, but at the same time, I don't know what I'm really looking at. <laughs> In other words, you know, this, this intro is really good. Today is the one year anniversary That's what of I feel. the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Did they say Thanks Mount Washington? There's an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. My, my, there is one individual my, we're considering my poor, as a the poor twins. But his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them a Washington family. <laughs> we're in fictional uh, mountains so far. Is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but <coughs> the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know breed life. tragic events. Thank you for joining us. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Hannah and well, Beth hello, Washington. And Is this Josh? All right, let's do that again. The, the, the brother who lived? All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood uh, Winter Getaway. I, I don't, I don't so, think uh, I like let this let guy. You know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room. For I mean, like, I don't. I don't like I him, but I don't think he's a you're bad guy. probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us um, going back after what happened last year. But is is this Josh? I just want you all to know, um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still here together, uh, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that oh, hey, we'll never Kitty, forget. How are you doing? For, for the sake of are my you sisters. Are, and, are you loving my you know. affections? Okay. I'm petting so, my cat. Drying off my cat. party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this uh, one trip. Uh, it, is this forget, see right? the reason I don't yes. like this guy say he's Josh right it feels like he's just tr treating it like um, he's not really treating it properly you know maybe he's just trying to uh, avoid the situation you know he's trying to distract himself but very possible uh, uh, de people handle death and like you know um, close situ like personal situations where like personal conflict differently everyone handles it very differently blackwood pines blackwood pines uh, i'm just curious like, like, who am i now am i the person i want to live. 
That's, that's probably the most important question. Mem mem memento Mori. Ten hours until dawn. Interesting. Oh, and hey, can I can I go towards Killer? Is that a possibility? Yes, no, maybe so. Probably no. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Okay. I don't remember Hannah too well, like what everything said. Hello? I remember, I think she didn't like Emily, you know, there? Emily was like the person that she hated the most. Path to Cable Car Station. Oh boy, okay, Sam. We want Sam to live so far, you know, Sam, Sam good. That's what I'm getting, you know, Sam, Sam is like the one person we want to live so far. I could be wrong though. Maybe we'll come to learn that Sam is the worst person. I guess what I'm trying to say is I just don't have enough information to uh, really understand. Oh, what? Gates busted, climb over Chris. Uh, but let me tell you, oh, what I Jesus. wouldn't like to do is climb this gate. That seems like a bad time. Uh, I guess, you know, we'll, we'll just take it safe. Any sort of rash decision would be pretty bad. I suppose I gotta do this right, otherwise she, uh, she die. Could've jumped. Probably would've been quicker. She'd probably end up with a sprained ankle, knowing my luck. Do we take the tree down, or does she slowly climb down? Oh no, she just she just stuck the landing. It was good. Are you really good at quick time events? No. I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, Liam. Uh, I I am I am so so. If they give me enough time, I'm I'm I can probably do what I need to do. Hey, squirrel. Oh, don't move. <laughs> He's my friend. He'll tell all the squirrels and they'll save me from a horrible situation. I I will be the squirrel king queen. Squirrel Queen Sam. That that'll be me. Except, you know, I don't sound like Sam at all. But so far, you know, basically she she's the person that we all want to live. Uh, so far. Again, I don't know really all that much about Sam other than she seems like she's pretty alright. Oh, indigenous people and the butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed in butterflies. I believe that butterflies carry dreams. And You know, I think I already read this. Uh, because I think it was talking about the totems, but... Uh, you know, death, it was also talking about all the totems. Uh, black butterflies prophesized the dreamer's death. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Uh, brown butterflies foretold the tragedy affecting friends. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. So basically, go for the white and the yellow. Uh, maybe look at the brown ones and, uh, you know, hopefully we don't encounter any red ones and we avoid the black ones like the plague. You know, the, the black ones can go away. I'm not so good at English, but I will be glad to look how you will be alive until dawn. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, Liam. Um, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I apologize. I'm, I'm terrible with words and pronunciations. Um, but, you know, th thank you. Thank you for uh, watching over. You, you can be you can be my yellow butterfly, Liam. Uh, searching totems around any location. You know, I am, I am open 
to uh to all suggestions. I I'm doing this blind, by the way. So, you know, everything I do here it's um I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, it's a yellow bus. Oh man, look for a bird. Guidance totem. Look for look for a bird. Here we go. Yellow, yeah. Indigenous tribes believe that the butterflies brought dreams and that. Yeah, okay. Um play. It's all a, it's all a blur. We only got two pieces, so that's all we know. Yeah, let's go. Search for the uh, LOL. Hey, it's all good. Oh wait, no, we want we wanted that. That told all the things. Let's see. So Sam, here's what we need to know. Uh, she seems honest, charitable, so good traits. Not so funny. So uh, she she she's not a funny person. She's looking at me like you don't think I'm funny. Uh, she's pretty brave, so you know Sam, Sam is like um brave brave woman. Uh, she is she's protagonist late not very romantic and not very curious uh if i remember correctly beth was pretty curious let's see she is very neutral to everyone she likes just the least though just and mike Th that's okay mike mike was kind of responsible for hannah's death so uh i mean indirectly i should probably throw in like he didn't intentionally try to uh kill Hannah it's just kind of he just kind of started the tr like every everything that happened the events passes beyond our control god I gotta put your ass behind you you can't change the past but you can change the future something Chris? along those lines you here the bag's here what are you you're not in the bag are you oh no what do we have it's here? just a prank bro I feel like that's what's gonna happen right now. It's it's just a prank. Um, I'll I'll be good Samaritan, you know. I'll, I'll close the bag. You see, that's um, that that's me being good Samaritan, not really being nosy person. Chris has a crush on Ashley, uh, methodical, protective, and humorous. So he's funny, man. And protective and methodical. So is, is is he like you know the good good oh, dude, so or is he I like I'm a bro, bro? Kind of what? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Uh, right around here. It's gonna blow your mind. Chris, Chris is like, oh man, you have no idea what's in store for you. Uh, I'm just curious. Am I gonna be responsible for your death? I'm, I've already decided I'm gonna uh, fall into every rare, beginner right? trap and probably murderize everybody. Come on. Not intentionally, Please. just, uh, uh you know, messing up all quick time Why events, trying to do what things do you properly. What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of Ski Lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met uh, Josh? Wait, man? so we're, we're going shooting? He's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? I mean, uh, all right. I suppose it's important when I gotta like try to defend myself, but uh, here we go, Ricochet Sam dies. Uh, R two to shoot. All right, shoot. Oh, I actually have to go for this one. All right, I did good, except it took me like ages. Shot the can. All right, uh, and sh shoot. There we go. And uh, and you're dead. And I'm dead. I gotta get better wow, at going to the target. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, I don't think so, girl. Chris is, uh, you know, he's trying to impress Sam. Except he doesn't Anybody like Sam. He likes Ashley. That big, that close. Oh, don't do it. Chris, don't do it. Alright. We, we, we gotta we gotta be nice, you know. We we gotta we gotta go for not the animal abuse. Nice Your ass just got sacked. Hey, Sharpie. 
sharpshooter or a ride's coming. My, my guess is, you know, if we if we would have gone for the squirrel, Sam would be like all all sick and like, how could you shoot my friend? You're a you're a terrible person. And I'd feel bad. I, I would get I would get guilt. You know what that means? It, I'm controlling Chris also. This is impressive. Can I look at that wanted? It's definitely weird coming back. Wanted. Victor. Found look Okay, a torn up wanted poster about a fugitive on the mountain dated 1998. Someone didn't want people to see this. Uh, Victor Milligram. Uh, this is Mel, pretty tall. Uh, last known address, Black Wood Pines. So, uh, there, there's a, there's a, there's a wanted man in the mountains that I'm probably gonna run into. He's either gonna be, uh, he's gonna be like, you know, uh, uh, ambiguously decent, or he's gonna be the re reason we all die. Still don't know. Locked. Yeah, uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked, to keep people out. He said I mean, that's, that's cool, cool, but uh, I, I don't know. He said they found people. <laughs> oh, he's got a key. It's creepy. Oh, I gotta unlock the door. I I I unlock the door. You? Oh, real gentleman. So is this is this the beginning of a weird relationship between Chris and? Sam, even though he likes Ashley, is Ashley like a terrible person? You know, it's like, Chris, you should be with Sam. She's 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 nice and uh, the embodiment of everything good and queen of the squirrels. Guess we gotta wait. I mean, I, you don't know. I don't know. No matter how rich you are. Did you play this game before? No, I'm doing this blind. This is first run, uh, completely blind. Don't know anything about any of the characters. Uh, this is all an experience to me, uh, live on stream. Uh, so I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I, all I know is, oh man, I, I can control Chris. Yeah, look at Chris. He's he's oh, he's so sarcastic. Um, so yeah, it's like I I know nothing of these characters. Literally, it did the tutorial where basically you get Hannah and Beth murdered. Well, uh, a series of unfortunate events, and uh, I guess we we're technically introduced to all these characters, but um, didn't really get much of an introduction until now. So far. We know about Sam and Chris. Uh, and I think... I think that's about it. I don't really know too much else outside that. I guess, I guess we can actually look at Chris's character traits. Let's see. Uh, he's, I guess, honest to at least a decent degree. Charitable, funny, not so brave. A uh, little romantic, uh, and a lot more curious, at least more so than Sam. Let's see, their relationship status, uh, oh. You know, he was, he was okay with Sam, but now, now he's starting to actually have a little bit of a crush towards Sam. Uh, meaning, you know, him and Sam, they, they could, they could end up falling for each other. He really, he still pretty, really likes Ashley, though. Uh, don't forget to search totems at any location. So, based on that, finally, you coming? Well, I, I was gonna say based on what you're telling me, I should look. I should look at uh, in the little um, room for a totem, but I guess I. Uh, man, I guess the idea is you know I could go in the car talk to Sam, but I, I suppose I need to go look for, like, a totem here, right? There might be a totem here. Got, gotta find the totems. It's an Easter egg hunt. Except, you know, I, I still don't want to do that. I suppose the idea is I need to activate the lift. But I want to find a totem. 
I feel like if I try to focus on trying to find the totems, though, like, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna drive everybody nuts. I, I will try to search what I can, but at the same time, I kind of want to play the game, you know? I don't really want to... I don't really want to hold things up. I'm just like going to the prom. Oh man, you went to the prom. I went to the prom. Let me tell you, it, it went a lot better than I thought it was gonna be because I was pretty much a third will when I went to prom. But then I ended up stealing someone else's date. Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. Jo Josh seems. Like he's trying to avoid uh, dealing with his two si sisters, no, no, no. like his, his siblings. He's trying to avoid that whole bombshell, which you know I, I sort of understand. Bro, good talk. Did did she just friend zone Chris? I feel like Chris just got friend zoned. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started uh, strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So well, that sounds terrible. I, I already I don't like this story. Okay, so? So, I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't Weird. for the back... Genie Simmons hit puberty like uh, as I suppose guys can bond in, 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 in just about any situation over anything, right? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone right now, or or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Going butterfly. back to you know the butterfly effect, aka chaos theory, which uh, you know it's fun fun theory. I like it. The real question is, what's gonna happen by the end of this? Who's gonna live? Who's not gonna? Mike's new girlfriend. Uh oh. Confident, trusting, irrelevant. Well, you just seem completely unimportant. Uh, I don't know if I like you. I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to like you. You look sort of remind me of Elsa from Frozen, just a little bit. Uh, I get the feeling she's like, ah, I get that a lot. She's like, this is awkward. Uh, but she's pretty honest. Uh, not so charitable. Uh, kind of on the funny. She likes being fun. Well, she's funny, I guess. Uh, kind of brave. Pretty romantic and a little curious. Basically, you know, the overall package, except not very charitable. Uh, in terms of people, I, she doesn't like Ashley, she doesn't like Chris, she does. She really doesn't like Emily. Uh, speaking of Emily, I don't think... I don't think Beth liked Emily. Uh, I guess she's... she's... kinda okay with Josh. She likes Mike and Matt. I, I, I guess that's okay. I don't know about Mike, though, to be honest. Uh, she's a little indifferent towards Sam. A little more so than Chris. So now it's just an awkward situation. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. I know the feeling. You, you sound like me given the situation where I have to basically be friendly <gasps> towards people because. What the hell? Whoa. Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not heartless. I guess I had to let go of R2 though. Oh my God! I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, you got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. No one likes Emily. You know, I'm getting that hey. feeling. <laughs> I'm willing to bet she was the person who was like, it's just a prank, bro. With, uh, with Hannah, you know. So basically, her and Mike are, like, the reasons Hannah essentially died. You know, indirectly, but at the same time. 
Um, they, they're they're the type of people Seems who's like, it's just a prank, bro. Good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. And oh what man, kind of of Michael Monroe. Of I wonder. Uh, you know, we'll just we'll, we'll play. Get Give him back. It's mine. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on. Jesse, I I, I am indifferent to this whole okay. entire situation. Whatever, you'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right. I am in love with Mike. You don't understand. He's mine. You guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else. For Mike, <laughs> he's my man. What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh -huh. Mike. Did you see this view? I mean, I, I, I mean, get it, you know. Uh, it is what it is. Get it to just stop and take it all in. I mean, it is, it is a pretty beautiful scenery. So is this, uh, is that Emily? Oh, that's Emily. Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. Uh, so she's the person no one likes. Oh, I, I, I wanted, but I wanted to see, you know, Emily from this perspective, not Matt. Uh, Matt, Matt's, um, oh. It's like no one's gonna like Matt. I mean, I, I don't like Matt. Oddly enough, I actually had a best friend in high school named Matt. He, he, we're still pretty good friends. Uh, let's see. Matt's honest, charitable, which, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think so. Funny, brave. Well, I guess, you know, his little prank wasn't so funny or brave. Or maybe that was Mike. No, that was Mike. I'm thinking of someone else. It's not Matt. Um, Matt Matt's okay. I take back what I said about Matt. Matt's okay. <laughs> uh, romantic, curious. Uh, let's see. He's uh, indifferent to Ashley. He's not so friendly with Chris. Uh, I, I guess he's sort of into Emily and Jess. Sort of. I mean, kind of on the indifferent side, but he's, he's a little more friendly to them, if anything else. Uh, Josh, Mike, not so much. Uh, basically, if you're, if you're a dude, he's just kind of like, whatever. Uh, kind of, I, I guess he's, like, indifferent to everyone, except, uh, just a little friendly towards Emily and Jess. I suppose that's why he's, like, here with Emily. Wait a second. Hold the phone. No, this is, this is not doing it for me. I wanted to see, like, what... Her stats were, but I guess I guess I not. Been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend, motivated, ambitious, active. No. Yeah. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Oh, I'm the bellboy. I get it. Matt's Matt's a uh, he's a floor mat. Emily just walks over him, and the only reason they're together is because she can boss him around and have no remorse doing it. And he openly accepts it. Matt, Matt's becoming more of a simp by the second. Oh, is this Mike? Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. They try to make you think that he's an okay dude. I still can't get any. Oh man! You guys, Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Michael, you're a douche. <laughs> get Michael, out of here. Come on, guys. We're all friends here, right? No need for no. violence. Just a little harmless fun. Well, up in the it's just a prank, bro. Spooky. Just a prank. Let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't it's like just that. a prank, like, bro. The way you're being, you always get like this. That's why I pranked you. Uh, I, I, Michael, I'm a simp. I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. 
Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, I, I take it back. At least Mads being semi reasonable. He's just like, yeah, hey, whatever, I'll go with flow. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make they're gonna now? they're gonna oh God, fight totally each other by the end of this. Out. I can just see it. You know, it's uh, like uh, so so. How was Emily? You know, I dated her. It was great. See ya. And that's when you get the choice to make it, make it up. You know, is does Matt start being jealous or does he is he like whatever? I don't care. Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Oh no, she's Why? she's gonna be like, Mike, I still have them. feelings for you. Okay. And Sorry, then it's gonna be a love triangle, really and totally Matt's forgot. gonna be to uh, excluded from that triangle because he was really never really a factor to begin with. There. It's important, Matt, please. Um. Uh, I f you know what? I, I. Whatever. This relationship right. should never have happened to begin with. It's so important, I guess I can... We're breaking up by the way. two like seconds the into one. this whole entire <laughs> relationship well, choice. Uh, in other words, like, Just be careful. I'm breaking up with you, Emily. Thank you. I don't need you. I'll go find an actual person who treats me with respect. Doesn't treat me like a doormat. I don't need you. And, and then he's going to crawl back to Emily. Who, who am I? I'm Ashley. Uh, let's see. Character traits. She's honest, charitable, uh, pretty average with the funny, brave, and romantic. But she's really curious. She has to know. Everything. Also, she looks like she's freezing a little bit. Makes sense considering she's outside in the snow. Probably, you know, 20 below or something. Well, that might be a little too cold. It's probably 30 degrees, if nothing else. Uh, let's see. Relationships. Uh, she likes Chris. Uh, everyone else is pretty indifferent, except for Mike. She really doesn't like Mike. But that's okay. Mike's, Mike's kind of a douche. <sighs> Has a cri oh, okay, she really does like Chris. Academic, inquisitive, uh, forthright. She seems okay. Still not sure. Wait, so her and Chris are kind of like, they, oh, they like hello. each other. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. Oh, I, I knew it. To check the expiration date on their big They're company. not over each other. At the very least, they want to have... Um, they, they, they just want to do each other. Oh! <laughs> oh <God>. Hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that. You know Ashley what? Scare you. Mad's like, what? Ashley, scare you, sort of scare look, you, but not like for real. I God. know oh, my God. girlfriend's hey, going welcome. to cheat on me. Man, I'm so I'm the only sorry, way to get yeah. back at her is to, you know, cheat on her with someone else. Uh, it, Matt, you're out. terrible. Uh, encourage. He needs to know uh, the truth. Sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. He needs to be pissed. He needs to understand. Bitch. Yeah. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, Break. man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? No, I, I want, I want to stir I the know. pot. Damn it. I want, I want to make it worse. Matt. Let me encourage him to break up with her. No one should be with Emily. I mean, I guess I technically did that, but... All in all, it's like I don't want I don't want Emily to be happy. She doesn't deserve it. Or at the very least change my mind game. Uh let, let's do the normal thing by checking our phone. I'm sure the right answer is reading the book. Oh you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. Oh no. What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into But, country? but he doesn't deserve you. 
just just pummel him with the snowball. I don't know. Whitewash him. Hey! Just just rub it straight into his face, point blank. Oh, oh that was he deserves that. Do it again. He deserves it. Oh! Hey! <laughs> now put a rock in one. Uh, I I'll be honest. Don't don't put a rock in one. That that that's that's a cruel thing to do. Yeah, we gotta we gotta pummel him. We get, it's, it's gotta be no contest. Uh, who is this one? Jess. Jess has to be the master snowball. Uh, thrower person. She. Oh no, I don't want. I don't want to hit. I don't want to hit the Robin. Robin's my friend. No, I don't want to go for the Robin. I wasn't gonna hit Robin. I was gonna hit you. No more. Oh, yeah. See, uh, you know, Jess, she's, no, she's not a bad person. I gotta play, you know, uh, Paragon route. You gotta be a good person. Allegedly. Pacifist route. No, it's not pacifist route. Alright, alright. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Now just rub a snowball right in his face. Be like, I win, you doofus. Uh, oh, I really can. Yes, <laughs> you deserve that, Mike. Okay, okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah, but you'll have to wait until later. I, 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 I don't yeah. want this. It's so nice out here. Just though. deserves better. Pretty breath taken. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much. Ever, provided I was Mike, not good guy. I hate to say it. He, he brings a bad... Now? He puts well, all of us Mikes well, down. I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. I only say that because my name... My name is Michael. Uh, sh Mike for short. It was a really good... It was really good advice. Remember it. Uh, I'll, I'll try. Oh, is it therapist man? Is it gonna probe my mind for more additional information? Are you gonna tell me what I'm doing wrong? Why? I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last. I mean, that 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 would be ideal. This time. We're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Oh, well, you know, that might be a little too advanced for me. Set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay, I'll comply. Let's see. We got pictures of people. Uh, no, I don't want that. Um... This sucks. Only two choices, I guess. Um, I, I guess the opposite sucks. You know that makes me anxiety. That makes me anxious. Oh, definitely the crowds. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm playing this honest. This is the crowds by a landslide. That definitely that definitely terrifies me. Oh, uh, drowning or heights? You know I like swimming. Heights, absolutely, hundred percent. That makes me terrified. But I like animals. Hmm. You know, considering you just leave a snake alone, it's fine. Rats, on the other hand, they carry parasites and other sort of diseases. Not so good. Uh, oh, knife or a gun. I'll be honest, probably gun. Gun makes me nervous. Knife, I wouldn't really give a second thought. I, I use that for cooking. Oh, cockroaches or rats. Uh, still the rat. I don't even have a fear of rats, technically speaking. It's just 
what they bring that that's that's what would terrify me oh a scarecrow or a clown ah uh, well I, I saw it and I, I like ten penny I'll go with the scarecrow I saw Batman that was scary um because no gore gore although I, I like horror and I like gore but you know the, given the situations I'd probably say the gore is probably more scary up. I'm doing well. <clears throat> Given the set of circumstances, I mean, okay. Up. The more you rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. I, I hate that you're more correct about it. Ah, uh, rats. Look, I like creepy crawlies. They're great. Uh, and gore organs and stuff like that you know that that that, that gets me a little squeamish uh, what we got zombies uh, scarecrow I like zombies I play the horror games I like it uh, gore always it's always gonna be the gore look wolf is cute uh, gore it's gonna go with gore it's spooky this is very interesting Thank you for answering so diligently. I'll say this, Gore makes an excellent right. visual scare. Because it can Often. even tie into like the psychology <laughs> of horror, the and I love it. Sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, this is an excellent Friday night. You're my date tonight. Well, I'm afraid Not in a romantic way, just again, in an insightful way. I promise we'll talk again very soon. I get it. You need you need the money. Time for my insurance to pay up. How many sessions do I have left? Three. Four. Previously on until dawn. Don't you guys think this is a little bit? Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah. Everyone looks so What's different. Going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. It's just a prank, bro. No, oh no, the twins. First off, I gotta say, I'm, I'm starting to think there was no way to actually save them. Back to the annual Black I could be wrong, though. Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time. So there will be a lot of blood and gore. And and I'm fine with that, like... That. I, you know, it was really just between the two pictures. It wasn't really like my own internal fear. It's just like the less, like the the, I guess the greater of two evils in this regard. I had to pick one, right? So I might as well just pick the one that's worse than the other. Personally, I was, I'm, I'm all about that gore, but it's like given the two choices. Oh, jealousy. Okay, this is great. We get, we get. Oh no, it's Josh. Complex, thoughtful, loving, but I don't think he really is. He's well, maybe he is. Maybe he's just trying to avoid the fact that his sisters died, which, which is fair, you know. Like everyone handles death differently. I know when my uncle died earlier this year, I was uh, it's kind of a tough topic, but at the same time, I remember it didn't really. Phase me. I mean, it did, but it was one of those weird situations where, like, it, it's my. I sort of went numb, if that makes sense. Like, I didn't really cry, although I could tell, like, it did affect me. It was just, it felt really subtle. Um, and I love my uncle. Like, he was a great guy. Uh, rest in peace. And, and I feel like I'm saying that, and it doesn't really, um,. It does, it, it seems a little shallow, I guess. At least it does to me. Like, it doesn't really portray, like, how much I really did appreciate my uncle by just talking about it. But at the same time, I have to emphasize, he was he was a great man. He's really funny. I, like, I, I, I want to strive to be on, like, that level that he was able to make people laugh, or at the very least make me laugh. It, it was, it was a funny man. I miss him. I wish... I wish I could have, like, had one more chance to talk to him.
because like i remember i wanted to tell him like how much i really appreciated uh him as a uh inspiration for like what i'm doing like streaming wise and uh doing youtube stuff i, I want to try to like bring his humor like i want to try to like capture his humor and it's like he big inspiration when it comes to that kind of stuff but uh I'll, I, I will never have the chance, but I can't really live to regret that. But I guess my point is, you know, when he died, I, I just, I wasn't really trying to avoid it. I just remember, like, a lot of my family was, um, like, they, they expressed a lot of their stuff outwards. I was a lot more internal, or at least that's kind of how it felt. And so... For Josh, it's kind of like, I, I sort of understand to some degree, he's not really showing signs that, like, he, he's torn up about the loss of his two sisters. He seems like he's just like, yo, man, we're gonna go to the cabin up on the mountain, we're gonna party hard, and it's like, it's one of those things where it's just kind of like, I feel like he's trying to avoid the the issue like i don't think he's really trying to address it you know i don't i feel like it's very much an internal sort of view from my perspective but at the same time uh i also feel like you know it's sort of a taking time bomb where he's gonna break down at some point and it's it's gonna be messy and that might happen during this game you know i might see it or maybe i'll pick all the choices where he just doesn't address it We'll see. <clears throat> but I digress. I guess that's not really here. Are you planning to end the game today? I don't know. To be honest, um, I don't even know how long the game is. One would say it might be short, but at the same time, uh, I might have to do it. Like I might have to continue playing it like uh, at a later date. But for now, you know, just just gonna keep playing. Come on. I'm gonna see how far we can like get. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny <laughs> you should say that. I, oh, You're a man, funny Josh. man, Josh. Hey guys. I wanna you see your okay? stats, yeah. but I can't. Oh, more or less, but it is so good to see you. So we got Matt, we got uh Jess. Is that just? No, that's not just. That's uh, Ashley. That's right. Ashley seems okay. <laughs> Basically, from what I understand, yo, yo, yo. the only two people that like, as long as they're not, <laughs> as long as they're not Mike or Emily. I mean, they they seem like they're Things okay. Yeah, man. Uh huh. Gossip. Well, oh, let's do so it. Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. Oh hey, man, I can't believe it. I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. It's gotta be yeah, like a dude. You, the you, get, get, like, you got a lock pick. You, can you pick this Wait, lock? I don't think so. Break in? You ever play Skyrim? It doesn't work anymore. like that in the real right. world. Not if I don't report you. Um. Oh man, is he saying like, you Chris, you're the master of unlocking, unlike in Resident Evil, we don't have a chill. Hey Ash. Hi Chris. Oh, they're totally into each other. So, how are you doing? He's not brave, Good, but he's, he's gotta, he's gotta, he's gotta have that, that confidence. I'm crawled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. All right, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta find a way to get in because uh, otherwise, you know, we're all gonna be Ashley cold on the outside. Right. She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know. Now I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Um. Oh, I, you know, I gotta be a good guy, you know. I, I gotta be like, come on, man. You're not gonna bang her. No, it's not about getting. It's not about getting the bang. It's about the journey, man. You don't know. Yeah. 
to some degree, they're at least like semi-realistic. Any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario, just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been oh, a perfect gentleman. No. Now you come in for the kill. He's, he's he's like, I'm gonna get you laid, bro. <laughs> oh, okay, bro. Maybe you're right. Uh, bro, I know I'm right. I mean, she won't even know what hit. <laughs> It'll it right, will be right, funny if they all die. You know, I have a feeling that's that's probably what's gonna happen. So um, the only way this would be but... even better is if I get to play as the the the, the guy, which would be weird if it's like he was just a figment of all their imaginations, just a collective imagination of like uh, essentially the serial killer slash uh, I know what you did last summer. It's really easy to do. Well, see, that's why I'm saying I'm I'm probably. Uh oh, that's worrying. Clue found axe holder, but there's no axe. So uh, you know, probably probably gonna die. You're probably gonna get axe. Uh, well, best well, part would be if, like, the guy one. said, "Can I ask you a question?" Just straight up pun, you know, just. Gotta be honest, it'd be it'd be too good, but I would applaud just ever so much because it, it it's one of those things where oh yeah you earned it, or did ya? No, I hear this game's good, so I feel like it would earn it. Oh man, here oh. Wait, seriously? I, I guess okay. they're in the middle of nowhere, so it's fine if they don't really lock everything. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. I never had to Whoa. do that, but I would have sucked at it. I, I don't think so. Here, use this. I only care about Sam and Ashley and probably Chris. Uh, you know, they, they seem like Whoa, all Chris, right people. I just got an awesome idea. Uh, especially yeah. Sam. Totally. What is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, they're they're oh, doing a makeshift yeah. flamethrower. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and push. Bye, this bye, sounds bro, like a bad lock. idea. It sounds Bingo. like you're you're making makeshift right, weaponries. You'll blow off I'm your hand or go something. Sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. <laughs> See, you got a little bit of a John Wayne sort of thing going on there. It's, it is what it is. I mean, hey, whatever. Give me a drink, bartender. Oh, a totem? Did I actually? I found a totem, everybody. Uh, was was that Emily? What was that? Was that was that Emily that I saw there? The lost totem of Emily getting hurt. I mean, uh. It's, I'll, I'll say this. I don't want to be a complete monster and say I'm gonna try to intentionally get people uh, Murderized, but I will say uh, Would we really lose a lot if she ended up biting the bullet or um, I don't know suffering some sort of huge explosion in that one regard it seemed seemed like something pretty bad happened Ooh, what's this? It's an a note ex janitor can convicted for arson Ooh, okay it, it, is that a victor is that is that the guy the the uh escapee ran, ran o all the way over here because uh he, he's the convict Hurt. Uh, she burned to death. Sam best. Yeah, I agree. Sam seems like she's uh, she's probably the person you want to save in the whole entire game. 
Like, if there was anyone to live in this game, it, I'm pretty sure you, it, it would be Sam. Uh, she burned to death. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know if she was dead. Although, uh, you could draw that conclusion. Uh, I'm guessing... Um, I'm guessing you, you happen to know what happened. I don't, though. Only care about... The, yeah, okay. I just realized... There's two people here. Um, Alex? Is, it, is, is that correct, Alex? Hi, Alex. How are you doing? Um, but she's hard to save. I apologize uh, if I'm mispronouncing it. Yeah, anyways. Uh, cool. Hi, welcome. You've, you've probably been here for a while. Just realized um, there's another person. Uh, I, I apologize. Um, you and Liam have uh, red, uh, red, red for your names. Like you have the red colors, very similar. Um, different shades, but at it? the same time, it. I, was, I, I thought you were the same person for a second. I just suddenly realized you're not. Uh, and here I am, just just playing this completely blind, trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Uh, don't know who I'm going to save. Don't know who's going to die. Uh, Chris would be okay, I suppose. Um, Ashley's not too bad. I think I think we've already summed up, you know, not Mike or Emily. I'll say it, I'll say it over and over, but oh. Hi Chris, very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be like getting the lock open or something? Oh, yeah. yeah, Chris. Why why don't you make like chill and be the master of lock picking? Uh, so let's see. What can I do? I'm, I'm in this house trying to look for a can of deodorant. It wasn't that the whole point. Uh, unfortunate. You know, I get the feeling this is going to lead to Chris's unfortunate death. That's the TV, isn't it? Oh, I shouldn't mess with the TV. Well, we'll figure out entertainment after everyone is safe and warm. Well safe so to speak in in this house are you good at quick time events no I, I'm okay I guess if given enough time but um, I'm, I'm expecting not to really be all that successful when it comes to quick time events I'll probably panic and be like oh no everyone's gonna die okay ready for the senior prom uh, what is that? I can't, I can't read over your finger, but Sam, Mike, and Emily. Uh, is that, is that Hannah? I mean, that that's cool, I guess. I should probably be going to either, um, Josh's room or a bathroom. Something tells me one of those two places would have the Dio, the deodorant. I guess upstairs. Still don't exactly know what I'm doing. Outside, like, the one objective, which uh, I guess that's exactly what I need to be doing. But No, I, I don't know where um, I'm exactly supposed to be going. Midas Touch, I've heard... He he is. Wait, me? Good at quick time events? I'm I'm not good at quick time events. I if I if I do the quick time events, I I will be satisfied. But uh, I, I'm expecting to really mess them up pretty badly. Uh, in other words, um, expect everyone to die because I wasn't able to quick time event hard enough. Unless you're referring to something else, which, uh, uh, that's understandable. Let's see, this looks like some kind of library, or at least bookshelves. Um, I'm not really getting any cue to look at anything. I, again, playing this kind of blind, this is my first run of doing this. I'll, I'll probably do, like, at least another run if, um, 
if all goes well. I guess the question is, where is, uh, I, I should probably go in this little, well, uh, cove? Not really a cove. Nook or something? I'm, I'm hoping that there's a room somewhere around here that, uh, signifies deodorant. <laughs> hey, it's a room. Deodorant? Maybe. Oh, that, that definitely looks like deodorant. Kind of a weird place, but I mean, I, I'm willing to try anything at this point. Deodorant. For men. Well. Get the fuck. I'm not gonna lie, that was, uh, that, that actually got me a little bit. <laughs> Good job, game. You got me with the jump scare. One time in the here. game, there's a choice you can make if you make a, uh, the bad one. Five people die. Well, that, that's probably going to be me. I'm going to make the choice where five people die instantaneous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Wolverine? God, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a... Bear or tiger or something. Aww, Actually, it's probably a badger. Baby baby. Oh, it was a wolverine. <gasps> I mean, say what you want. Wolverines are vicious. Fortunately for us, this one didn't have an sweet. antimantium oh, skeleton. Is not the word I use. Oh hey, it's mad. So good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. My, my goal for Matt is to at least make him different. not a simp. Nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. And then Josh What's makes up, a quip buddy? where it's like, I'll change that. Hey. Yeah, get jealous, Matt. Be like, I we'll hate you, Mike. Up. We'll do. Yeah. Push him into Come the on, fire. Man. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. <laughs> just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. He's really pissed. There, cowboy. Uh Oh yeah, we should challenge. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M with the telescope. Before I don't want to play the jealousy card. I just want to be like you want her, you can you have her. her. Said hello. Is that against the law? Um right. Right. I'm sure it's all it was. You know what? You can think whatever you want. It's a free country. Watch yourself, Mike. Whoa, Mike and Matt at each other's throats. They're not going to be friends by the end of this camping trip. Jess doesn't deserve... Or, sorry, oh Mike doesn't deserve God. Jess. That is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Uh, I'll be did honest. You say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Emily can go go well. away. Like someone's better. She didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Uh, we we got it. Oh, we should provoke. Hey, you're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Jealous much? Emily too frigid for you too. Hey, that's that's uncalled. Look, whatever. Oh, I let's do it. Let's let's, let's pour our gasoline on, on this on bonfire, like everybody. I want everyone to be pissed. You got all the natural advantages you can handle. Oh, please. you couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is off crack or something. Yeah, provoke. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth. Okay. No. You're the this one is good. I like this. The happy end. Right oh yeah, Jess is great to too, and Emily is a bitch. No, I get it. it. Oh, Josh, no! Don't don't it's rain on my parade. I didn't like I didn't like any of this. All right, I didn't like any of the people. Well, I mean, some of them are okay, but yeah. 
I, I want I want Emily to realize she's not wanted. Right up the trail. No, I might like she's probably gonna be the person that ends up living. Well, that's over. <laughs> I will say this, I don't want to intentionally try to kill off Emily. So John, uh, uh, but if she dies, she dies, you know. Going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. I Matt, left are, are it. You listening? Oh my god, don't you remember next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl? Nope, I daughter? left it. Well, I mean, it's gone. Was asking about Wolverine ate it. Right, because she gave a shit about your it's, designer letter you get, You gotta go what? find the Wolverine, babe. Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, M. You go find the Wolverine, stop. babe. I seriously think I'd forget my bag. Whoa. Do you? Yeah, the wolf. Well, I mean, Wolverine. Stop. On, hon. We'll be back soon. Oh, please tell me you get a backbone and have. I please tell me I get the option to tell her no. Okay. Just, just flat no. Okay. Let's go. Matt, you're disappointing me day by day. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. I thought you could be okay, you know. And I could change you. I could give you a backbone. You could say no to Emily. Instead, he's, he's uh, doormat. Let me tell you, oh, I got his stats. Now we can look at how terrible you are. Uh, not, uh, sort of honest, not, not really charitable. He's a little charitable. Pretty funny, pretty brave, very romantic, a little curious. Uh, doesn't like Matt. I, I'm probably responsible for that. Uh, Basically, you know, Emily kind kind of got a thing for her, but you know, it's it's all about Jess. Um, let's see. I, I wanna I wanna I wanna prevent Cabin Mike anyway. from getting this laid. Cabin. That's what I want to do. Most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. Uh huh. If we ever make it, Emily is hard to safe. Side. Play your cards right and maybe uh, I mean that's okay. I want to play my cards stars. wrong. Gonna need these. Let's play a well, game of poker. I, I suck at poker. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm -hmm. No, Josh, just you just stay here. Gallery. Let's let's talk about stuff. Um, oh, we oh, we sorry. basketball. We can talk about Henry, sports. So I, I know nothing about sports, but come on, man, tell me to talk about the Lakers. I know nothing about the Lakers. flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Yeah. What? No. No, let them bring him back. I'm controlling Mike. Okay. Um. Let's 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 play all the cards wrong. Let's do every choice that's basically a bad choice. Uh, I mean, I don't really want to be rude to Jess, but we we got we gotta we gotta we gotta prevent Mike from getting laid. So um, let, let's let's do everything wrong, or uh, or something along those lines. I wanna I wanna play very stupidly with Mike. Uh, I, I suppose I'm suppo I suppose I gotta go down this trail, right? I, 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 I gotta keep my distance. I'm supposed to I'm supposed to walk with you, right? I'm I'm walking away from you. Private property. Washington State. Oh I don't I, no. Oh, we have to go that way. Okay. I don't know how you got ahead of me, but whatever, we're we're going. We're moving and grooving. Hipping and hopping. Oh, I guess I gotta talk to you. Dumb as she looks, if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Make inappropriate comments. How you still have feelings for her? Make inappropriate comments. Stand up for her. Uh, ease up on him, okay? Uh, yeah, she's a handful. But maybe ease up on her. She's still kind of torn up from being dumb. Um. Bad move there, Mike. Mike, and not yours either. Jess is your girlfriend. Uh, it's, no, I mean, you shouldn't be defending her. 
That's a that's a bad it's move there, bro. Because I'd much rather spend my time. We don't want around. a sex you. scene. He's, he's oh, you you got a point. We, this is a stream. We probably don't want to um okay. trigger anything like that. That reminds me. Um, but she I should probably like go to the settings, right? Um, I don't know if anyone wants subtitles is there any way to uh global st i don't care about global stats uh I, I guess there's no way to like um censor any story wait no there's like nothing to censor okay well that's fine stay down is i just gotta I play i gotta play really dumb and you know like uh make sure i say all the worst things um because it's not romantic I, I am a terrible uh, boyfriend. I guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? All right, I'm go I'm gonna make everyone pissed at each other. I'm gonna be the worst friend ever to everybody here. Hey, Mike. Hey, it's a totem. Gonna find the generator or what? I'm looking at this totem. It's black totem. No, danger totem. Okay. It didn't look red to me, but I, I guess it was red. Alright, let's 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 play the thing. Sometime after the prospectors. Sometime after the prospectors. Okay, alright. Um, don't know what it means yet, but I, I'm sure... I you could generate a little excitement about getting that freaking generator to work. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do it in a second. There we go. Generator working. I'm not a complete imbecile. Oh, baby. You're my friend. Oh, I don't want that. I already, I already investigated that. We don't need it. I'm Mike. I want to go see my best friend, mysterious person who's probably going to gut me like a pig. But you know what? Point is just, he's my friend. And if you can't accept him as my friend, then I guess we shouldn't be dating. I'm going to I'm gonna see him. I'm going to go in for the hug of my life. Yeah, totally. That was awesome. Oh man, she doesn't deserve, or no, Mike doesn't deserve Jess. There we go. I keep, I keep phrasing it like She's Jess like doesn't it? deserve Mike, but it's actually the other way around. So um, right also, why am I creepily like right behind her? How about no sex capade? How about we just make this the prudent journey ever? In other words, I'm gonna make you. Uh, so unattracted to Mike that uh, we're we're just gonna keep our clothes off, our clothes on, and uh, just just go our separate ways. It, it's uh, let's prevent Mike from getting laid. That 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 is the name of the game right now. That that's the chapter. Oh baby, let's go towards that horrible noise. That that that's the goal right now. Something. Can, can I tell Jess to run back to the cabin and me go alone by myself? Can I, can I tell her she she's a little scaredy cat? Can, can I insult her? Like just no, just no straight way. to her like face. To lodge, don't get me wrong, like, I, I, I don't <laughs> hate... Oh Jess! no, Jess! The, the worst part is if I just say, well, you're on your own, I have a feeling she's dead. You didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Did you get out? I... I don't know. I can hardly It looks see. like you want a sex scene. Oh, I don't know. Uh, hello, fellow streamer. Hi, Charlie. I think I'm reading that. Uh... Cautious. All right, Jess, That's not very part. sexy. I if you can push it, you can get by. All right. Okay, let me just try. 
It's too heavy. I need your help, Mike. Uh, let's just insist again. You know, you're you're a strong it's woman. You can do heavy. it. You're a Wonder Woman. You you go push that car. I know you can do it. No, you, you strong woman, you go move cart. Uh, let's drop the light. All right, Jess, I'm gonna drop the light down. Okay, look alive. This is completely unsexy. What? Look al All right. She, she, Heads she. <laughs> you get it? If I was yeah, in this yeah, relationship yeah. and I was Jess, I would dump Mike in a heartbeat right now. But I am not just. But but I get the feeling all these choices are making her rethink this relationship. <laughs> Jess! Oh no! I got her murderized. I am you terrible, I man. I saw something. What? I something moved. Okay, it's probably just like a bat or something. A bat? Was it a spider? All right, coming after you. Just stay put. My shoes are crazy. Oh, it's my friend. He wants that hug. He wants. Look, Jess. My friend wants my wants hug. He wants the hug of my life. Honestly, Jess, I gotta be honest. If it comes between you or him, I choose him. Uh, I guess I'm assuming he's gender. Shall we? But uh, for all intents and purposes, I choose him, not you. He's he's my friend. You're you're just a person who totally deserved a better person. Oh oh no, sprained ankle. Are you okay? I messed that quick time event so bad. I pressed X. I actually did mess that up. You totally ate shit. Thank you. Stuck out my teeth. Did I chip a tooth? Yes. Yes. I imagine that that that's gotta suck. I haven't I haven't done that in real life, but I imagine uh, anything Nelly, tooth related is it's bad is times. I'm not the good kind of Willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? It was we'll worth it to see Jess you. laugh, and on our behalf of misfortune or something along those lines. You almost killed her. Uh, you, you know, I did. Oh, no! You alright? Yeah. Jess, you're the only person I don't want to die. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. Well, uh, how, how are we gonna get out of here? I mean, we it was a one-way trip. I get the feeling this is not the way we want to go, but rather... Oh, Jesus! This place Look is a at real that! Fixer -upper. I I have the secret. Everything's dangerous. Jess, this might be the last chance we ever get to uh, say anything, because uh, the mind the mind will collapse and we'll die. I still I still say if it comes down to the to the guy or you, I choose the guy, Jess. Whoa, we actually made it out. Alive. And I didn't kill either person. It's pretty amazing. I don't want to say I did a good job, but, uh... No one's dead yet. Aside from the twins at the beginning, but... Uh, I guess that's besides the point. Here we go to the cabin, everybody. Chief... Fits her jeans so well. That's a big deal, ma'am. Are, are you talking about Jess? I, I guess. Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? No. I'm going to tell you. I'm. I'm. I. I am going to break you two up by the end of this adventure. Either through death or just bad decisions. Whoa. You 
right. I just saw someone at the cabin. Uh oh. Okay. Is, is it my friend? Friend, are you there at the cabin? I mean, I don't really see it. Oh. It wasn't my friend, but a hallucination. Hey, Jess. Mm hmm. Stay close by, okay? What's that? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Ah, uh, Rocky Mountain idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Oh, I got a better idea. I want to hug my friend. I want to hug my friend, Jess. Is this the way we just came? It, it totally is. Uh, so by that regard, do we want to go this way? I would assume that that is what we want to do. Someone was sleeping at the will. Uh, twins could have been saved, but, um, you know, I have a feeling that is true. The twins could have been saved, but, uh, tutorial beginner's trap basically, uh, had me kill them through poor planning. Or maybe they're still alive. <coughs> maybe the guy, uh, got to them before they, uh, died. Oh, hey! Jump scare! Uh, annoyed. <laughs> Gotta complain, it's unsexy. Yes! I got snow in my underwear. I'm so annoyed, everybody. Oh man, is the bridge gonna break? Are we gonna have a rail confrontation? Am I gonna suffer from hypothermia? It, it, that would make the most sense to me. Let's see what else is. What else could horribly go wrong on this uh, terrible date uh, cabin? <sighs> Damn it, Josh! Can you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? Really? Oh yeah, his gri his his Maybe grieving friend. For the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. See, I like Jess. She's very optimistic. Oh, she boo. Show off. Mike doesn't Girl, deserve her. Period. Something on your face. <gasps> oh, you deserve that. Yeah. Good job, Jess. Well, that's how it's gonna be. She's gone. She's going she's going to spook you. Jess. Oh no, Jess. And I actually like her. Not not like romantically just I, I don't want her to die. What? You want to help me get this fire going? Who is your favorite character? Uh, well. Hmm, who is my favorite? Uh, you know, Sam so far has been pretty good. Jess uh, seems like she's a pretty cool person. Uh, I'm still a little unsure with Chris and Matt, to be honest. Uh, Josh... I'm not really feeling Josh. I don't know. I guess I'm waiting for him to actually have, like, a, 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 like a human moment. I don't really know how to phrase it. Like, you know, just, like, have that breakdown where he's like, I never was over with my sister's death. You know, like, actually not trying to, uh... Avoid the, the big time bomb that's ticking. Let's see. Uh, uh, I think that's about it. Basically, you know, uh, Ashley... Ashley uh, seems okay. I don't know. Ashley, Justin, and Sam seem like they're okay people. Uh, Chris seems like he's not too bad. Matt seems like he could potentially be okay. Uh, but it's still, still a little uncertain. I guess, I guess that's about it. I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, do you need any help with that? Hardy-har! 
I thought Sam wasn't the funny one. Also, do they have hot water? Do they have to boil the water? All right, Josh. Let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. Chances are he don't. So do I got do I gotta go find him? Is that what's going on? Oh no, is, is it my friend? Is he coming to give me the hug of my life? I mean, if that was the case, I, I guess I guess it's okay with me. Well, not so much with Sam. Cause, Cause Sam seems like she's an okay person. Someone who we'd want to have live at the end of the whole yeah, entire scenario. Totally. Still don't know what's going to happen by the end of all this, but, uh... I, I guess when it comes to Sam, I gotta make her seem like she's a pretty cool person. Wait, are they going to do a Ouija, like a Ouija board? They're going to attack to, uh, the dead? We used to do it all the time, me and... Well, Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys... I know how to do board. that. I, I, I don't know how to do that. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, oh, baby. Okay. Here we go. Time to no fire up that boiler. Everything is going to happen. Everything is going to happen. Oh... So, uh, something tells me it's, it's, it's going to end very horribly. Some, someone might die. I hope not, but, uh, I can't really prevent something that I'm unsure of because I'm still doing this blind. Maybe, I might be a little nervous. Gotta be honest with you guys. You notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. Uh, they're cute. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like... I'm okay with that. Over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> That, that was kind of funny. I mean, we both know they have feelings for each no, other. Sam. Yes, Josh? I just wanted to say... Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. Uh, no, I'm not into you. Definitely weird being back here, but I think it'll help us all put everything behind us. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? I, I'm getting some weird vibes from you. I, I, like, I think he's trying to flirt with us, but hey, your step. something I seems a little off, off with... Cares. With, uh, who are you again? Josh? Yeah, something seems a little off with Josh. Is he... Is he the guy? The, the, the mysterious killer? I mean, it, it doesn't seem like it's posed that way, but who knows? Maybe he's got a twisted sense of humor. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super... Maybe he's a sociopath I mean, down here or a psychopath, you know. Well, it's or a psycho killer. Yep, not a place to be on your own. Everything is going to die. I mean, I I could see it. Well, what we got here? R two. Is, is that a bat? Humorous. It's in bad. It's in bad taste. Come on, let's let's scare him. Let's be like, oh, Joshy boy. No, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we 
come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, dad. He's into it. My sisters, it was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. <laughs> He's into it. I don't know. Can't go back. No, I, 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 this just got really weird. I just made a choice, and I, I don't know if it was the right one. Well, then again, I think that's the point of the game. Did you make the right choice? Is there even such a thing as the right choice? I mean, right and wrong are just terms made by the moral conscious. A personal moral con like conscious. Is he going to spook me? Hey, oh, I'm you I'm moving. The light so I can see, okay? Oh, okay. But I'll 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 stay right here, you know, just so you can see. Sam, please. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry, Josh. You need the light, right? Right, right. Uh, sorry, I get easily distracted. I have uh, attention. I need, I need ADHD. ADHD. Okay. Uh. I, by the end of this, you're gonna be pissed, and if you are the killer, you know, you're, you're going for Sam first. Hello? I'm serious light deprivation over here, Miss Shiny, all over the joint. Uh, I, I just get distracted by his shiny things. Alright, I suppose that's enough fun. We should just, you know, be, be nice and actually not move and, you know, just allow him to do the thing. I'm sure it'd be funny. That time was not intentional. I'm just not gonna hold. I'm just not gonna hold the controller. I'm just gonna, you know, put it on my lap and just let fate take its course. Th this should this should be right. Nice one. There we go. Did he actually compliment me after you know I basically made it impossible for him to do his job? Sounds kind of complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Psychology with Gildam. Oh, <laughs> you know it's it's pretty true. Although I'm a terrible like I'm a terrible therapist. I'm not even qualified. All right. I, I just want to clarify. I'm not qualified to give out any psychological advice. I'm just calling it as I personally see it. Oh. I gotta do that. Might be okay. able to, uh, you know, like amateurly again. analyze the inner psyche, but uh, definitely can't work the spoiler. Uh. Relax. It's not that hard. Just press the button when the light comes okay, on. Okay, okay, I'll get it oh. this time. Oh, sure. I was doing it wrong. There we go. It's I'm not right to say to Sam, you must have a terrible class, player. Yeah. Terrible person controlling you. That, that's me. I don't know how to video game. I was a hack the whole entire time. That could be a lot of things. Of no, things. don't do it. <laughs> I'm just, just joshing. Oh, I gotta be honest, uh, prank. He's, he's not gonna buy it. He's not gonna buy it. Uh, it's sis. We we got we when pranks go wrong, everybody. We we got we got we gotta make it so insistent. All right, all right, your point. You have a twisted sense of humor, no, sister. Get the first point. Does it start at thirty? No, fifteen. Oh, oh more of a ping pong yeah. <laughs> Uh oh. I see you what? with quick time events. They are all going to die. Yeah. You're damn straight. They're all going to die because I can't do the quick time events. Uh, concerned or... Um, 
Yeah, let's let's break them up. You wanna go check it out? What? Why? <laughs> what do you care, pretty face? Uh, no, it's, it's probably just like not anything. Um, why don't you hold down the floor while I make sure? Okay, wh whatever you say, madam. I am a brave person. I don't need a man to dictate how I do things. Oh man. It's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. Uh, so that's Chris, right? That, that, that's Chris? It's just Chris. It, it, it's just a prank, bro. What it's just hell? a prank, bro. You just got mumped. What? <laughs> I would, I would good. bang what him the, across the head with the flashlight at this point, that? but uh, that that probably wouldn't cool suffer with him uh, dying. A little bit of blood loss, serious? trauma to the head. Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. You guys are dicks. Your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master. Well, I, I said nothing so, about uh, it. So, uh, where's, friends, um... Which was dumb. Holy crap, you where's Ashley? I was not! Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! Oh, there she is. What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. More like a vow of celibacy. Okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Here's our one way ticket to the spirit realm. You know oh, it's the Ouija board. Let's do this. Let's conjure a poltergeist. I saw uh, paranormal activity. It ended wonderfully for the cast of characters, and by wonderfully, I mean they all kind of died. Oh, therapist man, my favorite. Probe my mind. Oh, he brought a jar of gore because he knows that makes me uneasy. Why is it still beating? I would like to understand your feelings toward people of fear, isolation, loneliness. You just want me to be afraid. Uh, no. I see you brought a rat and a still beating heart. How do you heart. feel about people who are afraid? Uh, I feel sympathy. I see it well. Mike has a fear of isolation. Do you feel pity for him? I, I gotta wonder, what is your game there, therapist man? Um, no. Indeed. That is apparent from the choices you've made. He seems, he seems perturbed. He, he's determined to make progress any means how. Apparently by, you know, just throwing my fears right in front of me. And now, let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. Okay. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. What do I... Um, that's a complicated Choose series of questions. In a person, loyalty or honesty? Loyalty or honesty? Ooh. Um, I, I think it's important to be honest. You know, communication so you breeds truth, loyalty. Even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then? And charity. Uh, it's honesty. It's important to speak your feelings, head charity held high, and absolute and truth. It's better to be true to yourself than to help others in need, eh? Huh? Well, again, uh oh. I'm afraid we're out of time. How many therapy again. sessions do I have now? One? Two? How much will my insurance pay for it, the, the sessions, you know? Uh, we're, on, we're on a time limit, everybody. Previously on a, you know, that, that's fine, I get it. 
Um, now you will never know what that means. I guess not. But I will say this. I need to go use the restroom, so I will be right back. Okay, I apologize. Nature is calling, so you know, I just had to relieve myself. But we're all good. So we're gonna resume. We're gonna we're gonna keep playing until dawn. It was just a prank, Han. Just a prank, bro. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington. The I know, those poor missing. twins. I know it would mean. So I could have saved them, them, but I didn't. We're all still here together. And Josh, you beautiful, beautiful man. Oh, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Those Butterfly. two Excuse make me? terrible Did couple. Those two, you well, just doesn't des what? just deserve someone so much better. Someone yeah. like Matt. And so Matt can actually, you know, stop being a Did simp. You hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Well, watch out our one-way ticket to celibacy. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes. Uh, whoa. Jess! Still don't know what that blood-curling scream is. To communicate with the spirit world, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others sublimating that's that sounds uh i don't know if i'm ready for that kind of commitment that. there buddy and all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion chris come on this is serious <laughs> this is serious talking to uh, no using a ouija oh, board you can't really talk to ouija yes. board i guess you i guess you could but i don't know it's just using this ouija board ashley since you're a recent convert why don't you be our Um, flippin'. Okay, uh, is anyone there? Hello? Yeah. Spirit Hi, spirit it's song. me. Um, I am the spirit of the board. Come on. Um, if you can hear my voice, give us a sign. Yeah, like a peace sign. Can I, can I give him a sign? Uh, if you're not gonna take this seriously. Okay, okay. Is there? Everyone is alive for now. You're We're damn there. right. Everyone is alive for now. Wait, oh. did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. <laughs> H? What's H. Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving? E L L. Oh help? no, it's spelling help. How are we supposed to help? I don't You're know. in too far. <laughs> You, you gotta stop while well, you can. You don't understand. This is uh, a probe. That's right. We gotta be aliens. How can we help you? <laughs> it's moving again. What's it uh, fire. Oh, it's moving fast. Warning. Shit. Oh my god. Warning. What? I think we uh, really need to find out who's trying to communicate with us. <sighs> Claire. No probe. We can't help you if we don't know who you are. Can you tell us who you are? Hannah? Or is it oh, Beth? Here it goes. Okay, S. I. S. T. E. R. 
sister. Sister? Oh, oh sister. which one? Oh, come on, is this for real? Shut up. Ask it whose sister. Josh, it's it's gotta be. Yeah, okay, well. Josh, it's gotta be yours. Ashley, ask who it is. Um... Hannah, we didn't really get much character development with you. Are we speaking to Hannah? Was that you? Oh, OMG, it's Hannah, everybody. Josh, are you fine? Are you sure? Because we can stop. No. Yeah, I mean, I'm expecting some tears there, Josh. I want to see the performance of your life, damn it. Earn that Academy Award. If this is actually Hannah. I mean, we can find out what happened that night. Josh, I can handle it. Okay. Um, let me think. Uh, the normal thing would be to apologize, but I'm going the cynical route. Hannah, we miss you, and. We want to know what happened to you. Can you can you tell us what happened? B. E. e T. H. B? R? Wait, what? Uh -oh. I don't like this. Betrayed. What does she mean? Oh, it's Betrayal. Still going. K. Emily. I L L E D. No. Kill. We did it. Come, come it's down. a prank, bro. Don't you understand how this so works? Well, what do they mean? Ask them what, what happened. It's, it's, the, it's the only way to know. Ask them, Ash. Emily, right? Okay. Who killed you? Hannah, who was it? Matt? No, not Matt. Uh, well, Mike? I... The library. Maybe there's something in the library here. B R O O. Proof. There, there's, there's proof. In the library. <laughs> Whoa. That got a little too Holy intense. Shit. Chris. You know what? Oh, this is bullshit. This isn't real. Josh, I don't know what's oh, going on. Oh, it's real. Listen. I don't know. I don't know if you think. Messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief. Knowing, knowing my Whatever, luck, it's it's Chris the whole entire Josh, time. No. He's the one you that's uh, orchestrating this, this whole entire thing. It's, it's not I don't need this right now, okay? You guys are full of it. Should we go after him? Uh, what happened to Sam? Wasn't she here doing doing the thing? Is she taking a bath crazy. or something? The pointer flew right off the table. If you were faking it, if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. Where it says Mike is killer. Oh, speaking of Mike. Jess. Oh no, Jess. Is there an option to say, screw it, I'm not going to save Jess, I gotta save myself. Then we'll see Mike's true colors. But no, I guess, you know, Mike Mike has to at least be semi-selfless. Jessica, oh come on. Uh, I Jess. get the feeling there's a totem somewhere around here. Hey. Oh, that's spook him. That makes me go boo and ah. Oh, I am scared for my life. That's not that's not her though. It's not her. That's your, that's your other friend. You know the the one that uh Jess? Hun? Light of my life? <laughs> Where who are you, Jack? From the Shining? You're gonna you're gonna go you're gonna approach her slowly with the bat. Jess. Being very know? intimidating. This is not funny. Oh, it's I funny. I promise I won't murder you. Oh! Oh my God. No. See, she th she she's having a blast. She got you, Mike. You deserve it. I'm not seeing it. No. You're hilarious. I'm in the middle of 
Oh, uh, don't uh, don't hurt animals. I don't want to hurt animals. That's the rules for this game. Oh, I mean, I I am compliant with that. I like animals. They're they're one of my favorite things in the world. Uh, grumpy. All right, fine. You win. It's not a contest. Oh, it totally is a contest. Every time. Uh huh. <laughs> it's my real friend. He wants to give me the hug of my life. Uh, maybe. This is a totem. Hey, a totem. I found another one. Maybe there's a home hope for me. <laughs> so, if there's a water wheel, it's gotta mean a thing. Guardian totem, so that means uh, something can protect me. Uh, assuming I don't die. Uh, which, uh, you know, I'm, I'm probably gonna do. Like, hardcore. But again, doing this blind, so uh, it, it is what it is. Let's see, so just wandering around in the middle of the forest with uh, my, my girlfriend. Who uh, I don't deserve. Let's be f quite honest about this whole entire situation. Mike's not exactly uh, that great of a guy. Or at the very least, there's something that's not really being talked about wholeheartedly. Which is, uh, he still has feelings for Emily. I mean, you're in another relationship, dude. You, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta get rid of all those feelings you gotta put it behind you the past is in the past I uh I'm not so good with relationship advice I am good at trying to prevent them from getting all romantic with each other though let's see what else is there uh, is that a totem did I look at this totem did I just go around in a circle? I take it, yes. I went around in a giant circle. This looks... No, this, wow. this is different. I mean, I guess. What, uh... I swear, this is a different route, though. Well, that's, that's horrifying. Was it someone screaming? No. No. Uh, it's an animal in pain, isn't it? I mean, if Sam was here, uh, she could probably speak to it. It'd be very compliant. What? Do you hear that? No. It's coming for you. Hello. It's gonna eat you. Someone there? You're gonna die. Here it comes. Nah. Goodbye, Mike. I had a feeling that was gonna result in me hurting an animal. Just, just had had an inkling of a feeling it was gonna end poorly. I'm not here to hurt Mother Nature's little critters. They're my friends. It's everything you described if I was a Disney princess, I would sing, and they would all gather around, and it would be magical. Yeah. But that's not the name of the game. The name of the game is who's going to live by the end of this whole entire, uh, what is this? An adventure? Horror survival adventure? Is that a gas mask? No, it's just an old mask. I like it. It's, it's interesting. Uh, I guess I gotta be nice, right? Something changed in Mike that day. He was no longer trying to be 
funny man or like horrible dick. He kind of went a little mature. Creeps me out. Oh, Mike, stop. You're lost. Uh, you just broke a rule to follow another rule. I have no words. I, I, I guess. Is there is there anything more here? I mean, again, it's, it's if there are, if there are rules, the rules are meant to be broken. I guess that's uh, I should have scared Jess here. Oh well, I guess it's time to follow the path to a pro probably horrible, horrible death. Or maybe it's sweet death, we, we don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, that, that was kind of spooky, although, you know, it probably would have made more sense if I was staring at it instead of, you know, like just being aimed at the side. Now nah, let's find it. Oh, there it is. Is this the part? Oh no, it's it's in pain. It's suffering. Damn. It's horrible. Jeez, I don't think he's gonna make it. Ah, uh, comfort, dear. Hey, bud. Oh, hey, buddy. God, the poor thing. It's okay. It's okay. it's okay. Mike's having some Mike, moments of so humanity. It'll be over soon. Okay, buddy. It'll be over soon. Ah! Ah! Run! Run! Oh my god, what the hell was that? I don't know! Oh, it was a suffering oh deer. Mike, get over here! <laughs> oh, baby. Here he comes, my friend. Follow path. Hey friend, he's coming. Oh, I should probably do the thing. I took too much time. My friend's coming. He's just gonna grab me. I'm gonna get you. No, I gotta go for Jess. I gotta, I gotta help her. Mike's gotta be a hero oh, or something along go. those lines. You know, this is probably the, this is probably the worst decision. Get it, get it open. Mike was too much of a humanitarian, and it gained him 50 respect points towards Jess. I don't have control. Hold on. What did that wound? You know, I don't know. It might have been. It might have been the guy, the um, the, the killer man, dude. Uh, or he might have fallen into a trap. You know, pretty pretty horrible. It sounds like they're pr assuming it might have been a bear. How can you be sure? Because I'm pretty sure bears don't know how to open cabin doors. I've seen them open car doors. What? Where? On the internet. Also, it's a bear. Okay. Well, what makes you think that it couldn't just, like, smash that window? I promise you that no bear or anything else is going to open that cabin door. But he will I... smash through the window. Okay. I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Almost. But the bear. Huh. Typical. Urgh. This is not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yeah, it's a bit drafty or something, right? I know, that oh, bear's okay. coming through the window. Come on. We don't need a fire to heat things up. Michael, I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. Yeah, so go get a proper romantic a lady setting. Would like to cuddle up with her man. By a nice cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right. No. Get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. Mike. Yeah. Fire. And no. Yes. I prefer the cold. I had to adjust myself so when bear comes through window, I will be perfectly fine. Just hates windows. Yeah, you may have a point there. She does want a fire, you know. 
Wait, what? I was going through. I was going towards the shiny thing. Shit. Fuck, Mike. What? Oh, crap. What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone. It is gone. Okay. Yes. What? What is Slow it? Down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. Oh. Crap. See here, no. I was thinking it was like you know it hardcore drugs. Inside. I can't lose my phone. My parents will kill me. You can always get a new one. That's like my yeah. fourth one this year. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll have you look for it. Hopefully you got the insurance plan. Yeah, I don't think we want to go out there right now with the bear. Or... Mate, go get it. What's the worst thing that happens? Fine. Your friend hugs you for the hug of your life? Oh, what's this? Matches. Looky, looky. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? You've been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? All right. So I think the answer, at least the answer that I want, is go to the door. Nice. This will lighten up the mood a little. Oh, ah! oh hey, that that's perfect. Okay? Lights. Shocking myself to death. I know, it's the lights, dummy. You broke them. But it's probably faulty wiring or something. Got faulty wiring. Tennis photo. Hannah wearing a bronze alabaster levitan. 2013. All right. So this is their cabin. To the main cabin or something. I don't know. Still not quite sure where we're at. Nah. <laughs> that that's what scares you? A shower curtain? What, did you think you were a ghost or something? Did you did you spook yourself? This is where he gets an axe to the back. Alright, um toilet. Is the toilet okay? Do you have indoor plumbing? I mean, I guess the answer is technically yes, but uh, does does it all work properly? You're lighting uh, a fire, Michael. Not writing a novel. How much longer does <laughs> it take you? I, I don't know. How how long do I have to investigate this? These guys were inventive. Wait, was that the Karma Sutra or something? Uh, to which uh, I guess that's inappropriate for stream. Just wait until like the whole stream goes down, just because uh, too too much inappropriate conduct. It's so cold in here right now. My tongue will get stuck to your flagpole. Good. I mean, no, actually, that's bad. I don't like that. Here, let me go towards the door so I can find your phone. Jess, look at this. Is it a fire? No, <laughs> way cooler. Uh, sh check out this gun. Huh? How you like me now? She'd probably be more impressed if Why did uh. Why go completely bald? <sighs> Nothing. She'd probably be more impressed if there was a fire. But I don't know how to complete I'm simple tasks. Let's see. Um, go go out to go go outside. What you want your phone? How how am I gonna get your phone? <laughs> She's uh, a. <laughs> I'm losing relationship points the longer I progress this. Also, uh, that that looks like a thing I can explore and see. Uh, what what is this? Native American myths and legends. Oh, you know, I think I think we should take a look at this before we start a fire. It's the American grizzly. Looks like we weren't the only ones to meet the friendly neighborhood terror bears. That does not make me feel any better. Well, it makes me feel better. 
I guess technically I could read this, but um, I'm nearsighted in this the vision of dreams of the future award uh, or spell protecting against evil spirits. I mean, it's a little creepy, but I, I, I get it. What is creepy is actually good and safe. What we got here. I can't actually go outside. All right, let me try this again. Ah, this will take care of the mood lighting. No, what will take care of the mood lighting is actually getting a fire. That's what I've been told. Here we go, late, late it. Man one, fire zero. I'm impressed how good your Very your nice. skills are. Robert. Usually, you need a little kindling before right, it lights up like you. that. What comes next? Don't worry, there is no sex scene. If if well, that I, will I, I make you feel better, it. yeah, it does a little uh, bit. But still, well, you know, I'm, I'm uh, just trying to make no them all uh, not know. not like all flirty with each other. More like <sighs> you could have gunned some, but um. You, 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 you were just bad. Doing something wrong? No, 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 no. I mean, I thought you were one way, but you're kind of another way. Does if that make sense? It's, She's it's rethinking not... our relationship. Yes. Good. I really like you. Whoever you think I am, well, just give me a chance. And I will show no, you don't give him a chance. Tell him, hit the highway, bud. Look for my cell phone. Mike, the shutters. What about them? Um, Bears, Mike. They're going to come and find us. Out there. I feel like the, but the bears, Mike, don't you don't understand. Yeah, really, it's fine. The I bears, Mike. See, look, they're they're stalking us. This bear knows what's up. Oh, you know the the, the right answer was looking at the window. Actually, the game wants me to look at the window. Fine, spear to the face, right? Oh, not spear to the face. I'm actually impressed. Or maybe it's just the lead. Voila. Shutters are shut. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm not in I'm the sorry. mood, Mike. You had too many chances and you blew all of them. Plus, you know, when I said I was afraid of bears, you know, you didn't take it serious. He's not, though. Completely repulsed. Uh... Dismissive. It sounds complicated. Oh, come on. I can't what? comprehend what you're saying. Cat, little girl, BS. Uh, it's true. <laughs> sounds complicated. Well, maybe I'm complicated. Great. I'm too what? uncomplicated. <laughs> I don't understand big words, Jess. They what hurt my head, sort of Jess. What's that supposed to mean? That I'm no, 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 no I mean, bears are my best friend. You kept insulting them. I don't like you, Jess. We can't, we can't do this. Oh, Michael, You're it's a natural me, fear, man. Michael. Bears are Where scary. Are They're big. And the other part? See if you can find a blanket, and maybe we can snuggle up a bit by the fire and sort out oh. exactly how big of a dick you are. I see how it is. How about that shower curtain? That, that's a good blanket, right? All plasticky and makes loud noises. Come really uncomfortable, you know that, that that's perfect, right? Shower curtain, right? Oh, Michael. Blanket? Yeah, the shower curtain. Here I go, <laughs> retrieving the worst blanket. Oh, even Michael's not that dumb. That would have been great though. Just, just grab the, uh... Yeah, still looking. I was gonna grab the shower curtain, but apparently it, this guy is too smart for that. 
He's not, he's not a complete moron. I guess I really shouldn't insult Michael. I'm sure, I'm sure he's got a heart of gold beneath all of his, uh, beneath everything, maybe. I think that can be arranged. I, I don't like this. I gotta be real with you. The bears, they've come, Mike! Go find out now, please! The bears, you know how I'm afraid of the bears! You said they won't use the door, instead they use the windows. I mean, I, I guess I, I just gotta go do the thing, you know? I just gotta walk around here, now it's freezing. I'm surprised Mike isn't making a comment like, Ooh, I'm, I'm freezing, what the hell happened? Hey, it's her phone! I assume you know it's. What? How See, I want to play phone? hero, but uh, I Jess, I guess you should rethink your thoughts on bears. They were nice enough to get your phone. Damn it! What? Those goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us, and just when we were getting down to business. She's talking about the bears, by the way. Bears. That means you. I know. Oh, the bears don't like this, Jess. You should stop while you're ahead. Well, guess what? You can't. You can't ruin our good time because Michael and I are gonna fuck. That's right. We are going to have sex. The bears believe in celibacy. You know, you shouldn't. You shouldn't say these things. You summoned the bears. Uh oh, Jess. Congratulations, you did the most innocent route. Yes, yeah, summoning the bears. Do you really think the girls were communicating with us? I don't know. I don't know if I wish they were, or if I wish they weren't. I guess we should find out. All right, so we're we're Chris and we're Ashley. Um, we're just we're just gonna you know mosey on down down to the cellar. Ashley, well, maybe not the cellar, but yeah. the bottom floor. You know, like we're just gonna we're everybody. just gonna investigate she whatever happened Jesus. to Sam, whatever happened Spot to Josh. Back up here. Yeah, but not to like have a seance. Maybe we went too far. I just realized I'm controlling Ashley, not Chris. And I was wondering why Chris was not uh, following my commands. Turns out I was, <laughs> I was being a dumb dumb, playing the wrong character, or at least you know I thought I was the wrong character. Whatever, I got confused. So that's why Ashley is spazzing out, because I'm actually playing as Ashley. She seems like an okay person. To be honest, I really didn't want. Oh, Holy crap. Are you okay? It's a poltergeist. Look. What? There was something behind the books. Poltergeist. What is, that? is it a button? Why would there be a button? That's a good question. Should I push it? That's what buttons for four. Oh yeah, totally push it. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Push the button. Be like Dee Dee from oh, Dexter's oh, Laboratory. Oh, Oh, absolutely. An interactive movie. You might even call it a video game. I get to play as Chris. I get to play as big man Chris. Who, uh... You know, he's, he's gonna... He's gonna... Oh, man, it's the twins. Whoa, is what this... did you find? I, 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 I don't know. Let me just take another look at this. Oh, hey, I will take them and bleed them like pigs and rip their soft white skin off. Fuck you, 16 years. 16 years I waited for 
pretty little Hannah. Uh, I can't read that. Your thumb is making shadows. Holy cow. And this is the moment where all goes to hell and everyone dies. Uh, you know, this is probably not no, the right I, thing I, to do, I, but I we're going to do it. Honesty. Look at this. What? Christmas Honesty, back. Ashley. Here you go. It's this, this nice little, little photo about our friends yeah, yeah, and in the most positive it's, message. It's, uh, a threat. Chris, this is serious. We need to find Josh right now. I know, I'm sure he's fine. Especially if all goes to hell based on what I'm hearing, you know, and everyone dies. Uh, let's make the one decision where, you know, five people die just here and now. I I'm sure going through this opening, uh, like, little uh, corridor passageway, I'm, I'm sure, you know, this isn't going to lead to my untimely demise. It's probably perfectly safe, you know? It's, it's like seeing an angler fish in the deep blue back? ocean, you know? It's it's just, so? just, it's, I'm sure really it's really perfectly awesome. normal. November 8th, 2013, Dr. C.J.R. Uh, Swanum Race and Ethnicity Department, uh, 183 Haskett Hall, uh, I guess none of this is important. Uh, Vancouver, BC, though, so we're in Canada. Um, dear Dr. Swanham, thank you for your response. It's good to know the tribe still feels an attachment to the land here. Even if we had a few unfortunate programs, or no, sorry, problems, graffiti people sleeping in uh, outbuildings, or no, wait people sleeping in the outbuildings there we go okay sorry i apologize uh apparently reading isn't my strong suit this is their ancestral home after all i have made contact with the descendants of the tribe and intend to make a donation to the elder council healing the wounds of the past won't be easy but i feel it's a step in the right uh step i feel that it's a step that is necessary sincerely or yours sincerely uh melinda washington is that is that the mom uh like does that say saw yeah, that crazy like guy again right. uh it's thursday 9 p.m yeah, hanging yeah, around the back. generator uh, shed i'm going to start keeping a record So you you know our our friend he's um he's just chilling here, doing the things that you know. Uh, let's see what's behind door number one. Is it death? Oh man, do I do I get to die? I, I'm sure this is gonna say it's locked. I, I was kidding, but I mean I guess it makes sense. It's locked. So, uh, Josh, Jess, they're not anywhere so, here. Um, I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, yeah. So, what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? Yeah, you know, no, it's, uh, this is my what friend. The guy oh, he's, he's my best friend. He he just, just likes he giving hugs. <laughs> you know, he, he's a really good guy letter. once you get to know Chris, him. If this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. Oh, no. But that was my only oh, job. That? that was Josh. Coming from the kitchen. Josh! Josh! Oh, no. Josh is doing one of his clever. It's just a prank, bro. Um, no, I don't think she's okay, Chris. That or she's part of an elaborate. It's just a prank, bro. Ash? It's just a prank. Ash? Hey. Oh, that was some prank. Wait, is is this my friend? Hi, friend. How you doing? You don't look like Josh, or maybe you are Josh. 
I assume this is Josh. Uh, he's my friend. He's coming to put them to bed. He's called the uh, Sandman because he puts everybody to bed. I'm still Chris. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold the phone here. So his stats have changed. She's uh, a little more romantic, little, little more curious. Not so brave. Still, still stuck in the brave and charitable and funny department, but um, really likes Ashley. Um, thinks less of Jess, but that's okay. Jess, Jess was taken by the bears. Um, let's see, Matt. Not, not so much. Josh, he has a better opinion of Josh and Sam. You know, that still doesn't really explain anything with Emily or Matt, but that's okay. Also, I'm, I'm, I I think we found Josh. At the very least, I found my friend. Oh, are we doing this again? <laughs> Alright, next therapy session. Man, you, you... How are you going to probe me this time? I hope it's not the way of aliens he seems like a nice guy but I'm sure I'm he's the real killer behind everything people that you have come to know okay do I get to pick who I like and who I don't maybe you don't like them as much as you Oh, I'll tell you who I, I like and who this I don't. This is exercise in honesty. Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time. Your answers are important. Oh, baby. All right. Let's 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 see. I prefer Sam. I prefer Josh. Well, I, I prefer Sam. That's a no-brainer. Let's see. Emily or Matt? You know, uh, between the two, I prefer Matt. He, he, he's, he's the good boy out of those two. Oh, Chris or a Ashley. Um, I'm sort of like in the same boat with either of them, but I, I guess if I had to choose, uh, I'll, I'll choose Ashley. Um, she seems like an okay person. At least better than Matt. No, sorry, Chris. Oh, uh, Mike or Jessica. Um, I guess Jessica. She was eaten by the bears. Uh, oh. Uh, I think I'll choose Josh. I don't really like him, but I think I like him more than I do, Ashley. Uh, I prefer Chris. I'll, I'll give you that. You know, Chris is an okay guy. I didn't really want to vote him off. You tell me. In this little game you're playing so diligently. Who is it that you most dislike? I dislike Emily. A bit too bitchy for your taste. Yeah, and sure. I mean, you can say that. I just haven't had any redeeming, like, scenes with her. She just doesn't really have any redeeming qualities as of yet. I, I, like, I don't really hate her. It's just, it'd be nice if she kind of redeemed herself a little bit. See, I played Stardew Valley. There was this character named Haley, and you know, when you first meet her, she's terrible, but towards the end of, like, her whole, uh, like, you know, like, progression, like, the, the, the character progression, like, getting to know her and stuff, she actually becomes a pretty okay person. Hold on! There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. Apparently, he had warned them against pursuing their construction project in Blackwood Park. I, I guess. I don't know. What, what, one year fathers. later... Everything S goes to hell. I S T sister. Ask it whose sister. Josh, it's it's gotta be. Which sister is it then? <laughs> it, it's the worst sister. <laughs> oh my god. Probably Hannah. Josh. Hey. But maybe Beth. I don't know. Who who is this guy? Actually, I think. Don't worry, Emily will make. Uh, 
Emily will make badass stuff. You know, that, that's just it. I, I really want Emily to actually have some redeeming qualities. I want her to have a redeeming arc, but the chances are it's just not going to go over well. It's just not going to happen. At least that's that's what I'm I'm predicting. Um, but anyways, I, I hate to say it, but uh, I think I might call it here. Um, I'm getting a little tired, and uh, oh, I, I got off of work pretty much like after. Uh, I got off of work, and um, I, I just I had to stream for a little bit, but uh, I, I think I might call it here. It's a pretty good time to, I think, just um, call the stream that or like wait until the next chapter. So I, I think in the next chapter, you know, like um, if I do stream during the week, because uh, this, this is sort of a little more spur of the moment, but if, if I ever do, uh, I will... Okay, but when is the next stream? I, I don't know. Uh, if I do until dawn, it's going to be sometime during the week. And um, we'll, we'll see. It always depends how work goes. And uh, I'm getting into the busy seasons. But uh, I will try to, I'll try to do sometime during the week. Um, hopefully tomorrow. But if not, um, I don't know. It'll happen eventually. But I appreciate everyone being here. Um I, I'm going to try to go for tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. Uh, if not, hopefully hopefully the following day after. But anyways, um, I appreciate everyone being here. I appreciate everyone um, chilling with me early in the morning. I, I, this was just kind of for funsies, but I, I'm, I'm digging it. So uh, next time, I'll, 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 uh, bleh, I will actually try to beat this uh, this whole entire scenario at least. Um, and then maybe we can do a new one. Um, until then, you know, everybody take it easy, take care, have a great day, and uh, I'll see ya. Uh, and again, thank you for joining. Okay, I'm here today. Um, you know, this is sort of a surprise because... Uh, I wasn't planning on streaming today, but it just kind of works out that way sometimes. Um, let's see. Pretty sure I'm like the only person here, but that, that's perfectly alright. Uh, I'm just gonna do some Until Dawn. Suppose I should get that going. There we go. So as far as I'm aware, everything is good. There's probably no audio to the game, but that's okay. There will be. I, I want to clarify, I'm not having technical difficulties, it's just simply because I'm digging this music. It's so good. But sadly, that must come to an end, because, um, again, we're actually going to do some video game stuff. You know, we're going we're gonna to play some Until Dawn. Um, we're going to try to beat it, because I started it. Oh, hi, Barnaby. Oi, Yosuke. Uh, Josuke. Don't how, how you doing, Barnaby? Um, I know you're, you told me that you can't be here very long, and but it's very good to see you. Um, we're doing some Until Dawn, so, uh, this might be a little awkward for you. Uh, again, I'll try to make sure that I get this onto YouTube so everything is kind of, like, made clear. So if you, if you miss anything, it'll be good. But essentially, um, it, this is kind of like it's like watching a horror movie, like one of those cheesy slasher films, uh, the kind where a bunch of teens decide to go camping, stay in a cabin. In this case, it's in the middle of winter. Something about totems and premonitions. Uh, I don't know if you know too much about the concept, of, or rather, the the game itself, but basically, uh, I've made choices. I think one person has died so far, uh, aside from the beginning where you have the twins. Oh, there were twins, by the way, uh, and they kind of died, but um, I, I guess it doesn't matter. The guy that's on screen right now, yeah, this guy, I can actually control him, you know, I can make him do some stuff. He's uh he's he's the therapist man. It hasn't really been made clear what he does.
but at the same time, like, oh, except for their being some kind of therapist to some guy who we don't know yet, but is supposedly related to all this that's going on. I play, uh, I'm playing a bit of a hat in time to help my memory on what to expect later. Oh, I didn't, I didn't say I was going to play a hat in time, Barnaby. Uh, I mean, I might, but then again, I uh, might not, might, might throw you for a loop and play something completely different. We'll see, but I guess I should, uh, uh enough with the talk, you know, and until dawn, everybody. Until dawn, we're, we're getting to it. We got a recap here. Huh? You know, everything was all good. These two people were just killing a cab and she's probably dead. At least it's not going so good for her. She got captured by bears. Uh, and now loyalty. Seven hours until dawn. Oh, we're, we're Mike, by the way. This, this is Mike. Uh, also, you should probably have a code or something. I mean, um, considering everything, maybe, maybe he's got so much adrenaline going through his body, he just doesn't really, it just doesn't phase, phase him. Um, I'm going the risky shortcut. Um, I, we should probably clarify, let's see, Mike, right? The, this is Mike. Um, he, he's one of the least awesome people in the game. Uh, no one really cares about Mike all that much. You see, uh, we, we got Jess. That's that's our girlfriend. Um, but of course, you know, it's not looking so good. At least not with um, not with us. Uh, for the most part, there's two people that seem to be pretty unlike likable so far. That's Mike here and Emily. They're, 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 they're not so good. Um... But at the same time, like, you know, I, I'm waiting for that redeeming factor. Uh, then again, I, I've also played Mike to be a, a pretty unlikable bastard. Just going to throw that out. Uh, Ashley is pretty, pretty cool. Chris is pretty cool. I remember Sam is pretty much the one person you want to live. Because she's, uh, so far, she's pretty much been, like, uh, the, the best person right from the introduction. Uh, Jess is actually not too bad either. Um, J Josh is kind of, I don't know. I I'm waiting for some, like, human characteristics from Josh. Uh, he's, he's pretty unlikable. Uh, the twins that, the twins. Uh, you, you can kind of see them. So we had, uh, we had Hannah and, no, that's just one of them. Family Portrait. Hannah and Beth, that's those were the twins. They were at the very beginning of the game. They they kind of died. Um and Josh is their brother. So there's there's three siblings. Um jo Josh is kind of like uh whatever. Oh, I got I got quick time events everybody. Will we fall into the river? No. I'm not that fortunate. Jessica! Oh, Jessica. Where's my girlfriend? Where'd you take them, bears? Because they were afraid there were some bears, so obviously that's our that's our only um alleged person. Hey, it's Jessica. Still alive. Jess! Escaping from the bears. No! Oh, point your rifle to the source that's doing the thing. You you could have saved her. You could have shot at, uh, no, we're jumping down. We're doing the most foolish thing available. Oh, there you go, Mike. Congratulations. You hurt yourself. Grab the white girl. Get, grab the light. Find what's up. Oh, I got I got quick time events. I'm I'm gonna die, everybody. I gotta be honest. Mike's not gonna live. Oh, so far I've gotten lucky, except for that one time. Uh, people have asked me, am I good at quick time events? The the answer is no. I, I am not. 
I probably should have chose to jump. Now I got a shimmy. Sure, it's the safer route, but it's, I mean, come on, man. We gotta save Jess. She's not that bad of a person. At least not yet. Oh, what, what, what you got there, bro? What you got? What you got there? Uh, risk slide down. That's right. We're going. Ta time for a fun little snow ride into oblivion. Oh, it didn't shatter, or you know, it didn't collapse. There we go. That proper terminology here I was thinking you know that all hell was gonna break loose we were gonna fall to her death nope Mike's okay he's perfectly fine dropping two stories and look at this guy he's he's ready for some more action personally you know I, I, I'd worry he'd be dying from hypothermia but I mean, he's got so much adrenaline going he's, he's a trooper I, I suppose this is the redeeming arc for Mike here still waiting for Emily's but uh Oh man, we gotta we gotta save Jess. Jess! All right, where is where? Jessica, oh, I'm that's coming. not her. That's the some I'm elevator. I get the feeling this is not the right way, but I'm I'm gonna do it anyways. My only penalty here is just uh, not Jessica! saving Jess. Oh, what's the glowing thing? You should probably look at it's a totem. I've been told to look out for these things. They're important. Yellow, that's a uh, guardian. We find a wolf. Wolf is our wolf is friend, apparently. Not the bears, but wolf. All right, we gotta find a wolf. Um, as soon as I find a wolf, that that means that clearly I'll be perfectly fine. Can can I run? Is there a run button? Am I not hitting the run button? That is not the run. Wait, hold the phone. We got some totems here. We got some guidance totems. Uh, so we got death. Death usually indicates someone's going to die. Uh, guidance usually indicates... Well, you, I guess you can read it. You can see what everything does. But, um... Guide... Oh, man. I just realized... <laughs> my voice is coming through the audio on my phone. Um, I apologize if that was a little annoying. Uh, each totem piece foretells a possible future event. Um, I, I think guidance shows us, like, good things to happen. Uh, loss. Loss usually indicates, basically, brown and, and black are usually not so good. I think danger is also not so great. Uh, potential loss of a friend, uh, vision of guidance for a future choice, uh, and then, you know, d death. I haven't even gotten fortune, I'm just not lucky, period. Anyways, I guess it's not important. Oh, Jess, you know, knowing my luck, you're, you're probably, we're better off not teaming up with Mike here. You're probably better off teaming up with Chris or, uh, even Josh. Seems a little bit of a, a, a dingus, but... Is she dead? I did this. It's my fault, Jess. I, okay. I was the worst person to count on. Nope. I was a terrible person. Oh, what? This is probably not the right choice. That probably was Chris or someone else. Somebody I cared about. Maybe Josh? I, I suppose there's also the fact that there's this, um, convict, like some sort of convict guy living on this place so I, I suppose it's possible could be a babe man we're doing we're doing the foolish thing because I'm a fool I'm a terrible person I'm gonna I'm gonna fall and die and it's not gonna be good for anybody especially Mike uh, oh we gotta jump we got we're we're doing the rash thing here 
we're doing some terrible decision making. Um, this, this is perfect, really, in the end of in the end of schemes and everything that we got going on here. You know, this, this is great. I'm gonna lose my grip and I'm gonna fall to oblivion. It's what I need right now. Oh man, that how'd you do that, Mike? How are you still living? How do you know it's a guy? Maybe it's a girl. Maybe it's Beth, back from the death. Don't know. Oh, do I need to... Pa pow I could... See, my luck's just not that good. No fortune totems. You are... You are... SOL. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't lose your foot. You know, had I had I successfully done that, I probably would have been in a better state, but that's okay. Let's go the long route. It's probably safer that way. Unless, you know, the mine collapse and I completely just uh, die. Oh, I got it, I got it. Okay, we light, we light the lighter. Step into the mine. Is it full of coal? Am I gonna light this place on fire? Am I gonna die a horrible inferno death? You know, knowing my luck, that's exactly what would happen. But I, I, I guess I'm not that lucky. I don't know. Even against my own luck, you know, whatever I'm predicting is gonna happen, definitely not gonna happen. I'm just wandering around like a doofus. This is when you get a horrible fright. You see, this is. Oh, that was it. See, jump scare, someone was looking at me, you know, like something along those lines. Uh, basically, I'm being stalked right now. I like that he has a box lighter, though. I, I guess, you know, light, light the lantern. There we go. That's a better fire source. Much more reliable. So, I think Jess is actually dead now. That's a little morbid. Oh man, so I'm SOL, no no sweatshirt, or no like, have no, basically out in the cold, gonna die from hypothermia. Things are looking pretty dire. Jesus. I guess that's my saving grace, right? That, that place right over there. Maybe there's like the killer right over there. Hey, it's Chris. Oh. All right. Oh, no. He's a he's an okay guy. Not great, but okay. Ashley. Uh oh. oh. My crush. Where have you gone? People seem Ash. to like Ashley. Ash. Uh oh. That's blood or red paint. Not good. Not good at all. Oh man, something's not go. Something's not good. Is she possessed? Am I gonna look into a bedroom, find her just like on the bed? You know, all possessed. Screen turn green or skin turn green. Head turning about 180 or I guess 360. Um. What the fuck? A bird. Clearly. That's what that, that's what I need oh, right now. Shit. No. What it is a bird? The, the the bird hit itself hard against the wall. Now it's bleeding. We we got we gotta go check Ash. on the bird. No, uh, screw Ash. We need to look for the bird before it's over. Happy birthday! Yeah, happy. Oh, thanks everybody. It's still still my birthday. Uh, let's see. I, I'm just playing as Chris, you know, and not, not his birthday. I only have a couple more minutes, but, you know, it's, it's all good. Right now, uh, oh, I got a big, nasty wound, head wound. Ashley! You know, the real question is, uh, are there any footprints? Like, why, why should I even be going this Ashley? stuff? Ashley! Hold the phone. Was that, was, looks like a blood trail. I suppose no. That's is that a blood trail or shit? No, it's definitely. 
Anyone it, out there, yeah, Ashley? it looks like a blood trail. I suppose I'm heading the right way. I mean, I really don't know, to be quite honest. I'm pretty sure this is not the way I'm supposed to go. Ash. But I guess because I'm making terrible decisions, I should go this way, right? Clearly, this is, uh, this is the best choice. You know, making sure that, you know, like, the person that I, I really have Ash. feelings for, you know, making sure that, uh... Well, it seems like Ash. the blood trail's this way. I guess you had two options, and I, I chose this one. I wonder what would have happened if I went the other way, but I, I guess I'll never Ashley. know. I, I, I'm just basically gonna go wander about to this... Looks like a lodge or something. I'm gonna go wander Ash. about to there. Maybe I'll run into something. Some bears, perhaps. Maybe a wolf. That's not gonna try to gnaw my leg off. Ashley! Knowing my luck, it's it's basically gonna happen just like that. Red! Uh, Ash, I mean Ash. God, oh baby. Coming, Ash. Just, uh, just keep talking to me. What you, you should, you should know that uh, I'm the worst person to deal with all this. Oh, it's saw. Prince, are you there? Hello. <gasps> and thank you all for joining me. It's saw, everybody. We're gonna have, have to make a choice, a right? Experiment. Sort of test. Now, for this experiment, I don't know. I don't know. we'll need the cooperation of our two test subjects, uh -oh. Joshua and Ashley. What? But we're gonna need one more brave participant to help decide which oh, subject baby. will live and which will die. Uh, Hello, Chris. Would you like to play a game? Please, 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 everyone, calm down. So uh, very simple. But there's no calm. Christopher, you will find a lever placed directly in front of you. <laughs> All you have to do oh, is man. choose who you will save. I, I know who I'm choosing. All right, there there's a rule. It, it goes hose before. No wait, it goes bros before okay, okay, hose. Okay, okay, this is gonna be okay. Or is it hose before bros? Oh, dude, buddy, let's just think about this for a minute. You can't let me die. Just give me a second. Oh man, I can't let them both die. I can't. Oh, but uh, oh, but. You know, I, I, I Ashley, Judge, oh no, but, but Josh, you know, he's my friend. He told me that endearing story, but Ashley, but Josh, Ashley, Josh, Ashley, Josh, Ashley, Josh. Oh. God, Ash. I'm sorry. Chris, please. Oh, God. To be honest, I was going to go and pick Ashley to save. <laughs> not, not. Oh, oh hey, I can't. <laughs> oh no, it's a mistake. It's what I meant. I can't. Oh no, what have I done? This is the best of both worlds. I basically told Ashley I'm choosing her, and instead I ended up going for Josh. Uh oh. Josh, I didn't realize you were making spaghetti. Oh man. Josh, don't, don't I, I feel so I bad. I now I'll never get to try your delicious me. spaghetti. Oh. He didn't have any spaghetti. I'm coming, Ash. I'm, I'm gonna get you. I'm letting you down. Shh, stop. Now, now she hates me. Come on, come on. Let's Straight get, up, let's get hates me. Come on, we're gonna get you out of here. No! Shh, 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 we gotta go, okay? Straight up doesn't want me to. Doesn't want any part of me. No one loves Chris anymore. It's actually bros before ho, unless you're a pimp. I, I'm a terrible person. Oh, hey, it's Emily and Matt. Matt, you done being a simp? And also, uh, Emily. Josh, Josh, what? Dude, you said not right in front of us, man. What are you talking about? We played a game of Saw, and it didn't work out very well. There's a maniac, and he was, there was a Saw. 
See, even your sick, even he agrees there was a saw. I killed Josh, it's all my fault, I'm the maniac, I need to go to prison. You know, the thing is, I, I feel like they're not exactly, like like the fact that, you know, they're they're basically breaking down right now, I feel like it's not unwarranted, but um... Uh, again, I'm, I'm a terrible person. I already knew that going in here. I, I, I went in here thinking I'm not going to be able to save anybody. Why are we still talking about this little girl? We got Emily, who is uh, really unlikable. We got Matt here, who is... Uh, I, I, I really don't know. Imagine if he was faking... Oh, if he was faking, that'd be amazing. Also, he still has the still beating heart. And now he's got a corpse. All right, so therapist man, he, he's like really weird. Um, he gave me this choice. It was, it was sort of like a Rorschach test, except it was more like what makes y'all afraid, and that was uh. I chose gore, essentially, because it was, like, the, the most frightening out of everything, I guess. I don't know. It was the thing that was, like, that makes me afraid. He was showing me, like, you know, insects and frog, like, was there frogs? Well, rats. He's just like, tell me which is the most scary. So I told him, and it involved basically gore and a rat. I don't see the rat, though. Hello. Are oh, there it is. There, this is not going the way you hoped it would. Mm, you know, it, it's going fine. Mm. I see. And do you think that these four people are getting what they deserve? Uh, do I get to answer that? Oh, hey, who are you? I'm trying to help. Therapist man, therapist man does whatever a therapist can. It's not good for you. It's not good for anyone. Oh, that's unfortunate. You're being particularly honest in the way you're playing. I bet I'm playing honest. I make mistakes though. Is that why you're upset? Because I said I'm choosing Ashley and then I chose Josh. To continue with this elaborate self indulgence? Uh, yeah, sure. Do you even believe that I am real? Uh, nah, you don't exist. The heart of the problem, it all comes down to the denial. Do you really count the difference anymore? No, not really. I'm the monster all along. Silent. Watch. Hello. How are you doing? So I guess this is like down for. Nah, it's, it's more like a slasher flick. But otherwise, yeah. He on crack. Wait, me or him? It. We, we talking about Josh? I could actually believe Josh is on something. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. So have fun. Oh, oh baby. Oh, I was going to choose Ashley, but I, I wasn't really going to choose Ashley. I just said I was going to. Also, Mike. Oh, my God. I'm curious what's oh going to happen to Mike. Shit. Therapist. There's oh, individual we're considering I, I agree a hundred percent. Silent, uh, silent watch. I, I agree a hundred percent. That therapist is definitely on something, or uh, he's a figment of my own psyche, the weird part of my own psyche. One of the two. Wait, is that is that Mike? He looks pretty grizzled. That's not good. I mean, like he he dirty boy. Needs a shower or something. It's a wolf! Look, I, I was told wolf isn't bad. 
knowing my luck, I'm going to go up to it and it's going to gnaw my face off. So, um, I, I guess it's win-win at this point. Uh, that or I need to find something to give to the dog so it won't try to gnaw my face off. Uh, knowing my luck, you know, it's it's going to turn out my, Mike's going to Mike's gonna suffer from a case of uh, death. Pretty unfortunate, but, you know, hey, it's all good. Those wolves look pretty, though. Let's go probably real, real good trained killers, though. <laughs> Hanging around with uh, the guy who I think killed just or something happened there. He might be the convict, or that might be a red herring. At this point, I pretty much believe anything. I believe, you know, we're the killer all along. Uh, and that, that being, like, the one person who doesn't die in this whole trip. But I digress. Let's just carry on forward all the way to the house. The mansion. Or wherever this is. I imagine it's a pretty terrible place to go. Filled with a lot of saw traps. I don't know, maybe home alone traps. Uh, speaking of which, I was watching Home Alone 2 recently. It's a good movie. Despite how similar it is to the first one. I, I like how, uh comedical a lot of those traps get uh, but that said let's, let's see the obvious wrong answer is to go up to the front door so I'm gonna go up to the front door you know I'm just gonna let myself in no second thought just straight up fall for the most obvious of traps knowing my luck uh, the wolves are gonna come out in like five seconds and on my face off Kind of remember it being about a Wendigo, though maybe it changes depending on the story. Don't spoil. Uh, oh, I mean, this is pretty new to me. I'm doing this blind. But then again, I mean, maybe there is a Wendigo. That that would be a, a huge twist on every level. All I know is there are multiple paths you can take, all based on your choices. Locked. Well, why doesn't it just say Occupado? Clearly, this chapel is just a giant toilet. Let's see. Well, if I can't go in that way, I guess I have to go in the other way. Let's see. Uh, I guess that's the obvious answer right there, but I can't get to it. So I have to find some way to get up there. A rope, maybe? I mean, that looks like something I could potentially use like some kind of cable I suppose I could go this way to the admin oh what what is this some kind of plaque it looks interesting look at that all right that was very insightful so for my perspective admin is probably where I need to go but is it the only way I can go? I if if this was a if this was a slasher flick, it, it would be the worst slasher flick because I'm in control of everything. Um, I thought you said you played it. No, I haven't played it before. This is completely blind. Uh, my first time playing it was last set, was the last time I played it though. Uh, this is just uh, a continuation of that playthrough. In other words, basically, wel welcome to the latter half of uh, Until Dawn. It's still pretty blind. Want to take a peek inside? Oh man, my greed will be the undoing. My greed it knows no bounds. I'm Mike. Uh, I, I don't care about this. It's probably not good. It's Confederate money, right? Clock in cards. Okay, that's not money. That's just making sure people get paid their money. Important, yes, but uh, nothing I can really use unless I need to start a fire. If that's the case, I mean that'll make good t tinder or something along those lines. Is that? That's not a bear. I thought that might have been a bear right there, like a stuffed bear. 
What is this? Is this valuable? It's a camera? Is this going to show all the victims, like people that have died? There we go. Broken camera. I suppose that's not very useful. It's a good clue, though, I guess. So somebody likes to watch their victims in their final hour. Maybe. Something along those lines. So we've got the morgue. we got the rest of this place. You know, going by what is clearly the wrong choice, it's probably the morgue. But I might as well just investigate a little bit. Like, for instance, we got this newspaper, right? Huh. That, uh, okay. I'm getting some weird Silent Hill vibes. I, I can't really explain it. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that in Silent Hill Origins you also go to like an asylum. But I digress. That's not important. Let's go to the morgue. Clearly not the right choice. Or I guess maybe it is, but you know, for me, it's not the right choice. You know, it's clearly probably the, the choice that's gonna murderize me. But you know, I, I digress. Let's just see what we got here. Wait, can I can can I do that? Can I hold it like where it looks like he's shaking it really badly, like he's afraid? One of these guys actually tried to bite me. I'm going to report it to Doctor Bowen. Well. I suppose you should report it to Dr. Bowen. I wonder if Dr. Bowen was a good doctor. Maybe he's the therapist, man. Uh, let's see. I, I guess I can't go through that door, so clearly we gotta go to the morgue. Which, again, I, I'm, I'm gonna say this is probably a terrible idea, but the game's not really giving me any other option here. So what? What is down below? What is going to try to assault me? What's going to try to kill me? Are there bears down here? A anyways, yeah, like like I said, I only saw it through once, so I don't know It's if it's a different story depending on what you choose. Anyway, I won't talk about anything else I remember about the Let's Play I saw to... Um, that's uh, to avoid possible spoilers. I mean, I don't know how the last play did. Um, if if you ask me, like, I don't think I'm gonna get any sort of Wendigo ending. I feel like if there's a Wendigo ending, it would involve like uh, hurting animals. And I'm just gonna say this: I haven't been trying to hurt animals because I might be a monster, but I still have standards. But I digress, you know, machete time. I'm turning into a real... I'm turning into Jason. I mean, this works for me. I got, my, I got myself a weapon. I'm going to make myself um, some teenage stew or something like that. You know, some something really terrible. I'm, I'm going to make some terrible decisions. Uh, but machete is good, you know. I can at least defend myself or, you know, uh, hurt myself by accident. Which is the more probable thing, you know, I'm, I'm going to be attacked by the killer, I'm going to have to defend myself with machete, and by chance I'm going to accidentally cut my hand while trying to do so. Because I'm not wielding it properly. That's the most likely scenario here. That or a jump scare. See, we got, we got some, uh... We got some roaches, we got a restraining chair, I'm, I'm surprised there's even insectoids in this freezing weather. I wonder if, like, this whole place is heated. Uh, I suppose... Twisted fuckers like the watch, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it looks like there's still quite a bit of blood to it. I mean, it doesn't look dry is really what I'm trying to say there. Uh, but I guess maybe it is. Who can really say? I didn't want to, I don't want to investigate that. No, I, I got it. It's a restraining chair. He tortures his victims. I'm probably next on the list, considering where I am and how things are gonna go. Now let's see if uh, if I was a terrible person and I had a machete 
and I had to go anywhere. And there's kind of a dead end. I guess the correct answer is we got to backtrack. Unless, of course, that's not the right answer. But then again, I feel like this game is basically like, oh, you, you choose whatever you want to do at this point. It'll advance the plot. Don't, don't worry. It's a doggo. Oh, I should follow it. It's clearly the, the t worst answer. Let's go. Let's go to dog. Dog is clearly what's gonna help me. We got that one guidance totem. It said something about a dog. Clearly, this is the best choice. Where is the, the dog? I, I'm gonna go give it a hug. I'm gonna go say, "Hey, friend. Hey, buddy. There's a. There's an arm." Oh yeah, absolutely. That's that was my mistake. Who is the fool now? I don't even have a quick time event. I am just going to die. Oh yeah, it's definitely saw at this point. Oh Mike, you know, I, I, I think you're a terrible person, but um even I don't think you deserve amputation. Oh, that dog's coming for you, Mike. This is probably um, clearly this is the worst choice ever. You know, we're we're lopping off our machete here. It's not gonna work out too well. I'm dead. Let, let's let's do it again. This is the worst choice ever. Time to make the ultimate mistake. I don't even have a machete anymore. Oh, that actually did work. And I have my fingers. But now I don't have a weapon. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hi, Midas. Aside from that mishap, imagine how good that feels. I mean, it probably still stings because, you know, he's still got little gash marks in his fingies. Also, uh, Doggo didn't come for me. I, I'm a little surprised, to be quite honest. Imagine if the killer was his mom. Oh, you know, imagine if the killer was in a kitchen, or sorry, imagine Mike's mom was in the kitchen, and then she turned to Mike and said, Here, Mike, this will explain everything, and then her head exploded. Just like in Dark Seed 2. Uh, that's a good series of games. Uh, well, actually, eh, I guess they're not really good, but they're interesting. It's probably the better word for it. But now I don't have a machete. I'm also on the other side of that chair, which is interesting to say the least. Um, oh man, at Barnaby, your SM fantasies are showing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Barnaby. He's got a point there, but at the same time, um, you know, for all intents and purposes, uh, I, I would say I'm probably a little bit of a masochist myself, so. Um, it, we're all in the right place here. Now, Mike here, he's, uh, he's, he's suffering a little bit. Doesn't feel good by the fact that my name also happens to be Mike, or Michael, I guess, but, uh, I, I go by Mike. So, really, every time I say anything about Mike here, it's almost like reflecting to myself. And, and it hurts a little bit. But I digress. Because we got, we got ourselves a little card... Uh, if the, now if this game was realistic, there'd be blood on the card because I'm bleeding a little bit. Around this paradise. All right, interesting. We got ourselves a telegram and re reply immediately. Actually, can I look at that again? I wanted to see what it says right there. <laughs> Reply immediately. Reporters and other snoopers to be kept away at all costs. 
Um, and it, it was a telegram. I, I would say that this telegram is probably pretty old, but uh, maybe not. Oh, I, I like that, you know. It looks like he's, like, afraid, you know. Or maybe it's the blood loss, you know. He's trying to... He's having trouble trying to focus. Unless you like a joke game, it's, uh, unintentionally funny. Yeah, this game is <laughs> unintentionally funny sometimes. Um... I guess it doesn't help that I'm just... This, uh, I, I, I choose to play this game terribly uh, at least to some degree it's still blind you know I'm, I'm not intentionally trying to foul up every time I get a quick time event but uh, whenever it choose whenever I get to make a choice and it's a bad choice you know I'm gonna make it I just don't care about these people nearly as much well oh, I guess I should say I don't care about Mike nearly as much could uh, who the hell would it... how many days will they keep us here the answer is, I, I don't know. If I was in the guy's case, I mean, or if I was in the, the serial killer's case, uh, probably not very long, but then again, maybe that was written when it was like an asylum or something like that. You know, I'd, I'd probably go nuts myself. Uh, is there really anything here though? I feel like I feel like I may have exhausted everything or I'm going through a path that uh, I haven't investigated yet. I think this is all new. I've just backtracked a lot. Actually that might be yeah. I think we saw yeah, this is the, okay, we're we're back where we we began. We're all the way back here. I, I remember all this. Okay, now it's familiar. This is all pointless. We already saw the restraint chair. We already know that, like, stuff happened here. Was I supposed to go the other way? I mean, I got some clues. That, that's pretty cool. Uh, we are... We all want... We all what you like. Uh, all like... Uh, no, I mean dark... Seed too. Wait, a s sorry, I'm a little confused. I'm, I'm trying to read chat also, you know, just because uh, I, I'm trying to I'm trying to be interactive with everybody involved watching. Uh, I, I try to do that. It's important to me. But that said, I mean, I, I'm Mike. Just walking about. Let's see. I think I came from this way. I'm already lost. No, I did not come from this way. I couldn't have come from this way. It'd be impressive. Can't make any notes on that skeleton. He's just being a skeleton. So let's see if if I have to go this way because this is where the bear trap was. This is where I got my hand cut a little bit. I suppose that would mean that uh doggo wolf wolf thing that was gonna knock my face off it, it's this way this has to be new content this place just gets better and better yeah that's um strange skull it's not really a skull so much as it is like a, a head just kept in solution uh, actually now that I look at it I don't even think it's kept in solution I think it's just a head in a jar Looks like it's been there for a while, though. Oh, man, what's that? What's that noise? Should go investigate that. Clearly, it's not going to end in my demise. Let's see. If I investigate any of the other doors, it's going to end with uh, nothing. As in, there's nothing here to really spook you. I will say, it's pretty fantastic that they sort of have a little bit of like uh there's a serial a serial killer and there's also a bit of a supernatural element at play it kind of makes you wonder like what really is going on uh bowen is is this the doctor fatal uh it looks like something happened to his throat like maybe he got his throat cut or something i don't really know 
the cursive is making it a little hard for me to read what's going on here, but let's see, this is not the door that was slamming, so clearly this has got to be something interesting, right? Uh, is there a corpse here? It looks like a blanket. Can I take the blanket? I'd imagine Mike is freezing. And sure, you know, like, uh, it's probably pretty gross. Probably was, like, swallowing a corpse, but at the same time, I mean, just just imagine. You know, we're, we're in the middle of, like, some place I can't really see. And Bowen. So maybe there was a doctor here. Uh, body cannot uh, deteriorate until 8 or 6 to 8 hours after death. Uh, something of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. Okay. So apparently the attacker cannibalized the victim. But again, I'm just saying, like, so we're out in the middle of nowhere. There's snow. Well, I guess it's not the middle of nowhere, but, there, like, no. I'm in a tank top. It's cold. I'd imagine, like, it, sort of survival instincts would indicate, you know, I, I should probably bundle up a little bit. But maybe not. Maybe that would lead to my end. If that's what... See, if that's what... Spooksha, I mean, oh, if that's what Spooksha, I mean, that's pretty normal. But I was going to say, you know, if uh, old Roddy Corpse is what's going to spook you right now, I mean, I think you have more things to worry about. I'm not quite sure what this is. Okay, it looks important, though. I mean, Rat was kind of eating, eating its insides, so, uh, you know, that's kind of gross, but... All that said and done, uh, it's not Resident Evil, so it shouldn't come up. It shouldn't come back to life and try to gnaw my brains out, or my leg, or my arm. Really, any part of myself. Yeah, okay, that's what we needed. Chapel security pass required. Very interesting. Oh, and he's smart. He's taking it because he knows that he might need it later. Now, if you ask me, I feel like I should, I should get like a limb or something for the doggos, the wolves, so I can distract them. You know, they'll go for that. I won't worry. I won't have to worry about like being gnawed to death, maybe ripped apart. Uh, hey, it's boring over there. Uh, wait. Um, imagine if you came back to the chair and it had a vibrator in it, uh, uh, whoa, sorry, I'm trying to read chat here, and, uh, I'm doing something that I didn't really want to do, there we go, uh, alright, uh, imagine if you had came back to the chair and it had a vibrator in it uh, on a piston and that vibrator came through the hole. Uh, that that would suck. Basically it was a sex chair for women or gay dudes. Um, hey, it's boring over there. Uh, corpse husband is in there reading creepypastas. What a pretty girl. I mean, I guess. What, was that a girl? Personally, if you ask me, hey puppy, how you doing? No, you just want to, just wants pets. A little affection, maybe your leg, arm, any part of you, you know. He just wants to say hi, and also, uh, he wants some of your man flesh, but you know that, that's besides the point. Hey, is that the guy? He probably knows I'm here. Wait, was this all an elaborate trap? He get us over here, and now I'm I'm trapped in this chapel. Is this a quaint little psycho crib. I, I suppose, but it looks like now I I've become the rat in the cage. 
Well, if that's the case, I guess I might as well try to work to get my cheese. Oh, I'm, I'm, I guess maybe I am okay. Like, I'm fine. Back in here. That I am? I, I suppose I gotta go to the chapel, right? Uh, chances are, you know, it's not gonna lead to anything good. Oh, wait a second, I got that pass. I wonder if that's what unlocks this. It is. Alright. So that's the reason I went through all that trouble, just to get this little slip of paper that allows me to open this door. Oh, hi, doggy. I don't want to punch him, though. You're my friend, dog. Easy boy. You know, that Easy. was really Easy. foolish. Easy. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, Easy. maybe it'd be alright, but... I was thinking maybe if I punched the dog, <laughs> it would lead to me dying. But I was also thinking, like, if I don't do anything, it might lead to me dying. Uh, I mean, there was that totem that basically said, dog is friend, but... I don't want to hurt any animals. Even at the cost of me probably dying for it. You need to be locked up in a chapel. I mean, I, you know, I, I felt like maybe I need to be locked up in a chapel and inquisit and like, uh, in, and have the Inquisition just in the, like, torture me sometimes. See what I know, which is nothing oh. really. So it would just be really petty. Cigar box. Now, honestly, if if. The Inquisition did come to my house, if it even was a thing, uh, it, it probably would just be me being tortured for no reason other than, um, I, I don't know, maybe I'm a blasphemer, but even then, it's like, I, I know nothing. Uh, maybe this will keep the what? wolves fat and happy. Does he want a bone? Let's give him a bone. It's probably all bloody and, you know, it's got human elements on it. But, you know, hey, like, what, what's wrong with that? Let's just give him a little bone. Let's give him a little treat. He's probably going to eat my face off. But, you know, uh, what, the worst things have happened. Lost my girlfriend. He just wants his bone. See, now he's going to think that Easy you're the boy. enemy. Easy. That's a good boy. That's right. Oh, I guess he really is our friend. Hey, guy. You like that? See, he's, he's a yeah. good, good boy. I wasn't trying to pet him, although that, uh, that does make me feel a little bit better about the situation. See, how is a Wendigo going to try to gnaw my face off now? How is a Wendigo going to do anything? No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. You're, you're damn right. We got a, we got a lock. I can't do anything with that. So we got a cage. I, I don't even know what that's going to be used for. Probably me. I suppose the other th thing to do is just investigate. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in that chest that I really need to do. Uh, I was thinking maybe the mantle, but I guess for all intents and purposes, I gotta go over here, right? Or maybe I gotta go over there. Looks like there's some shackles. It's always good. Uh, another cage. See, I, I guess we got, it's actually, it looks like a little bit of a living room. I mean, like, it looks like you got your little miniature TV, you got a couch here, uh, cigar box, which, uh, exposed. which I guess, you know, those, those modern day privileges that you have access to. Can I get another bone for the other dog? Is that something I can do? Maybe not. 
How about, uh... How about anything? I can't go to the, the lock, because uh, I don't have a key, unless I'm supposed to smash it. Then when Dean goes, don't give a F if you pet their dog or not. I guess that's true. But I like to imagine, you know, the Wendigos speak for the forest, and if you hurt animals, they come for you. Uh, that's probably not true in the slightest. It's just me making predictions that uh, if I if I do any sort of crime against nature, they come for you. Oh, that's where I need to go. I apologize. I was being really dumb. I didn't even realize this was a thing. Fuck a freak. Clues found. Clippings on the wall. I mean, local found dead or something along those lines. Uh, now is there a key here? I mean, that's really the whole point of me going here. Just trying to find anything. I suppose this guy likes to scrapbook his own life. Or at the very least, make some sort of collage. Ah, here we go. That looks important. It also looks like probably what's going to do me in. So, what have we here? Ah, uh, survivability. He's get, he gave you a coat so you can survive. See, the guy's not a murderer. He actually thinks, hey, I don't... <laughs> he cares about you. He gave you a jacket. Oh, of course. With nice. gun, I can now, I can now make horrible decisions. Like, uh, think that all my friends are trying to kill me and try to self-defend myself, but accidentally shoot everything. Wait, do I have to shoot the lock? Is that what this has all been leading up to? I need to shoot the lock. Break it, in other words. I suppose that's what I gotta do right now. Alright. Um, here we go. We're just gonna go to the slot. We're gonna... Oh, we really are gonna shoot it. <laughs> Alright, Mike. You, you just gained a couple man points for that. It was a terrible decision, but I mean, it looked cool. I'll give you that. I mean, I guess Mike has a jacket. He doesn't care. Probably should go back for that cigar and just uh, start smoking it. Be like, I'm a man's man now. Now, what horrible choices can I make now that I'm uh, here wandering about with no hope in sight? <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, I would not follow the, the weird killer to his lair. Because chances are he's probably already predicted what's going to happen. Which is mainly, you know, Mike is a fool and he's going to make terrible decisions. But he does pet doggos, so he's not all bad. Just mostly. I do have a feeling this is not going to end very well for Mike, though. I feel like we should have escaped. I mean, sure, our girlfriend died, but... What's the worst that could happen? Us dying too? Probably. Let's see. So there, there's something here. I know because there's a shiny thing. Of course. Gun. Locked. No gun. Or two. Okay. <laughs> All right. You know, I I have a skeleton key. It's basically my gun. Well, damn, Mike. You made a terrible decision. And by terrible decision, I mean me. I made a terrible decision. According to Native American lore, when dingoes are monsters of the people that got really hungry and ate everything and everyone because they got so hungry. Uh, everyone during Thanksgiving. That's, that's pretty true. I'm mad. The simp. Who I feel bad for, you know. Why does he have so many points towards Emily? 
<laughs> Matt, you were supposed to gain some respect, and you're supposed to have, like, little respect for Emily. You're supposed to grow backbone. Instead, you actually went the... You went the opposite route. You've become a spineless jellyfish. Oh, Matt, why did you have to simp so hard for Emily? She's not worth it. What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. I'm still waiting for that redemption arc, Emily. When's it gonna happen? When are you gonna be, you know, actually okay in my books? No, no one likes Emily. I'm just gonna say that right now. At least from what I've read playing this, no one likes Emily. And by read, I mean like, you know, just comments, uh, chat. She's pretty unlikable. I mean, having played the game, you know, I, I, I'm not really fond of Emily. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt. Well, I'm door, useless. Emily. Whoa, wait a second. If we start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? <sighs> I don't know. Matt, I oh. need to get in there. Look. What? A window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. <sighs> so, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Um, I, I'm going my way, I, I Emily. You can help me, or you can Are you nuts stop you're it. Shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you yeah. Seen some pretty tight jeans, em. Uh, Excuse me. It's a talent. Emily is awesome. Okay. Oh, well, that's the it. first person that anyone said something positive about Emily. Hmm. So Midas, I I respect you for going against the. I I respect you for going against the norm. You know. Um, it's it's not something anyone can claim. Uh, damn it. Uh, Oof. On. Wait, Matt's just gonna let her do it all herself. I I'm impressed. Matt didn't oh even bother God. to help her. It's pitch black. I do not like this. I'm right here, Em. I can't see anything. There's so much crap in here. <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, I, I'm sorry, Emily's still pretty oh, unlikable. No. She just complained the whole entire time. Be careful. Well, it's hard to be careful when it's freaking pitch black, you dead. Hey, I'm, I'm just trying to be helpful. Uh, uh, now it's Matt? time to walk away. Hey, Matt. It's time to walk Matt? away. Time to go, go away. She's annoyed as she should be, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm uh, I, I'm perfectly fine with this. Um, did someone uh, last last time I played this game, uh, which was like the first half of the game, people were uh, were talking smack about Emily. Right, what the hell was that? What? I'm in the pitch black with spider webs and dust, and ugh, you just go wandering off. Damn, yep. Don't M me. This is a complete and total breakdown of even the slightest glimmer of trust I might have had that you could protect uh, You know what? I'm fine with this. Here. And I am just majorly bumming out. You know, I'm just going to picture the ocean at this point. That makes me happy about it. You know, that, that makes me happy. Just going to a happy place. The ocean. The beach. Whoa, die, 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 die. What does it mean? Here comes Jason Voorhees. Oh, you know, they actually did play the, uh... They, they played the Halloween sting, so, I mean, at this point, it could be Michael Myers. I'm good, Em. But not that good. Flattered, though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I don't know, man. Maybe we should just like sit here until we Everything until like help so comes. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Well, I think uh, you know, for my money, I'm just gonna move this painting because uh, it, that looks better. Here we go. Oh, I, I guess the sanatorium. That's where Mike is. Uh, we're all the way there at the cable car. Hey, look, fire tower. That sounds. Maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? Did you just call me Magellan, baby? You know how I feel about Magellan. 
Let's see. Uh, die, 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 die. Again, what does it mean? I just don't understand it, Emily. It makes no sense. Were they talking about me? You? Were they talking about us? Oh, I don't know how to work this. It's all alien. I don't have any... I don't have any... thing to say about this, you know? I just can't do anything about this. Great. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower? The beach is closed, ma'am. Try to seduce her. Oh, uh, you know, know, both... Or something. I mean, it, it both kind of suck. Probably you know, I can't go to the beach. No, my mind is... I, that part is closed. I mean, I guess it's still technically open in my head, but... I don't know, ma'am. I mean, that could work, but I, I, I kind of think that maybe we should get back to the lodge for now. I mean, everyone, everyone's yeah. been split up for so long. I'm just gonna Wait, disagree with her, period. For real? What is it with you and going back to the lodge? You just wanna well, I'll just save them. No. There's safety in don't numbers. You gotta do this, Matt. Oh, she's challenged my manhood. I have to comply now. This sucks. You know, I, I was perfectly fine not doing any of that, but then she just... She she said I wasn't good enough. She said I was, I was a chump. You insulted my strengths. You insulted my intelligence. My manhood. Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. So, uh, is she gonna go out alone? Because I think, uh, for my money, I'm just gonna go back to the lodge. Sure, you know, she did challenge my, uh, my manhood, but, you know, I, I gotta say, if I had a say in all this, it's, it's going back to the lodge. It just, just pack it up, we're good. I'm sure she'll be okay on her own. She doesn't need me. I'm surprised the game is letting me do this. I mean, I know that choice is a big part of the game, but I'm I'm surprised that I'm basically let her do the thing, and now, now I'm on my own. It's Mass Adventure now, baby. That's right. Here we go. Mass Adventure. It's locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. But you got an axe, Matt. Oh man, they did think of everything. I have to help Emily. I can't go back. Why is she making that noise? Uh, I don't know, because it's Emily. I suppose for my money, I, I'm still going to investigate. Maybe I can look at the, uh, wasn't there some, oh, there's a thing to investigate. Wasn't there, like, some kind of, uh, telescope or binoculars or something that I could, uh, investigate? Paint? Yeah, it's red paint. Fresh. It's the kind that was, like, on the torture chair, the restraining chair. But I was just going to say, isn't there, like, um, hey, it's a totem. What were the chances of this? Oh no. Death totem. My own death. So that's how Matt bites the bullet. He falls off a cliff. So in other words, don't go near cliffs. Unfortunately, that's, that's this whole segment in a nutshell. So knowing my luck, that's exactly what's going to happen. That's, that's basically foreshadowing to how Matt bites the bullet. Oh, sure. I mean, like, uh, from some standpoint, I don't hate Matt, but... Look at this bad boy. You're coming with me, buddy. Were you just waiting for me the whole just time? Not even gonna down. be like, Come Matt, what the here. hell? I mean, uh, at least you have some patience. <sighs> You're right. Yeah. Uh... Thanks, maybe um, you should go first to protect me. Oh, sure. This is how I die, Emily. 
This is, uh, this is uh, when I die, this is gonna be on your hands. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind well, of Well, time to keep on moving. Oh. Okay. Okay. Gotta show me that narrow space. I'm surprised I didn't have any well, quick time events, God, but I mean, I guess I'm okay with it. She's annoyed by the lack of his manhood. <laughs> I suppose you got a point there, Midas. Maybe she was taking care of herself because he wouldn't. Well, I mean, he is simping over her. That, that's really the bottom line when it comes to this. Oh, by the way, I remember uh, it said that Emily and Mike were dating and then they broke up. Mike was dating Jess, but she's probably dead. Uh, and Emily is dating us, but... Uh, it seems I like there might be something it. between What's the big deal? Uh, Mike and Emily it's still. Like it's they were hugging. Right. It was a little intimate. I got <laughs> Matt all jealous about that. I mean, away. I had the choice to like basically not let it get to me, but I, I chose like screw it. I'm throwing gasoline on this bonfire. And I still stand by that, you know. Any chance I get to basically not be friends with Emily or at least like, you know, uh, basically just be like I don't want to do that I'm, I'm choosing to disagree and do everything in my power to basically try to break them up because Matt needs Matt needs to grow a, a backbone he needs to man up he needs to stop simping at least that's how I feel about the situation so anyways now that you know, uh, how about, first off, how about this? You know, there's there's glowing thing right here. Another totem. How very fortunate I was supposed to keep track of these. Fortune totem? Oh, no way. How about we go this way? I'm going this way. You can follow, I'm a man. Also, I don't want to get near a cliff, you see. I was told it's bad. Also, it looks like there's been... I was gonna I was gonna say it looks like horse hooves, but... Judging by everything, uh, it probably isn't horse hooves. Hey, what, what the... Beth's phone? Oh, no way. Whoa, this is Beth's phone. I thought the police, like, swept the whole area. Well, it looks like they missed this. It looks like there's been some sort of quadrupedal animal somewhere around here. Is that all there is here? Honestly, I was just trying to go off the beaten path to, like, the lodge, but I, I guess I can't do that. Well, I guess getting distracted has its own rewards. Gotta go back to the cliff and my unfortunate death. Sorry, Matt. I wanted to make it so that you didn't die, but unfortunately for me, uh, the game's not letting me, or at least I don't think it is. See, look at this. This just looks like a bad scenario all the way around. See, it says, dang, cliff. No, I have the same sentiment. Unfortunately, I don't think I have the same ability to comply with that. Oh man. It's the quadrupedal beast. Wait. Santa. The reindeer. Santa. He wants to give me presents. I don't, I don't get why you're backing off the cliff, like, to the cliff. You should just be like, but Santa. Oh, now this is a nice scene. You got, you got Sam in a bathtub, you know, listening to some classical music. She, she's, she's doing a little dance with it. Someone's peeping at me. Probably the serial killer. A little weird, but I mean, okay, whatever. Looking like Michael Myers, but hey. It is what it is. Hello? Guys? I like how she has zero disregard other than, eh, that's, that's weird. What are you doing out there? Creepy. 
I mean, I agree. What, were you hoping oh, okay. to hook up with somebody? I mean, you're not treating it like, you little pervert! Or, uh, you know, you're, you're not singing about, uh... You're not, you're not like singing it and being like, get out of here, you nosy little pervert. I'm going to slap you silly. Uh, one o'clock and I'm Sam and you know, we got, we got a little bit of a uh, cheesecake for all the teenage boys. Uh, but you know, for my money, uh, I, I'd rather her get some clothing, but oh well, wait a second. What, what was that other thing? That thing. Oh, Pete's sakes, my clothes, really? Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not I'm gonna cool, start guys. a Christmas not card cool list and just to take you off it. Believe you me. Alright, so I don't even have clothes to change into. Chris? It's just a prank, bro. It's just Gosh. a prank. The they hell? took my clothes. Can I go to my room and, you know, like maybe put on some clothes or something? I mean, I know I'm supposed to go downstairs. It looks like someone threw me a party, but... Oh. That actually was a nice little subtle jump scare. Yeah, it looks like someone threw me a party, or at the very least, like, lit... Like, Mike, Emily, got some balloons. This is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny, haha. -ha. Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? You had enough? I mean, I can relate. I probably feel the same way given the set of circumstances. And also, if I was a woman, that, that probably also would attribute to some of it. Can I have my clothes back now? This Jeevious Raccoon! Hi, how you doing? The tub looks amazingly yeah, comfy, though. That? You're right, it does. Or it did. Uh... You know, whoever, uh, whoever the parents of, like, Beth, Hannah, and Josh are, you know, they, they seem to be pretty loaded. Uh, I, I guess maybe, like, film producers or something? Uh, uh, directors? They got an award from the looks of it. So, anyways. Here we are in this, in this house going to what looks to be a party of some sorts. Probably laid out by the, the 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 murder serial killer. Here, just be like uh, t surprise! It's it's a death day party. I mean, I'm I'm getting some weird. There's like a weird chime or something. It's the prom photo. I was in it. Whose date was I? Mike. I mean, that's cool. I guess. I guess I gotta follow the arrows. Out. Guess what? You succeeded. Uh, at least she's honest. No, no, no in my luck, you know, it, it'd be kind of weird. It's like, where did you get all these balloons? And also, is that blood? And I have no control over this. This is a cutscene. Still a little curious what's gonna happen. Am I gonna oh run into, God. like, uh, the guy who was peeping at us? He's probably the killer, but maybe not. Does he have a fascination hey, with Sam or something? Come on. Oh, I'm done with this. I really don't appreciate the silent treatment here. <laughs> oh, that was that's that's super creepy. Hello, Samantha. Would you like to play a little game? Looking for me. Uh, I don't not really. think you'll have much luck by looking, Samantha. <laughs> You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have quite a lot to show you. What is going on? Open your eyes. Oh my That's God. me in a tub. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? You Why were you stalking me. A beautiful me. bathing bird. <laughs> Why are why is, is this you your love letter to Sam? You know, saying I love you, Sam. I've always loved you. And then he goes into creepy pasta territory or something. Josh. You see, Chris is a monster. I'm going to give you ten seconds. Nine. Uh oh. No. Please, no. Sam. Oh, oh. Sam. Uh. 
throw base. Bam. Oh man. You know, I was thinking I should run, but then I was thinking, you know, maybe not the best choice. Alright, so I gotta try. I guess, you know, jumping would be good. This is probably this is probably gonna get Sam Myrtleize. And I'm supposed to keep her alive because she's uh one of the one of the better characters. Oh, this is not gonna end well. That mask is pretty creepy, I'll give you that though. Oh, I have control. Uh go ahead and run. Just keep moving. You know, he's going to find you. That, that's what I've learned playing horror games, you know, and watching horror movies. Eventually they get you. Uh, we'll just pull that. Why not? Hey, look at that. My luck has turned up decent. Except, uh... Oh, okay. Here, I was like, what, what's going on? What? My, my luck has turned decent. That's unusual. I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but I mean, hey, I'm okay with this. Uh, force your way? Into, into a trap, into death. I feel bad that she's still in a robe, like in, in a towel, not even in a robe. I was going to say a robe, but no, she's, she's still in a towel. You know, she's wearing it great, but at the same time, I mean, I'm, I'm just surprised that thing hasn't fallen off or what have you. Uh, let's run. This might not be the good choice right now, or the best choice, but um, yeah, I was supposed to hide. The psychopath. Oh, it's funny because it's a. Uh, it, it's funny because you know it's a pun. Now, that was exciting, wasn't it? Well done. The game seems to be going very well. I suppose. Yes. Oh, the good work. We did exploring the souls of your fear. I mean, I, I guess. Used it for Ill. Hmm? Mm -hmm. well, so what are you going to try to question me about I this see. time? You have turned it against these people who you said desperately going to torment. Has it been worth it? No. I'm the scarecrow. Oh. That was spooky. I'm a monster. I'm gonna go to bed. Bye, 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 Barnaby. Hello, guys. Hello, Samantha. Looking for me? Want to play a game for the others? Mike and Jess are off 69ing each other, and who knows where Sam is? I think she's in the lodge. Why are we still talking about this? Wait, what? Oh, hey. Hey, look. I see. Fire tower. I feel like I'm getting close to the end of this ah, game, but at the that? same time, I'm still curious where we're going with all this. We got a, uh, we got what looks to be caribou or elk, maybe just deer. Vengeance. Ah. But I was good. I didn't hurt the animals of the forest. You're my friends. Uh, we we gotta be calm. Yeah, they're just here. They're, they're no, 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 little Matt, deer. Right they just—they're curious. See, they're all—they're—they're they're good. They just—they're just curious. They're my friends. Hey, can you take me to Santa? I want to go see Santa. I want to go see Santa, go to his workshop, get some presents. 
Knowing my luck, I'm gonna get some coal or something. Oh, I don't want to hurt the deer. Nah, that's okay. Walk slow. It's okay. Come on. I'm not it's here okay. to hurt hurt the animals. I like the animals, you know. You're you're my friends. Sure, I had the option to do something horrible, but it was gonna involve my death. See, I'm 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 not a horrible person, Emily. Wait, I'm controlling Emily now. I'm controlling Emily now. The butterfly effect. It's self-defense, run or hide. Oh baby, you know I you know I'm all about this. Um guidance, death, fortune. I had one fortune totem, which was interesting. Um You know, for my money, I wanted to see the character info. Here we go. This is what I'm this is why I like. Uh looks like my Looks like Emily's feelings towards Matt have gone down a little, but they're still pretty high. They're also pretty high towards Mike, but, um, you know, this, this is great. We can see what makes her tick, finally. Uh, sort of honest. I guess she's more in the category of funny and brave. A little curious also, but, uh, a bit romantic, not so charitable. You know, she's, she's a terrible person, essentially. That, that, that's all that's based on, like, if you're a good person or not, charity. And she's not charitable. So here we go, onwards and upwards, on the hill, to, uh, to on the something radio. magical. No. Then we tell them we need help. What do we do while we wait? But what if it's broken? Lodge, what if nothing else. works up oh, there? God, not the lodge. We should stay but, <laughs> here in case whoever it is needs to get back in touch with us. I mean, I don't... First. First off, if you go back to the lodge, you know, from my perspective, you don't know that all hell's broken loose up there, right? To the lodge. Uh, and I mean, like, this place could be oh, just as bad. Right. No kidding. I guess they I do know that see. Josh Where is, is that? dead. It's just a security light. Motion sensor, probably. Yeah, that, that's all it is. Totem. Oh, I, I was kidding, but I mean, hey, I'll take a totem. What is this, yellow? Guidance? Alright, so Chris will have a gun at some point, and we gotta talk him out of suicide? Maybe? Or something? My point is, he has a gun, and we gotta have him, like, throw it on the table. That's what. That's all I know. Santa is overrated. We need to meet Mrs. Claus. Okay, all right. I, I can get behind that, Midas. Uh, I mean, you know, for all we know, maybe maybe she was the one that orchestrated all that. But probably not. It was probably Santa or Rudolph or something. I feel like this would collapse if I go too far into it, but I guess maybe not. Um, also, there's... I know I have to go up the ladder, but... I feel like there's this whole area just to explore for whatever reason, which would probably be completely fruitless. There's a rope here, though. I can make zero acknowledgement about that. Not really, the only thing they want me to do right now is, like, investigate the ladder and go up the ladder. See, I was just trying to see if there was anything on that floor, but I guess not. Here I go, though. Up the ladder to meet my maker, the birds. Wait, he's just he's just gonna drop it? He's not gonna bother taking it. I mean I suppose uh, that's not the point of like any of this, right? But I, I you know, I'd still take the axe just because given the set of circumstances. It's pretty dangerous all over the place. It's good to have a little self-protection, you know. That's all I'm saying. And there's still really nothing on these floors, which I guess makes sense, but... I, I, I'd like to imagine there's, like, some kind of clue just... around... way in there, just on one of these floors. Maybe it was the second floor. 
second panel. Oh, I gotta, I gotta do this. There we go. So we're doing all this to get to a radio to try to phone home or something. I'm a little confused what our what our goal here is. I mean, I think it's to get help because that's why we're going to a radio tower. I'd imagine it's still pretty cold yeah. here. I like that Matt has a letterman's jacket also. Uh, the locker. Clearly, clearly this is going to be fruitless. Oh. Sorry, Hannah's Hannah. poster. You're still missing. After tonight, their disappearance is starting to make more sense. Yeah, they did. Let's take it. That's what I need to do, but I might as well investigate this. Looks like a printer. So, with zero power. No power. So, yeah, how are you going to get the radio working? Did you see a generator or anything? I might as well go for the obvious, you know, the, the actual radio, which isn't going to work. No power. Oh, come on. A generator. So, uh, no, I'm still, I'm still playing as, still playing as Emily, so. For a second I thought I might swap to Matt, but I guess not. Alright, let's see. Uh, power. Fuse box, okay, that makes a little more sense. Here we go. <laughs> she, she flips it so daintily. Yeah, here we go. Okay, more one for Matt and Emily. But mostly Emily. Oh, hey, we got power. I can look at this piece of paper. Uh Beth. Sorry, you're still missing too, Beth. Yep, Beth and Hannah still missing. All right, time to get the radio going. That's not enough. We need we need to keep turning it. Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Please say something if you're out there. Please, we need help. Over, over. I'm help. I'm useless. I can't do anything. I need help. Oh Emergency oh, services. This is the Park Ranger service for Blackwood County. I'm not getting a signal very well. Please speak slowly and clearly. Over. Please, 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 please help. Oh my god, we're stuck on Blackwood Mountain and there's a maniac. Five baby mothers. Uh, protection, is that why you have baby mothers? Five baby mothers? I think so. Uh. Persist. Help, oh my God, I can't do anything. I like to imagine this is going to be completely fruitless. Persist. I like to imagine Matt's like, Emily, just give me that. <laughs> Wait, it worked? What? When? How long? Dawn, at the earliest. That's not soon enough. Jesus. Oh my god, he's uh -oh. It's probably Chris, but uh knowing my luck. Uh it's probably gonna be the killer. Hey, it's the thing that eventually ends with Matt's death. Uh oh. Oh 
this isn't good. Oh man, I, you know, I have a fear of heights. Also, this is reminding me of uh, the second Jurassic Park movie. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Here I was thinking, you know, Emily's gonna be okay. No. Hey, Matt's still alive. But what about Emily? Damn it! I mean, at least Matt's still alive. <laughs> That's right, Matt. You climb. You climb out of there. Oh. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, Damn, poor Emily. Steady over here. Matt, you've got to do something right now. What are you waiting for? I'm thinking. Let me think. Don't oh, I don't know. You you want to you want to help yourself a little bit? Uh it's not There we go. Like Mike. He's a thinker. Matt, I don't persist. I saw you with him. Christ, Matt. We I saw done. you. Oh my God, this is not the time. Oh, it's it, it's definitely the time. Tell me. Just tell me what's going on. Nothing, Matt. God. Just admit it. I, I was confused. So you fucked him. Please. Yeah. Matt, I'm sorry. Now will you? I mean, I guess I have to be a human being. I guess I gotta be semi-decent. Even at the cost of my own life. You had one request, save Emily. Uh, no. Horrible decisions aside, I, I gotta save Emily. Even if I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm sorry, Midas. I tried. Emily! But here's my here's my reward. Oh, Matt dies. Oh, Matt doesn't die. Look, I was just trying to pour gasoline on a bonfire. Didn't think that you know uh, Matt was gonna live. Well, this is this is awkward. Well, at least that's one burden off my shoulders. Oh, I, I, I don't think this is the right time there, Matt. We gotta get out of here. I suppose it's not this way, but I might as well go this way. Was that a... Uh-oh. Is that Emily getting her vengeance? Uh-oh. Well, that's pretty brutal. So, I caused Matt's death. So rude. Yeah. Pretty much. She wasn't up there? I don't know. I didn't see her. She must have come down here. I haven't seen her either. So, so now we just have uh, ah! Emily and Chris. Damn it, what is going on around here? That's a good question. There's like ghosts and a psycho killer. Chris, basically, Chris, two things in one. What happened back there in the shed? I know, I know. 
how hard that was. Josh was your friend. Ashley, and, stop. Um, no, I want to say, I mean, thank you. You're you're all freaking out. For saving my life. Uh oh. Sure. This is gonna say I'm going to kill you. Cape Cod Josh with his lovely sisters Hannah and Beth, looking great guys. That was uh, 2013. August 2013. Yeah, I just. I know you and Josh were close, Chris. Let's just find Sam. Okay, that, that's what we're doing. I mean, oh, oh I don't think Ashley, that's gonna work out too stop. great. Okay, I don't want to think about. What, I'm what the heck? You got a poltergeist stalking you. It's gonna end pretty badly. So oh, that's epic. clearly not the right way. So if not there, then you know, like here. You know, the shadow of that lamp looks uh, a little bizarre, gotta be honest. Wait a minute. Did you just see that? Uh, did, did I see what? That, Chris, that! What that was that? It was like, it was like a see-through shape, like a ghost. Oh, boy. I'm furious. <laughs> Why don't you I mean, it me? probably I was a ghost, I'm not gonna lie, but anything. at the same time, it, it just looked like Hell, Sam in a okay. bath towel. Your mind is fried... My mind is fried. I, I don't even trust what I've been seeing. I'll, I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be honest. I don't know. Chris is I being know, pretty just, rational. I saw something, Chris. Ash, it's okay. You're just, we're, we're both kind of out of our heads right now. I mean, we just, we gotta pull it together, okay? You with me? Let's just let's just keep our heads. Are we going crazy down here? It, it's it's the only place left Sam could be, Ash. I wish we could just go find everyone else and. What if Sam needs us? What if she's in trouble? Oh God. Yeah. I mean, right it's now, basically, it's just you guys, Sam and Mike. There's not a lot of people left. I think that's half the group, actually. Hold on a second, let's see. Uh, yeah, there's four people. Let's have the group that have, like, four out of eight. No, I have my luck. Um, it, it's, it's about to get pretty spooky. Someone's gonna die a horrible death. I can, I can feel it. Uh, which sucks, because, you know, it went from, like, all the people I was kind of eh to all the people I, I kind of don't want to die. <laughs> Is that like a uh, baby noise? Oh, 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 you gotta be kidding. What the hell is going on? Oh, oh my god. Oh, it's poltergeist. You, you knocked into it, right? I mean, you knocked I into it. I don't think I mean, so. I mean, I don't know. The, Put it, everything gets so freaky around here. Door slamming. Don't poltergeist feed on negative like, energy or something along those lines? I, I, I'm just saying, like, the more you, you freak out, the worse it gets. Isn't that how it works? We, we, we Looks like seen. a negative photo. I'm imagining things. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I saw things too. I, I, I saw what happened to Josh in the shed. You know that? That's that's what I'm worried about. Oh, Chris, I know. I no, guess you know it's really going about? to be okay, a bloodbath pretty soon. Well, what's happened to her? If there's some maniac out here, then she could be dead too. Don't say that. Probably. Chris. Uh oh. Look, 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 look Chris. Are you gonna get sprayed in the face with blood? Is that what's gonna happen right now? Oh, and they got they got like no eyes, you know, their their mascara thing. Free creepy. I feel like you're gonna lose a finger soon. I guess you need a key if you want to play around in there. Let's see. Well, I guess we need to find a key. You know, this isn't gonna end well. I do admit, the dolls are a nice touch. Very creepy. They look pretty horrifying. I'd be scared given the set of circumstances. Uh, wearing booty shorts and tights tomorrow. And yeah, that's what your poltergeist will be wearing in the morning. 
<laughs> Wait, I have a poltergeist? I mean, don't get me wrong, like, if I had a poltergeist, uh, that, that would explain a couple There's things, no but, um... All I have is a cat. So, if things didn't end very well, I, I take it... Uh... I would get the knob right around here. Unfortunately for me, that's not going to happen. Let's see, what else do I have going on here? I don't have a knob, can't open that door, got to find a key. Don't know where the key is. Oh, Wait, hey. Chris, 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 let go! What? Did you see it? No. It's a spooky you specter. You phone, you dip. What are you tweeting? Hey, there's a freaking ghost after us! Ash, calm down, okay? I, I choose spooky no specter. Ghost here. Ghost of what? You're freaked out because of what happened with Josh. It's, it's probably it's Hannah. I saw it. I saw a ghost, and it looked like Hannah. It looked wait, like wait, wait, Hannah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Jesus, Ash. What, what, what do you think? They followed us up here from the seance? I don't know. Yep. Maybe. They did it because ghosts don't exist, okay? But they do okay, exist. Or, I don't seance, know. I guess it's really up to what you believe in that know. category. I mean... <laughs> Uh-oh. Sam. How does a picture just jump off the wall like that? Sam, is that you? Also, th that... Okay, that's the key. We get huh. to see the horrible scene with dolls. Oh my god. There! Look there, Chris! You can't tell me! You can Whoa, see that! Uh... See? That's, that is uh, trippy, just, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I just. <laughs> you sound like you crazy. might be a little high there, Chris. I mean, you're I probably in shock away. because, um, you know, I'd be a little in shock given the set of circumstances where it's like a supernatural entity. When you know you you think oh. you got the world all figured out, all of a sudden something like this just I feel like the ghost happens to, to like this. come into your life. Oh, now you can see all the dolls, how they look all whoa, horrific. Whoa, 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 what is going on here? Oh, God, it's, it's like... It's not like anything, that's us. Hiding there, waiting for Hannah, last year. But it's, it's so obvious. Yeah, she didn't I mean, appreciate exactly that. Where I was sitting, and that's where Matt was. This was set up by someone who was there. <laughs> or someone, or something that was watching us. Maybe it's a warning. I think someone... I think someone put this here to mess with us. No, it has to be the ghost. It's trying to I tell mean, us the maybe. maniac killed Hannah and Beth. I think it's this bastard that he's, he's here trying to fuck with I'm, I'm still hull up why with the dolls. Why would he set all up, Chris? He's trying to tell us that he's going to come after Also, us why are they all nude? Oh. oh. <laughs> Wait, their eyes are closed? Is that what that's all about? Uh-oh. Diary. It's gonna say, I hope you all die, right? Something along those lines. Mom finally agreed. The in the invitations are out. The party is gonna happen. I hate that I have to wait. So far, Ash, Matt, and Sam have said definitely yes. Nothing from Mike. She liked Mike. Oh my god, Mike confirmed. He phoned Josh this afternoon. Woohoo, party Everyone time tomorrow. Everyone together here on the mountain. It's going to be so awesome. Cozy fires and hot tubs and OMG, Mike. I am so psyched to spend some time with him. I can't read this. It's so sad. Totally got to stop assessing, but can't help. But No, I wanted to read more of that. <laughs> no, you, you ruined it. I wanted to get to the part where it said, like, uh... Horrible things happen, uh, and I hope all you all die. I read too slow. Oh, this is so romantic. I mean, technically, it is kind of romantic. I mean, both Ashley and Chris like each other. But at the same time, what what's going to happen? It's spooky. Oh. Uh oh. oh. Looks like Chris and Ashley are separated again. See it, Chris. No, I take it back. I guess it was just, it was just a prank, bro. It was just a prank. Where'd it go? 
Um, also, Horror Face. That was interesting. Oh, you know, this isn't going to be good. Yeah, that was, that was a little creepy. That was a good touch. I like that. It should be in more horror movies. Let's see what else we got going on here. You know, more spookums. Oh, man. The house is shaking. Was that a voice or something? I mean, it's probably... It's probably nothing. It's probably fine. It's Mammoth. Chris, Mammoth? I don't know if I want to keep going. No, nah, let's keep going. Oh, it's all dilapidated. This is... Wait, this is under the lodge? Why is this under the lodge? What even happened here? Are you kidding me? Did you know was the belt on something? Also... I'll say. It's kind of neat, but at the same time, like, where did all this come from? You were... Way too excited about them being separated. You know, I'm... I'm not... <laughs> I'm... I, I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, what? I can't control what's gonna happen. I do agree. Like, I, I like the fact that Ashley and Chris are together, but at the same time, uh, not too great of a situation. I don't think I can take any more of this. Yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm about my limit here too. All I wanted to do was forget last year ever happened. And to be honest, I'm not sure what Hannah thought she was doing. Yeah. Well. You know how it is when you're crushing pretty hard on somebody. Great, so you're basically saying Aww. that we put a vulnerable friend in a terrible situation and essentially caused her to run away and never to be heard from again. If it was you, don't you think you would have run away? I mean, who likes being made fun of? <laughs> People don't make fun of me. To your face. What? Chris. <clears throat> We made her look so stupid in front of all of her friends and the guy she liked. I can't imagine doing anything worse to somebody. Yeah, wait. Did we... No, we're still crushing pretty hard on Chris. Actually, we, we're crushing even harder on Chris now. Um, Still have a pretty low opinion of everyone else, though. Which is kind of sad, you know. Sam, Sam's pretty alright, I guess. I guess we're all about Chris, though. Or at least Ashley is. So that that's good. I do actually care about their their relationship just a bit. Uh, I, I don't, you know, sadly, I don't think they're going to make it. But oh, I would no. say... What is it? Sam's bracelet. And she never yeah. takes this thing off. I would say I want them, I want them to at least make it out of here. I don't know Fast. if they will, though. It's one of those horrible situations where it's like, no matter how hard I try, you know, I, I just can't get too attached. Voicemail enclosed. These. Are these fake? Why would anyone make fake newspapers? <laughs> That's a really good question. Weird. All right, so fake newspapers. My question is, how are they going to rationalize everything that's happened thus far? Got some pretty you know spookums. No, Ash. No, I've had enough. I'm not going down any further into this nightmare, Chris. Ashley, I understand, okay? I'm really freaked out too, but if Sam's down there all alone with a maniac and we leave, we're basically killing her ourselves. Yeah. Let's find her. Damn it. Ashley, come on. Why are you always right? I'm not always right. Well, when you're right, you're right. I don't want to be. I want to leave. No. We've got to find Sam. Let's go. We're going to be... We're going to do the good thing or the right thing or something along those lines. We're going to find a friend. Although, um, I'm controlling Chris now. No, I'm controlling Ash. Uh, I thought it was controlling Chris. My mistake. Oh, what's what's that? No, I want I want. To, there we go. Chris, I'm getting a really weird feeling from all this. What do you mean? Well, I just I can't shake the feeling that those fake newspapers have something to do with the guy who killed Josh. Wait, wait, like like what? Like it's a setup or something? Yeah, but I mean, how? It's just 
it almost makes sense, but it just feels like we're missing something. I mean, I technically was the guy who killed Josh, but, uh, you know, I guess the less said about that, the better. I mean, I know Ashley doesn't really accuse Chris of being the person who did it. Given the set of circumstances, it was like the only way. Oh, that looks, that looks dangerous. <gasps> Batteries and timers. We found another clue. All right, Chris is still still with us. Very good. Don't want to stray too far, you know. As much as as much as I do want to wander about and everything, you know. At least I gotta show some interest that you know I'm not trying to stray that far away from you. Cause uh, we're we're scared. She Ashley has legitimately told us we she is afraid of all this, which um. You know, I get, I'd be afraid too. It's pretty, it's pretty normal given the set of circumstances, especially what we've seen. It's, it's also a little trippy. Gonna, not gonna lie, a little bit of supernatural elements at play. Oh, this is bad. That's a weird face you're making there, Ashley. Also, this place is pretty dank and gross. Uh, what, what is this? Let's see, so, uh, we got Sam, we got Mike, we got, uh, is that Josh? I don't really see Matt. Uh, it looks like Ashley, Chris, and Emily, and Emily's got her eyes all scratched out, or, you know, wait, wait, giant this, X's. Like hit list? Why are you always right? I'm not right. Oh, I don't, uh, on the contrary, you know, I believe um, I'm actually the farthest from being right. I'm just being really, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to prepare myself just in case, like, I'm going to make a bad mis mistake. Because, again, I, I have a feeling no one's going to survive this playthrough. <laughs> Because, uh, beginner's traps, and, uh, also, you know, like, I'm, I'm gonna go investigate something. You know, I, I'm, I already feel like I'm getting too far away from Chris. You know, with, with, uh, Emily and Matt, it was like, I don't really care so much about them, but these two, like, I care a little bit. But the problem is, if I get too attached, well, obviously they're gonna die. Seems to be my turn of luck when it comes to these given situations. I got it, but oh damn, this thing is heavy. Be careful. You gotta come through, Ash. Uh, I, I can't oh. hold. Uh, come on. We, we got it. I mean, I, I just saw Sam over there. Uh, Ash, are you sure? I don't know, but come on, I think we should check it out. Uh, nah. I'm pretty sure whoever's bleeding came through here, okay? So we've really got to get moving, like now. I'm following Chris. Okay. Okay, yeah, you're right. I'm coming. I don't think being separated is probably the best advice in this situation. Although, whatever's there doesn't look so good. I don't get it. Why would anybody want to make this place any cooler? It's freezing. I don't really know what goes on inside this guy's head, Ash. I mean, maybe he has keep something very cool and temperate, or something along those lines. Or you know, you gotta eat, refrigerate something. <laughs> Clothes. It's just sick. But it's not Sam. It's just sick. So the psycho has been down here for sure. I gotta be honest. I hope not. I thought it was but just a uh, somebody in mask in trying to Blink spook dark. us. I was wrong about you know the person, but the, I was right. They are trying to spook us, and it worked. I'm terrified. Let's go this way. What's the worst that could happen? No, Sam. That sounds pretty bad. Give my run a luck, it's gonna be We gotta go this way. Oh Chris. Oh no. Hello. Uh oh, Sam? what is it? 
Who is it? Oh no, Sam. Sam! Is she dead? Holy shit, holy shit. She's not, she's not, she's not dead. How do you know? She's still breathing. What the hell is wrong? And she's been knocked out. Oh, oh, oh no, that's no, no, good. No, 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 this is bad. This oh is bad. no. You gotta get her out of here. No, my friend. Oh no, we fell for the obvious trap. Finding Sam and getting knocked out. Maybe I should have investigated a little bit more before I went in this room. Also, we still don't know where Mike is. Oh crap. Ash? Ash? Oh no, is it gonna be like either me or her? Or am I am I Ash in the situation? Either way, is it gonna be the person I'm playing or the other person across the table? You murdered piece of shit! You murdered the We're gonna die, Chris. I don't think I'm ready to die. No one is going. Hold on just a second there. We have the totems, right? Something about the fortune was uh, the the white one. This one. No, that wasn't it. It was uh, danger. No, that wasn't it. It was guidance. It was one of the guidance ones. That's it. We got we got to put the gun on the table. I wish I could tell you. It's just not fair. <laughs> what? Tell me what. <laughs> Too late. Chris, what's the point? Stop it. Just say. We're always talking around it. And now, I mean, we've wasted everything. Ashley, I you like wish. you, Chris. And now I can't what express my Every feelings. that I spent with you was the only thing I ever wanted to do with my time. <laughs> what are you saying, Chris? I'm sorry. I, I should have told you how I felt. Chris. Ashley, Has this been the whole this? point of everything? Oh God! Ah! No. Ashley, I'll get you out of this. I won't let you die. Hello there, my special little subjects. Uh oh. Don't be scared. Oh, you should be, Ash, because here's the twist. Chris has made one fatal choice already today, and now he must make another. Chris. You can take that gun in front of you and shoot Ashley, or you can shoot yourself. Whoever is left can live. The choice is yours. The guy is... <laughs> Doesn't work that way. I mean, honestly, I it's gonna be. In my life, let me do this. Chris, it's gonna be nobody. Please. Oh, oh god. Oh, I say we would just wait this no. out. <laughs> we're, we're just gonna wait this out. Everybody dies. Look, the guy's stone said a thing, right? So clearly, this is not gonna work out very well. Um, I might as well. I, I'm blaming the tome on this one. No! Ah! Oof. Again, I'm blaming the totem on that one. Don't you see? Huh? Don't you see that this torture porn has gone too far? Now, what gives you the right to play God in these people's lives? What makes you so special, then? Huh? You're sick! You're a sick fuck! I'm a sick dude. Now, what the hell have you done for them? Huh? Wait, is... is... What the hell have you done to them? Wait, Psychopath. am I being counseled as all this is going on? Psychopath. 
Is that what's going on? I'm the guy that's... I am being ther therapied while everything's going on. I mean, okay. Hey, I'm alright with this. Hello? Uh, I guess it is what it is. But hey, what can I say? The choice. Poor Chris. So, uh, Chris and Ashley have, have died, Matt's dead, Ashley's, uh, well, I, yeah, oh, so Emily's dead, allegedly, uh, Mike's still, Mike's still living, I'm surprised Mike's still living, actually. Therapied. Oh, I'll, I'll say. Sam's still living. So basically, it's just Sam and Mike at this point. Sam, wake up. Mike, is that you? Shh. What? Get over it. All right. So, so we got two people. This is a very interesting path this has taken. Oof. Go, go, go. Oh, I guess we're burning our restraints. I mean, that, that's okay. It makes sense. Oh, I actually have to hold it there. Okay, all right. Oof. Oh, my. Thank God you found me. It's okay. Okay. You okay? Um, I guess, you know, curious. I, I don't understand. How did you get here? How'd you find me? There's some fucking maniac up here on the mountain. Yeah, I've noticed. He lives in this, like, web of tunnels. I was down there trying to get out, and then I found this grate, and I saw you. Listen, this guy who you're talking about, he attacked me. He showed yep. me his videos, too. When I was most vulnerable, he, he, he attacked me. Just Apart by this huge fucking saw blade. Jesus Christ, what the You know, I have a question. If Therapy Man is like guiding the uh the psycho killer, right? Is he the guy who's speaking or is it the psycho killer? I'm not quite sure at this point. Also we're playing as Sam. Which, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Because she's still in her towel. She hasn't been given her clothes, which, uh, is kind of weird if you ask me, but... Oh, well. Just gotta deal with that. There we go. Hey. Well, that's Jeez, a little bit better. Out. You know, honestly, I wasn't trying to keep Mike alive, but I guess Mike is still alive. What are you doing? Well, actually, the towel didn't turn out to be the best outfit for fighting off killer maniacs, you know? I've been saying that the whole entire time. Oh, uh, right. My bad. Yeah, you know, just, just a little bit. She needs to change. But if she had the clothes the whole time, you know, she could have probably just done that before I met up with Mike. It's kind of okay. weird that she just decided to do that right this second. Into I'm into that. What was that? Is that... crying? Uh, I mean, I don't know if this is the best decision, but okay. No! No, 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 get away! Oh, they're still alive. Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris, 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 Chris. What the fuck? You've heard of blanks before. I mean, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's Josh. Wait, then who was the other guy? Does Josh have a twin? I mean, I guess it makes a little sense. Oh, Jesus. And shit. Emily's still alive. Oh, shit. I'm surprised. Damn it. I thought she bit the bullet. All right, you know, Emily Redemption Arc. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Just gotta... There we go. Gotta do things correctly. You know, here I was thinking Emily was was a goner, but you know, I, I guess uh, I guess she hasn't died visibly on screen, so not yet. Oh, good timing. But how long can it last? No! Shit! Shit! Uh oh. Wait, you could have just dropped down all this time. Oh, you better get moving there, Emily. Don't get crushed. Oh man, it's it's happening. Oh, oh, she got sprained or something. All right, Emily Redemption Arc, here we go. This is what I've been waiting for all game. I'm just saying she's been pretty unlikable and now that she's on her own, alone, I'd have to think that this is oh when things God. get a little, a little bit better. You know, they get a little decent. Better be worth that I look great in that top. She can't rely on Matt anymore. All right, now we're talking. All right, Emily, it's your redemption arc. I've been waiting all game for this. There we go. I'm just gonna go investigate this mine as Emily. First time that she actually is relying on herself to get something done. I don't know what to expect by the end of it. Hopefully, hopefully I don't get you permanently murderized. I guess technically, uh, Jess could still be alive. We haven't seen her die on screen, although we kind of have. I don't know. I don't think she's coming back. I think she's dead. There's like a minecart or something. Don't know what that says, but it looks like uh, so uh, I have to go this way. So I'll go do that. Let's see, where to go, where to go, somewhere down here. I'm, I'm just curious like what's gonna happen cause it would seem like, um, it seemed like the thing, the, the guy, he's uh, he's over at the lodge or that area. So what's, uh, what could possibly be waiting for us here? Also, I need like bolt cutters or something. I guess there's the supernatural element of, uh, Beth. No. Uh, Hannah, that's it. Beth is still technically alive. No, actually, no, she's not. Beth hasn't really been doing anything, that's why I meant to say. Uh, maybe not quite yet. There was something over here I wanted to investigate. Um. No, I was gonna say. Uh. Beth hasn't really come into play with any of this. Very curious. Uh, the I can't quite read that. Preparing to dynamite the new shackle. Uh, the cursive is a little weird. Um, the new shafts. There we go. Northwest Mines, December 1951. I guess that's the blasting crew. I think that's what it said. If we root for Emily, you'll kill her on purpose. So I hate her. I'm actually I'm not trying to kill anybody on purpose. Uh, it just ends up that way. Case in point, when it came to when it came to uh, Matt, I wasn't trying to kill Matt on purpose. He just kind of ended up dying because I went the wrong way, mainly because. 
I had a feeling I wasn't supposed to go back, but lo and behold, did it anyways. Now, with Emily, I'm, I'm honestly... You know, she might not be, like, the greatest person ever. I, honestly, I've been waiting for a redemption arc where, you know, now she's kind of on her own. I'm okay with this. I think there's potential here. You know, she might actually be pretty alright if I do say so. I mean, she's not really speaking for one. That's, uh, that's a step in the right direction. She's activating levers. She's being pretty competent. Trying to figure out what she needs to do next if one thing doesn't work. So I mean for for the most part, it's like, okay, let's uh let's let's try to see what we can do to make Emily hang in there to make sure that she at least has some survivability. Oh, that's spooky. That was like the thing that killed Beth. And Hannah. Or at the very least, I mean, there was a flamethrower involved. Uh, hello there. Protein Medusa? Am I saying that right? Uh oh. Oh, God. Poor Emily. I, I admit that that was. You didn't deserve that. Things just keep going from bad to worse. I mean, that certainly didn't help. I think things just got a little too real for Emily, I just gotta be honest. Alright, so we got... We got a whole chamber full of skeletons and bones and stuff like that, and uh, Emily is not having any of that, but she's pressing forward. I'm okay with this. No mat to rely on. Oh, that was pretty manly. I guess Emily's a lot tougher than she looks. She can't rely on Matt. Matt's dead. I murderized him. Not intentionally, really but it just kind of happened. Is that a min miner's helmet? You could put it on, Emily. You could make a new fashion statement. Think about it. It'd be amazing. I suppose I should also investigate some of these. Maybe there's a totem somewhere around here. Ladder. That's not going to do me any good. See what else do I have going on down here in the middle of the mines with nothing left to lose except my, probably my life. Ah, here we go. Something else to explore. And probably kill, like, get murdered. I guess, you know, we'll climb. We'll, we'll play it safe. Uh, reach up. We'll play it safe. There we go. Quick time events where I don't try to die and mess up horribly. Oh, that was that was a quick one right there. See, she could do anything when she's all by herself. Now, what are the chances I'm going to regret doing this? Uh, so far, not too bad. A little, little glitchy, I see, but... Um, you know we're we're still we're still moving on. It's, it's impressive. So we hit rock bottom and we're we're just climbing our way back to the top. I am pretty impressed. Like so far, it uh, hasn't been too bad. Although I have to say, I'm when you have the flashlight on on your phone. I mean, it just drains the battery like crazy. So I imagine uh, if this was real life. You'd have to manage, like, your battery life. And it's not like you have any way of recharging your cell phone up here in the middle of the night. It's, uh, 
in a snowstorm. Come on, for fuck's sake. Yeah. You know, I was just kidding about the battery thing, but there you go. I didn't think that was going to come into play, but... Shit! Is there a dragon? Is that what's going on? A torch. By the chances I'm going to regret this. Not too bad so far. So yeah, is there like a dragon or something? We're just gonna flip this up. Oh my god, oh. finally something works. Well Emily's kinda happy about that. Not too not too shabby. Now the real question is what what's gonna happen next? Like is am I gonna run into the source of like what's breathing fire and trying to spook me? You know, what's trying to light me on fire? Give me third degree burns. Turn me into shish into like barbecued Emily. Cut me up, turn me into shish kebabs or something along those lines. Uh nothing to investigate it would seem. That's unfortunate. I was hoping for a totem. I probably missed several. Hey, speaking of the totem, look what I found. Looks like danger. Okay. Well, that's never good. Looks like something's going to try to grab me and it's going to be invisible. And uh, I think that was Mike. Is that like a jewel or something? I suppose I need to try to grab that. But before that, let's, let's see where this goes. Probably my inevitable demise. At least that's what I would imagine. Given the fact that uh, it's a dang scary cave and something's probably stalking me. And it, it's not me, the player. It's something spooky and, and terrible and horrifying and oh man I can't I can't I can't also she, now she's all freaked and running and panicked but I'm not ready to do this Shit. and also yeah I don't think you can exactly do that quite yet and is that somebody looking at us from up there on the cliff Let's see, I guess, for all intents and purposes, there was a thing over here, if I'm not mistaken. It looked like a gem or something. Uh, I take it that's the thing that's glowing right over here. Might as well grab that. Oh my god, oh shit. Let's go towards that. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's probably a terrible idea. But it is definitely interesting. Whatever it is. Well, this wasn't exactly what I had in mind. I think actually this was what I had in mind. Uh, whatever this is. Yeah, th that was what I was looking at. It's a locket. Oh, she was down here. To Hannah with love. That's uh, it's from Beth, maybe. I mean, it looks like Beth and Hannah. So, um, that's very interesting. Is that what's going on? Is that is that the ultimate secret behind all this? It's like Josh. Oh, hello. This is gonna be creepy. And a bad idea. <laughs> Beth's head. Oh god. Oh god, Beth, no. Oh god, Beth, no. Well, that was a little shocking, I gotta admit. Here, I was thinking, you know, I was gonna get a lot of horrible 
imagery and stuff like that. And instead I found Beth. Who, uh, you know, she ain't looking so good. But I, I guess uh, she still looks a little decently pre like uh, preserved. Given the set of circumstances we're on a mountain. I wonder if it's like cold all year round. I'm just thinking she'd be a little more decayed. Uh, I suppose also I can do this now. Now that there's power. There we go. Lift up, baby. Hell yeah. Come on, let's go. Something's gonna spook me, isn't it? No. no? I I'm actually kind of surprised. There we go. Don't move. So that's what spooked me. Get back. Get back there. I don't I don't want to. Oh. Two triangles. There we go. Now they'll never find us. Or they'll never come towards us. About to deal with that. I don't know if that was the right decision, but I mean, I, I think it is. Uh, I guess hide. You can't just turn back. This is probably how I die, to be quite honest. I'm gonna get fried inside a shack. Oh, he's too smart. Josh. <laughs> Josh. This uh this doesn't look good. Got to be honest. Oh, oh, very good. <laughs> Every one of you, you got my name. And after all you've been through, good. Good, 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 good. I mean, how does that feel? Right? How does it feel? Do you enjoy feeling terrorized, humiliated? I mean, panicked? All those emotions yeah. that my sisters got to feel once, one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No, 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 no. They're gone. I don't know if you noticed this, Josh, but none of us are laughing. Oh, come, 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 come. Why the long faces? Come on. <laughs> it's good to get the heart racing every now and then, right? A little bit. They race, they did. I mean, every one of you just pitter-pat, pitter-pat. I hope you appreciated my little phantasmagorical spectacle. I mean, no detail too small. Oh, no man. Opportunity missed. It was such a delight to play. No, the there's still master. some supernatural to, elements to being portrayed. Panic. <laughs> and all that gore. Gore. There was gore galore. Fake bodies. I mean, God, that shit was expensive. And no retakes. Nope, nope, nope. Only double takes. Oh, you should have seen your faces. Hook, line, and sinker for every little stinker. Josh, why are you doing this? Yeah, don't even ask this squirrely little runt. He's got no. Oh, clue. you shouldn't do that. He's out of his fucking tree. He's, he's gonna, he's mess. gonna get you. Oh, come on, you guys. Revenge is the best medicine. You're done, Mike. He's sick. I, I do have to wonder so what would have happened if uh, we chose Ashley, given the set of circumstances. Would he would he I mean, be like you know the not the in, we would we got, not have this going on? Blood. I don't think there's enough hard drives in China to, to count all the views we're gonna get, you guys. What are you talking uh, about? All you this for views. Jessica's fucking dead. What? Yeah. Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. And there's something else like around here. Oh. He got pistol whipped. Uh, Michael's guys, like gun slap, guys, he don't take on. no crap. Seriously, this is crazy, you know? Shut up. Chris. Bro, I'm not your bro. Where are we not going? after what happened tonight. Where are you guys taking me. I'm locking you up, bro. What? You can't do anything. Stupid before we call the police in the morning. Come on. 
I didn't do anything. Are, are you serious? The real question is, where is what was the therapist gonna do? Michael, please just listen <laughs> are we, to me, are man. we gonna I get some sort of Jessica. intermission with the therapist man? Therapied? Scold. Are, are you insane? Like, 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 really? Do you not understand what you've done? I'm a healer, man. I bring people a together. Healer. Not like you assholes. That's enough. I still think, uh, I don't know, like, I, I get the feeling this might not be the best method given the set of circumstances. It's a cold You're cabin and... You are... Ah, dude. Ah, it's not my fault. Oh. You suckers can't take a joke. Oh, what? oh wait. Is Mike gonna shoot him? Do you just, you feel a little, little bit pain? I don't think that's right the right now, course so, of action given so the set of stop circumstances. It! Stop it! Jesus, dude. Stop! Oh, Michael! I'm sorry, man. I can't tell you how sorry I am that something happened to Jessica, but I swear. I swear to you. We still I don't have no a clue what happened to her. Happened I, I think it's the same thing that got Matt. I, I should probably, yeah. Uh, shit, Mike. This, uh, I don't know. Something feels really wrong here, man. Uh, are you joking? I agree. I, I, I'm just having a really hard time that figuring out that he would like do anything to hurt Jess. I saw what he did to her with my own eyes. This, this, this is her blood. <laughs> but can't we all just get along? <laughs> I think he's a little bad shit insane, though. I'll give you that, you know. I really don't think he's, um, he's on the level given the set of circumstances. I think he just needs a little... You know, I would say help, but I feel like he's already being treated, so I, I don't know, really, no, given those like circumstances, this, what to huh? do. Not like, not like you got the guts to really do anything about it anyways. Ah! Ah! Uh, aggressive, defensive, you uh, know, Probably not the best oh, course of action. Stop it. You're the biggest coward there is. Uh huh. I did something. I made you believe in the world I created. And I showed you parts of yourself you were too afraid to visit. You manipulated us. You tricked us. You hurt your friends. And you did it all while you hid in the shadows. You're a coward, Josh. That's all you are. <laughs> so is this him? Coping with his sister's yeah. death. Uh, okay, tie me up now. Okay, stay still, right. man. Right, 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 right. Still. Okay. I mean, up, one thing that I'm trying to figure out, Dude, given the set of circumstances, room, is I don't. I know they're trying to like tie you? him up so that he's tight. not going to okay. be a danger to the not group. So tight, okay. But at the same time, I'm I'm still trying to figure out. Uh, is this really the best course of action given the fact that, you know, there's a snowstorm and he's here in an unheated, like, area? The door is open. You know, he might die from hypothermia. Something along those lines. With Jess, Mike? You know what happened? No. No, I... I don't. I yeah, got a problem, Mike. I don't think he don't was responsible for that Jess. or Matt. Like I, again, I think whatever caused I mean, like, like I those two like I, I would deaths, I think was uh, you know? kind of on the supernatural soft. level of whatever's going on. She's probably got like a really tight bod. Shut your fucking mouth! Oh, he said the wrong thing. Uh, disarm. <laughs> Seriously? What, what? Did you think I was gonna shoot him? I, I don't know. Come on, Chris. You know me better than that. Yeah, Chris. You know me better than that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, just next time, give me a heads up, all right? Oh, you poor little piggies. You can't even get your good cup, bad cup routine to work. Leave us to the <laughs> pros, bros. Why don't you go back to the lodge? Make sure everything's all right. I'll stay here with this lunatic until the morning. Oh, I guess... I guess that explains a little bit. You sure you're okay? But the real question is what happens given the set of circumstances, you know? Is, uh, 
Is the spookum gonna come here? Terrorize Mike? Oh, previously. No therapy session. Just straight on to the next chapter. Josh. <laughs> Josh! How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No! Nope! Because no, they're no, dead. No, they're gone. no, I get it. So is this dead. Is what? this his way of trying to cope with the fact that his sisters Jessica died? I mean, not. Pay, you dick! What happened? It, it's just a little Josh, weird, cause I, I guess he's a psychopath. Josh. That's what Christ. we've been told. Oh, but at oh, the same God, time, God. what I'm trying to understand is, uh, <sighs> he's not really doing anything. I mean, I guess like he's just trying to scare everybody to the extreme. But uh, is this is that therapy, man? Is that therapy, man? Is that where he went? Is that what's going on? Let me... Let me see. So, how long have I been going on? Uh... 2.41. Um... You know... I'm not gonna end things off here, but I think... What would be good might be to take a small little break. So, I think... That's what I'm going to do. Um, there we go. I think I will take a break for like 15 minutes. You know, just try to get my mind wrapped around what's going on, and then uh, well, we'll just keep on resuming, and um, it'll be good. So, yeah, uh, I think all that said and done, I will uh, I will resume in 15. Brb. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm coming back. Um, not much else to say other than uh, I should probably turn the music down. Okay, there we go. Alright, so I uh, got a break. That was pretty good. Needed that. Turn the music back on for this. That's also very valuable. Very good. I would highly recommend. Looks like everything is good. How y'all doing? Um, man. So, Josh is still alive. They He set it up pretty elaborately. Um, all the intermission sessions seem to depict that he is... Here. Like, he set this elaborate thing up for all of his, uh, friends that were there for, like, the big, huge, um... I don't know if camp is the right term. I, I, like vacation, winter break, vacation at the lodge, right? Uh, they were all just chilling. Uh, terrible things happened. So he got everybody who went to that one year later to go back to that. And uh, I mean, he, he he's trying to spook everybody. He's saying like, I'm going to heal everyone. Maybe a psychopath. I suppose part of that's due to the, like, the therapist man. Maybe like, he was the guy who suggested it. Um, still not 100% sure exactly what's going on. Seems like there might be some supernatural elements at play. Uh, maybe. There's still a lot of things that aren't really known. But I guess we'll just resume and see what happens. Uh, revelation. That, that doesn't sound so good. I mean, he seems like an okay guy. Use Get the hell out of here. Now! I, I, I mean, he didn't seem like a bad guy. He just said, use these to get out of here. Seems like there's something else going on. Maybe a Wendigo. Flare, but should we really oh at this God. at the moment? Alright, right, let's go. 
All right, we got a flare and we got to get out of here. Oh wait, I should investigate this whole entire room for a totem. Cause those are important. It would tell us something about what's going on and what, what to expect and uh, may, maybe what not to do. I guess the real question is how long do I have for each flare? Yeah, here we go. Come on. Uh, structural collapse. I mean that that's good. What oh drop down. I, I think that's probably not the wisest idea. Uh I could be wrong though. Maybe that's what we got to do. It seems like going backwards though, but uh hey, what's this? Here we go. Hey Billy, I had a great time uh Something me up if uh, I think it's a love letter, Billy Bates. I mean, oh, okay. Not quite sure what to make of that, but um, Billy Bates. I wonder if that's the guy who's up here. Might have had like a name or not. Is this just a dead end? One giant dead end? I, I think it is. I mean, not that I, not that I mind. Not at all. It's just that I guess we have to drop down into the unknown. I'm not seeing any other route to go here. Alright. Drop me down. This is, this is not going <sighs> to... This is not going to end well for our Emily. This is this is going to end horribly. I'm probably going to die. Just a little bit. But that's how I feel about this whole entire situation. I'm, I'm going to suffer some, some death. And there's a lot of shrieking, which is kind of weird if you ask me. Like, where is all that coming from? A totem. Oh, this is a neat looking little totem. I like this one. White fortune. Uh, from the sounds of it, just uh, piss off Mike. That's that's what I got from that totem. That little scene. Piss off Mike. Just just do it. No regards for whether or not like he's he's good or bad. Just just piss him off. Like he might be having a good time. He might be having a bad time. Just piss him off. There maybe it had like some sort of uh, clarity just just for one second just good old-fashioned clarity I guess that's uh that's aside from now you know we'll just we'll just keep exploring this dank old cave hopefully to find something of use uh, pr preferably freedom oh what, what is this what do we got going on here? Nothing. It looks like a bunch of debris. Hello. What's this you want me to take a look at? Enter gap. I suppose I could do that. In fact, that's probably what I need to do. I was thinking, you know, maybe there's something else here, but I, I guess not. We got a gap. You know, I have a feeling if you ever tried to do this in real life, you would not be this fortunate. You would not, you know, would not have like a gaps or anything going on here. What is that, Banshee? Oh, that was close. There we go. Oh no, my flare. Oh, it looks like a Banshee. Or a spider woman or a ghoul or something along those lines. Drop my flare and now I'm gonna die. Uh to the left. Oh, is that Windingo? Is it? you know that probably would make sense. I guess that's what these things are. Here we go. To freedom, to victory, no victory, no freedom. No, it is. Okay, we're good. I thought it had zero power. I was wrong. 
but that's okay. You know, sometimes it's okay to be wrong, especially in the case of, like, it looks like I have a little bit of uh, freedom. A little bit of survivability. Probably not. Oh man, I didn't, I didn't move. I was thinking, you know, it was gonna be a bad time, big time event. Oh, it's pissed. It's pissed. Gasoline, light it on fire. More quick time events, perhaps. Uh, what, what? What is going on? What are we experiencing? Uh, oh, I probably should have leaped off. Hold on a second. I got a cat that decided to do something naughty. I apologize. That cat decided to get on my computer where, uh, that's not okay. But he's alright. He moved. We're good. Alright, resume. What horrible mistake have I made this time? Uh oh. Oh. No, we're okay. We had one last chance to make it out of there. Oh, yeah, that probably would be good. <laughs> oh, that was close. There we go. Oh, did, did I actually make it? Did Emily actually make it? To freedom? Big time event, perhaps? Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe she might be a little dead. Oh. Emily's not doing so hot. Given the set of circumstances, you know, like, that was impressive. Almost died just a little bit. So, was that the thing that killed, uh, killed Matt? Oh, Emily's still, she's still, she's still going. She's going strong. You know, if this was a regular slasher flick, she would have been now? dead. A long time ago, she would have been dead quite some time. Shut the door, oh my god, shut the door! I'm, are you alright? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming bloody murder. Okay? You were totally wrong. There was something. Where's Matt? Come sit down, sit down. Something's out there. Did you there. guys split up? Yeah. Wait. I'll, I'll give you this. Um. Confused. What are you talking about? I gotta I be said logical. There's something out like there. what? Ash, relax. It was Josh. It was all no, Josh. No, 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 no. Listen to me. We got him tied up. He can't hurt you. No, it was after me and it wasn't human. Hold on. Uh, where's Matt? Wait, Em, where's Matt? Is he okay? Matt, oh god, we, we couldn't use the cable car, so we climbed the tower, and then it fell, and we were down in the mine, like, way down, down in this terrifying freaking mine shaft. Hold on, hold on. And, and then it, it was Matt and me down there, and... Oh god, I think that Matt might be dead. Wait, what? Wow. Emily, what happened? I mean, I know he is, I, I but, uh... I down there in the mines, and then it was dark, and I found this pile and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head, I found Oh it. my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Whoa. Yes, I'm serious. Listen, in in the tower there was there was a radio and and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em. You made it. Oh 
God, yeah, yeah, Byron. Wait, you're both single now. <sighs> what about Matt? Time for some out. rebound. Yeah, I see how it's going. Her. She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. Uh, is that Josh? That Josh also, there's this. another guy. Flamethrower, man. Sorry, man, but he seems like he's an okay I dude. I don't know. He's checking out. I got your back. Good. It's flamethrower, man. He's gonna be your BFF. Look, we already know if there's a serial killer. Uh, it's not Josh, or it was Josh. Uh. I'll demand that he gives uh, me, me the, the pistol. pistol. I mean, you could take whoever it is through sheer good looks and m muscle and all that. Just, I, I should have the pistol. Oh. Huh. Huh. When you put it that way. All right, here. Don't shoot yourself in the foot. <laughs> Funny. You should get your own show. Huh. He's probably an okay dude. Just gotta open the door. There we go. Oh, shit! Chris, hey, shoot him, please! Ah, he's fine. He's fine. No, you can't. Oh, yes. yes, you can. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Nah, just yeah, see, there. don't don't, don't shoot move. the guy that's gonna say probably that save your say. asses. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Our responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. So Josh is probably in danger now. The Washingtons. This mountain <laughs> belongs to the Wendigo. The Wendigo? What is he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. It, it's the thing that was chasing you. Once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? Uh, I told you. So He's this has now become like Jaws, except with the Wendigo. There is a curse. A curse. Wells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. Um. So, that's what happened with Jess. The Wendigo. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. We gotta, we gotta no, save him. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let yeah, me down. Yeah, he kind of did. I don't care. I'm going. To I mean, he did like put you through and trauma I'll and go with you. horror. I, I don't need your help. Me going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe, and don't go outside again until. But we're what back. about the the ghost? Oh wait, the ghost was you don't all. Seem to understand Josh. The magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. I I Makes thought I'd get a choice here, but I guess not. All right, fine. I tell you. Let's just move. Let's just mosey. I mean, I already like our our new protagonist here. He seems like an all right dude. This is the end. You and he gives he gives Chris the I shotgun. The shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? The way you're holding Trust it. Me. I know. Hey. Come back safe. Aww. We need to hurry, son. I, uh... Now I want soon. Chris to live. 
so yeah, so, basically, so uh, on these things. Uh, what's, uh, two people are dead. What, what's the guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. So was this the so, guy who uh, had the wolf? How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you be shooting it a long time. You, it don't you mean die. This thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you <laughs> kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it, and it can kill them if you have to. See, their skin is like it's like tough armor unless Weird. you burn it off first. So, uh, the, the Windigo, I don't know, it, it sort of looks like Gollum, well, if you ask me. What are these me. like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or, I mean, can you figure out what they're going to do? Well, they adhere to some patterns, like any animal, or human. It shrieks like well, a bean cheek. Like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. So yeah, being here is I not good. Any uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're standing still. Oh. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. Interesting. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. Sounds about right. Sounds like I'll be not moving a whole lot given the set of circumstances. Oh no, Josh. Do we get We're to play a chapter Shh. where we get to see if Josh lives or dies? Is that what's gonna happen? Right now. We gotta find Josh. He could still be out there. <laughs> First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. How do you know all this? Yeah. Did you see it happen? Like, what? What? what what's the deal? Him. Why are you such a Wendigo expert? I suppose I should stick close to the guy if I want to have a chance at living. Got lucky. Run! Go! Now! Now! Holy shit! What the fuck? Ah. That's the weed to go. Still looks like a golem. Gotta get out of here! On steroids, of course. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh no, my new BFF, he's dead. Too bad you can't take his flamethrower. Wait a second. Oh no. There goes Matt or Chris. And I wanted to keep him alive. As a, you know, it occurs to me, I wanted to go for like the, the flamethrower. He dead. I'm a horrible person. Oh, so basically, if you're gonna make choices, make okay. them quick. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Let's get down to the basement. Well, hey, I wonder, I me. wonder how the Wendigo's gonna deal with everybody with else. Me. Very quickly, I would assume, but eh. Can, can, can I can I get a chapter where I play as the Wendigo? Wait, who, who is that, Josh? 
That's Josh. Mike, Ash, oh, thank God. Ash, what's wrong? It's... It's not good up there. What, what, what do you mean? Mike, where's Chris? It got Chris. Oh, no. Oh, God, Ash. He Tore didn't... through him like paper. He was out there. I'm, I'm so sorry, Ashley. What about the old guy? No sign of him. I think he's got to be dead, too. Oh, so basically, Mike's our only protagonist Mike, now. These all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay Whoa. put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. I feel yeah, like Sam so is sure. probably the wisest that one in the group. That is what will happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I, I mean... Right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great. Great. Uh oh. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think oh, yeah, there was where bones. that thing lives. And Actually, now that I think about it, I wonder if that huh. correlates to the Wendigo being released. Yeah. It was in the mine, and then the blast crew. I'm gonna get that like, key. Right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, it. and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Something along those lines. And what is all that? I could be so wrong. Old guys but back. it would make a that bit of sense oh, given the set of circumstances. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. Wait, what? You were? Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover-up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like... So oh, yeah. Okay, he's talking about the chapel. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's I'll weird say. is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um, what is the... Huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh it's my nothing. god. It's oh nothing. No, it just oh it, no, it bit no, me and it bit you. What bit you? The the Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal, Wait, okay? Th is that it how it spreads? Hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you. I I know what you're thinking and I'm fine. Are you? Yes, Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, turning into one of the Emily bit you. You could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it worked? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be down Man, with us. I don't, I don't think that's how what? Wendigo Mike? works, but I, I guess maybe. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am. Emily. You can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh, no. You're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh, my God. Will you just go? Go, get out of here. <laughs> Well, well, okay. This sucks. Well, well, Mike, calm down. You're, you're gonna shoot me, Mike? Me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Don't. Not for us. Don't, don't do this. I'm really sorry. Uh oh. I can't shoot her. I mean. I can't do this. That's what I'm saying. I can't do it. That was that was the warning thing, wasn't it? Maybe. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep 
an eye on her. If you see anything weird, she's going to turn. Know. It's going to yeah. be bad for everybody. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. Oh, man. So the real question is, what's going to happen next? Um, chances are not a lot of good stuff. We have a couple hours until I dawn. That, that he was going to help us with a flamethrower, dude. Now we don't have a chance. No. Well, I mean, he kind of dead. Be tough. We've got to do this on our own. I don't know if I can. I was getting close to it until dawn. Cannibalism. Local man found dead. Liars. The journal is an account of the Wendigo. The creature is real and dangerous. If you are reading this, you will have questions, but I do not have all the answers. This is all the evidence and stories of my own experience. Uh, only a few men have dared to... Uh, hunt the Wendigo. I am... Um, a little OCD. I mean, I'm trying to... I'm trying to read it. <laughs> Don't appreciate your comments. Uh... I'm one of, who has only ever kept, uh... them under control. Heed my words, or it... shall be your own death, uh... and downhill, not to be your last. The Wendigo must be... Uh, contained. The Wendigo... Uh, you know, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Cannibalism. Um, uh, miss, uh, death toll rises. Man, this is a lot. You know, I suppose... Um, wait, the bite. Uh, let's Go down miles apart. But the bite is harmless. Uh, I have been been. Uh, but I did not change. Okay, all right. So basically, uh, just because you get bit, does you do not turn into a Wendigo. So in other words, just because um, Emily got bitten, doesn't mean that she's oh. going to turn into a Wendigo. Oh, no, 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 no. What is it? What does it say? Uh, I guess reassure. It says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says she'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me. Is that he fine? He didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's I mean, fair. I guess She's now scared. I would have felt like I'm a real doofus scared. if I would have done. I'm sorry, I'm like, gone I through with it. There's none of us. No. There's no excuse. There's no excuse for this. Please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say she didn't I'm deserve sorry. that. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. Like, now. Like, what, what's going on? Sounds like something's about to happen. Oh, Joshua. You should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger! You so is someone else. Josh like back into... Th I mean, I guess he is. Because we have therapists, man. Huh? Are you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. Uh, While a brief threat was closing in, 
Now it's all about you, John. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. <laughs> so, uh, Your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. Sorry, I'm sorry if I've fallen a little You're quiet. Wrong. I'm just really curious where this is all going. Um, so Can is this all a part of, like, Josh's head? What's um what's the deal here? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Uh they hurt me. I just wanted to but get they back didn't at hurt them. hurt you, Joshua, not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. But no, I, I got hurt. Until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Uh, it, it's just a prank, bro. Just a game? Yeah, it's just a prank, bro. But it's a game that has driven you to one of your own deepest fears, Joshua. Isolation. And nah. Previously. On until dawn, so. Oh God, so many people I died. It's. Uh, I'm just curious, like, gonna who's gonna? <laughs> am I still gonna make it until Ash. dawn? Ash. No. We're gonna be good. We're gonna I be okay. So sorry, Ashley. What about the old guy? No sign of him. Wait. Don't move. Oh, that poor guy. I miss flamethrower man already. He was our want? friend. Another way out. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. <laughs> um, what is that? Huh? This is the safe room, M. Please. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh, you did the right thing. Keep an eye on her. I mean, we almost just killed Emily and things are in, like, yeah, things are probably in the high stakes karma. Oof. Two hours until dawn. So does that mean there's going to be another okay, chapter? Okay, We're in the sanatorium. Oh, man, another totem. Am I, am I the one that's going to suffer this time? Is Mike going to die? I guess he's okay. Here, I was thinking, you know, he's, he's not that great of a guy, but he, he's an alright guy, I suppose. Let's see, what do, what do we got? What's going on? Um, can't go that way. We're in the sanatorium. Doggy! I wonder if the dogs are here. I wonder if, if they'll be my best friend. Will I have Doggo? There's two of them, also. So, uh, I apologize. Like, I gotta explore a little bit. There's gonna be a totem somewhere, I'm sure. Something? Something to investigate, maybe? Uh, it's pretty much just an empty room. Is, is there gonna be a boss battle? Am I gonna have to evade the Wendigo? Is there gonna be a bunch of quick time events or something? I mean, I don't really know per se. I'd assume something's gonna happen. Uh, I, I could be wrong, though. But anyways, uh, no, this is pretty familiar. Uh, let's see. I suppose uh, we gotta find the dogs, right? That That's important. No, that's, um, that's a dead end. You know, it's funny. I forget. Why are we here to begin Holy with? Holy shit. The Wendigo? Huh. I have uh, this isn't anything important, is it? No, just more of this. Let's see, if not that, I suppose Doggo? Or maybe, uh... 
Looks like that collapsed. Oh, cigar. I know it belonged to Flamethrower Man, but it's cigar. Will I be able to pocket it, take it with me? Is it important now? I guess not. Let's see. Um, if not that, I suppose something I could do is, uh, no, no dog, but this is clear. I don't think we had this pathway before. Very interesting. I wonder what cleared it. I suppose it'd be an alright thing to go investigate and look and take a peek. Still curious where dog is. I mean, the guy had two dogs, so one would think that uh, there's potentially two dogs here. Still alive somewhere. <coughs> Oof. Well, now I'm here. Oh, shotgun. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work so well, but at least you have a torch, and that's definitely something in the right direction. And then, of course, you can go for shotgun. He is going to go for shotgun, isn't he? Ah, good enough. Is it loaded? I mean, granted, it's not good to have a loaded gun, but, well, it is, but, I mean, it's just in case, like, an accident happens, but given the set of circumstances, it's probably better that you have a loaded gun, just because you're going to need to fire, given the set of circumstances. I mean, I would check to make sure it's loaded. That's all I'm saying. So we got ourselves a nice handy-dandy shotgun. That'll probably help us out significantly. <clears throat> oh, the man's way ahead. Anything. Shotgun. He's upgraded. You know, he's kind of got a little bit of an ash thing going. He's dog. Hey, big guy. He's my friend. I didn't again, try to punch huh? him or anything. Hey. Hoping I'd run into you again. Oh, pet dog. He's going to be our BFF. All right, pal. You're coming with me. All right. We're Here's going on. I happen to see a map of this place, so we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. Is that what we're trying to do? Think you can handle? I that? mean, groovy. Couldn't have said it better myself. Attaboy. You know, my, Mike's kind of grown on me a little bit. Just just a little bit. You know, made some pretty bad decisions. Now I'm here all alone. Well, I guess I got Dog. Dog is, dog is good. He's good as boy. We got to try to save him if I can. I mean, what, what's better? Lose all my friends, but at least I have a dog. That's all I'm saying. Oh. Okie dokie, boy. Calm down. So clearly, we, we've experienced... Wait, no, I want to go back. I want to... <laughs> I'm not ready to Check leave this like area. Wolfie. Stuck on this side. I'm not ready to go off alone without Wolf, you know, I, I, I make bad decisions, but that doesn't mean that uh, we should investigate, make more bad decisions. Hello. It's nothing. That doesn't look, I guess it's rubble and debris there goes nothing. and other sort of jazz. Now, given the set of circumstances, awesome. here we go. Almost. R2 and push. 
I guess that works. Let's see. What? See that? what doggy! I do got moves. You're here. I don't know how you made it. Movie. But that's, that's okay. Let's see. What else do we got going on here to, tonight day? I guess it's night time. But it's, uh, we're getting close to dawn. Not quite there yet, but I got a feeling we're going to have big confrontation before we actually get to dawn. Let's see. How about a uh, how about a room with blood and gore and um, black wood? Huh? They should be dead. Hold on, everybody. I got a cat that's also being naughty. Went back on my computer. That is very unfortunate, but you know, at least the stream didn't collapse. Unfortunately, I have a cat that has ruined my stream once. Um, it was not so good. Uh, they should. Uh, they should be dead. Um, I mean, it looks bad. Uh, wait, is this saying that the Wendigo is actually, you know, a psychiatric? It's it's a patient, really really tough patient. Is that what's going on here? I mean, I have no idea really what the what's going on. I guess the idea is you know it's a supernatural being. Oh oh no, the other dog. Well, that's horrific. Oh, son of a bitch. He was not my friend. I'm sorry, dog. Jesus Christ. What the fuck have I got myself into? I don't blame you. That's horrific. My poor friend, your 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 friend is dead. Uh here's something interesting. Let us out. We are starving, freezing. I will make you this is not pay stop testing us now looks like nine uh, maybe nine days I mean that's what I got from all that oh, these doors were built like tanks how crazy were these inmates pretty crazy again I think that that might be the wind to go I mean you don't know I don't know. I, I take it they're still playing on the whole supernatural element, so uh, probably isn't. Oh, Wendigo. You saw that in the background? I saw it in the background. It's coming for me. He wants to give me a hug. Too bad it wasn't a bear. That would have been funny. It would have been great. Oh, well, let's see. What else do we got going on here? Any, any more surprises than any other things I can investigate? Doesn't look like it. B-Wing. Uh, I don't know if this is the way I need to go. I'm starting to get that feeling maybe. I want to, personally, I want to investigate a little bit more other places. Uh, this looks good. What do we got here? Some sort of film. You and the Wendigo. Oh, this looks bad. I mean, it's the patient. Um, and it looks like a nurse. And something bad's going on here. Uh, superhuman strength, right? Is that what's being portrayed here? It's freaking Wendigo. It was a patient. And then, uh, you know, you're, you're gonna be like, where did the, where, where'd he go? And there he is. What the fuck is going on around here? It's a it's Wendigo. You know, just, just a normal guy. His name's probably Ted or something. Uh, he's the freaking Wendigo. 
Apologies to anybody named Ted. Uh, let's see. Well, if all that's portrayed, how about we keep on going forward? Forward to probably Windigo. I like to imagine, you know, the Windigo isn't going to try to kill me, but let's be honest, I'm probably going to die. Let's see. What we got here? A file, perhaps? Blackwood Sanatorium. Confidential. That looks, uh, that looks like us. It's not us. Uh, it's turning more Windigo-ish. It's a Windigo. Sauce, Christmas cake. This is fucking unbelievable. Turn into one of them damn Windigos. Oh, let me guess. Windigo. That's not a Windigo. Oh, this is gonna be a Windigo. Maybe. Holy shit! Who is this guy? Uh, probably, probably the Windigo. That's not. Oh, that's that's creepy. He's got a little bit of a smile. You know, he's just okay. All right. You know, I guess it wasn't the Windigo, but that's Sorry, fine. To whom it concerns. No, I wasn't done reading that. It just said to whom it concerns. Uh, they are dying outside. I hear them screaming and crying. This is uh, this hell is my own legacy. God's punishment for my own mistakes. No escaping my fate. Death awaits me now. Uh, Jefferson. I mean, I guess Jefferson. What have you done? You made you made a windigo. At least that's what I I'm I'm getting. It's the takeaway here, you know, the freaking windigo. Uh, okay, so that's cool, I guess. Was there anything else to this, or was that was that just it? I guess that was just it. I guess I can move on with my life. Now that I know that they, they made a freaking Windigo. And here I was thinking, no, it wasn't going to be like Resident Evil, but... Uh, lo and behold, freaking Windigo. Now the question is, was I supposed to go the other way? Not that way. I guess I have to keep on trucking on. I haven't even seen Wolf, which is kind of sad because uh, he, he's a good boy. Yeah, there he is. He's my friend. I gotta, I gotta follow him. But before that, you know, any totems, anything? All oh, freaking wind to go. He's coming for me. He's gonna say hi, and I'm gonna scream. I mean, I can't because I live in an apartment complex and my neighbors would probably be super upset if I did that, but, um, it's coming for me. You know, honestly, I'm fine as long as Wolf makes it out of here alive. If I have to sacrifice myself, I, I will for, for, uh, Doggo. Nah, I think we're fine. Windigo. Huh? Huh? for you, fuck? Doggo. Very interesting. You gotta say that much. Uh, go left. Go left. But Doggo. Yeah, lock yourself. I don't think it's gonna do you much good. What? 
There you go. Right in the face. That probably didn't do anything, to be quite honest. Doggy, you're here. I don't know how you got here, but you're the best boy yet you are. Now I gotta try to figure out what to do. Oh, it's a Wendigo. Another one. So there's like three, four? So I don't, don't move, right? Okay. Don't move. I, I'm gonna fail this. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to. Wait, I, I died? Dog? What happens? Boom. He's, he's, he's pissed. I mean, I guess he's slowing down a little bit, but that, that's okay. Oh, son of a bitch. Doggy. Where are you? <laughs> He's, he jumps so easily. I mean, I guess with good reason. We're basically being hunted right now. Freaking when to go. What, uh. What, what, what? I like how it's so quiet, but right now you're about to get. Yeah, there, there's the wind to go. He's in bars. Is that because I didn't, like, shoot it? Look, it's, it's in a cell. How's it gonna hurt me? All I'm saying is, I don't think there's any reason to shoot them just because, like, they're, you know, they're, they're like locked in cell cages. Oh, maybe that one I should have actually shot. That's the one that's actually gonna come for my head. You know, fine, I'll shoot that one. But now are they all gonna try to come for me? Is that is, is that what's gonna happen now? Oh, oh shoot it. In the head. I have a feeling I would have died if I didn't do that. Okay, quick time events. There we go. You gotta be big and strong. Not good. Oh, we got it. Oh, hey, that's that's a pretty good idea. There we go. There's more coming, you know. Probably should light this on fire. I'll hate this. All right, that's a good idea. Maybe. Just light everything on fire and I'm sure it'll be fine. I, I seem to be alright. Just gotta increase my odds of survivability. I wonder if Dog is still kicking. I, I think he would be, but um, poor, poor Doggo. Let's see. What else, uh, what else do I have going on here? Where's, um, Any totems? Any anything? Anything to look and loot and get and survive? Maybe some more bullets. Probably not, but one would think, right? 
Also, there's like a whole bunch of Wendigos down here. I don't know how and I don't know why, but they were created. For what, for what reason, it's still unbeknownst to me. Oh, they're pissed. Let's see what, uh... What do we got going on here? Maybe? Maybe not. Oh, it sounds like it sounds like one's coming close to me. It's hard. It's hard to say, mainly because I mean, we're in this dank hallway with like you know curtains moving in the background. I suppose trying to explore too much would probably be a bad thing. I mean, I, I know I'm a heartless jerk who's let all... Oh. There it is. Yeah, blow it up. Get in there. It's coming for you. I guess barricade the door. They're pretty quick, so trying to escape might not be like the best idea. At least not before barricading that. Hey, buddy. Come on down. Hey, doggo. Okie dokie, bud. I'll catch Aww. you on the flip side, huh? Poor doggy. At least he's still alive, though. That's all I care about. Let's see. Oh, I guess this is where we're going. Oh, it's pissed. Hey, we did. I was like, I was thinking for a second, wait, wait, hold on. If I go for the Wendigo, probably not going to end in my favor, but if I go for, you know, all the barrels, um, yeah, that works. They definitely don't... What the? Is that me being like, I freed the souls of the Wendigos? I mean, it's spooky. Oh, hey, is this, um. This Jess? In a horrible state? She's still alive? It's impressive. Not doing so hot. Oh, a tunnel to the sanatorium. And I'm controlling Ashley. Alright. Let's uh let's keep on going. I might I might live to see Dawn. I mean we're getting close, but uh Still got to see who's going to live and who's going to die. Judging by the fact that, you know, I still got everybody here. Uh, except for, you know, maybe like three people. Uh, it could turn up pretty bad. Oh, man. And there's not really anything to explore either, which is kind of the worst part. I was thinking, like, maybe they, I'd get a totem. I guess maybe it's too late for that. Oh. Oh, shit. Mike must have locked it behind him. Crap. Yep. There's got to be another way in. Another way in? Oh, hey. Wait. Hey. What about this? <sighs> May Ooh, probably should, not. Should we try it? Oh, it's not like we got a whole lot of choices here. Not really. Oh, he's strong. Remove the manhole cover. It's pretty, pretty impressive, I have to say. Okay, this is maybe the last place I would want to be right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of the last place I'd want to be right now. <laughs> Let's 
Oh, Sam. Sam for the win. It's not so bad. You think this I mean, you say is that, but... Of course it is. Where else would it go? Uh, oh, okay. The long, drawn-out scene of us trying to climb down a ladder. I mean, it's not too bad in terms of at least like uh hey, um hey we should close this right huh i mean what if something's following us yes fine close it but we gotta keep moving can you just catch up please i agree they got some good yeah. survivability uh there we go can you easily remove it just in case you need to go back up You know, if uh, she she's been wearing the bloody clothes, and I wonder, uh, I wonder if that's like actually blood or like if that's um, what that is, because it turns out uh, we didn't kill Josh, and Josh is still alive. He got dragged down into the mines, and Josh is still alive, which is pretty rad. Uh, but the question is. Uh, Matt's not coming back, nor is, um, well, that sounds bad. Did, did they Who's already there? disappear? Anybody? Jessica! Is it you? Oh, it might be Jessica. Uh, let's go investigate the voice. What's the worst that could possibly happen? This is fucking crazy. This is the worst decision of my life. Because I'm going Jessica, to pay for is this. That you? Any totems? Anything? Nice leg tights or those leg bites. I think we got both going on, technically speaking. But yeah, we should investigate the voice, wherever it oh may God. be coming from. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, hey, a totem. I haven't seen one of these in, like, forever. It's green, yellow? Loss. So, uh, someone's gonna die. If, if the Wendigo catches you, it's all over. I mean, granted, they don't have any means to survive, so... That that makes sense. Fortunately, Wendigos don't seem to be able to imitate voice. Or the chances this is a Wendigo. Oh man, there goes Ashley. You know, somehow, somehow I knew I probably shouldn't have done that, and yet I did it anyways. Just as the last totem basically suggested. There goes Ashley. That's unfortunate. Let's see, what else do we have going on here? Uh... I wonder if that means um, Jess is going to die, or do we get to play as Jess? I guess we'll find out pretty soon. Wolf. That's uh, that's Josh. Sam. Okay, we're now we're playing as Sam. Oh, great. Oh, shit. Dead end. No, 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 I think I can. I think I can do it. Nice job, you killed like, Ashley. I know. I'm a monster. But then again, I, I already said I'm probably gonna kill I'm everyone gonna keep off. Going. I, uh, Are you I'm doing serious? this game blind, but at the same Get time, the um, uh, shouldn't we stick together? Damn. Still not quite sure. I, Just I'm a little sorry. too curious. I'm sorry, I have to get Mike. 
With you or without you? Just make it back, okay? All right, just gonna climb, gonna take the slow. Gonna be extra careful with Sam because I wanna make sure, you know, she doesn't die. Uh, climb around. Just gonna take this nice and slow. Quick time events and all that jays. Oh, that was close. Uh, there we go. God, I gotta make sure I I grab everything, have my gotta get up there. Uh, I guess climb around. Maybe I should jump the ledge, but I get a feeling that might be the foolish choice here. Well, there we go. Oh, did I do it? Very good. And. I played until dawn seven times, and I see you killed Chris too. I did kill Chris. That that one was entirely not by curiosity, but because like I was like, oh man, I could go for the tank, and I almost didn't, but uh, I saw it too late, and so I, I stalled too much. I don't want to drop down, not quite yet. I want to see what this is. Huh. Maybe nothing. Basically, I'm, 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 I'm a monster. All these NPCs have put their life in my hands, and I've, I've let them down. Jesus. Oof. I didn't want to drop down because I had a feeling that was not the right way. But then again, what is really the right way? But anyways, um, uh, Gamla, Gamla Frost, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, this is my first time playing it. Uh, I, I have not played until now, so basically this is all blind. Also, that was, that wasn't right. Oh, I suck at quick time events. I might have been okay, though. Seriously. That that was that was her taunting me for doing a bad job. Oh, that sounds like a windigo. Huh. You know, I want I want to I want to say you're going to you're going to live, but let's be honest, if, if Windigo catches you, you're dead. That's what happened with Ashley. Unfortunately. Okay, we got to drop down though. Uh, you are a monster. Can you guess how many times I killed them while I was playing? Uh, no. I mean, I, I'm just saying I'm a monster because, you know, like, naturally, as as me, the player, um, I want to try to keep everyone alive, but uh, they do make it difficult. I'm not going to lie. And so <laughs> I, I appreciate you trying to reassure me. You know, it, it's well respected. <laughs> Oh, I gotta I got go for it. Oh, I got it. I gotta go for it again. Whoa. I was not expecting you to get a home run with bait. So every time you, you uh, defeat a Wendigo, right? you get a burning spirit. Alive, scared. for a start. Yeah. Yeah, life's good. Yeah. What the hell are you doing here anyway? I was gonna warn you about the Wendigos. I think I got it. Yeah. Let's find a way down to where the So he's using lives. the gun, like his shotgun, as a barrier key. <laughs> you know, I'd say that that seems kind of foolish, but I guess it, it makes sense. He might not have enough bullets. <laughs> Matt's dead. Unfortunately, Ashley's dead. Chris is dead. That's three Mike, people. there's no key for the cable car. Josh, you let the wrong one in. Happen. You're right. I did let the wrong oh, one he's in. Gone. We're too late. I played two Shh, times when I killed everyone on purpose. Uh, I have not tried to kill everyone on purpose, but I, I think it like that's also uh, another route to go. Like, there's so many choices when it comes down to this game. Right from that thing's goddamn. Uh, it, it's get pretty rad like that. Oh, 
Wait, that's not what happened. Oh, let's find a way I down to where this fucking Sam bandaged his head off. Yeah, Matt was just me being really dumb. Resolution one hour until dawn. So this, I think this might be the last chapter. I think. Therapist man, time to time to give me that sweet sweet therapy. Time to, time to tell me how much of a monster I am. I wonder how much these sessions are of any help to you now. Just won't listen to me, and things seems pretty. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. Fun you haven't time. really helped me at all. So I, I'm gonna leave you now, Josh. It's so you really were a fragment of my imagination, or rather Josh's imagination. Can be dreamt up by the unhinged imagination of a self-indulgent, spoiled little brat! You had so many people who cared about you, who were willing to help! But at every turn, you choose to push them away, and now you're all alone. I mean, it, uh, I guess this is interesting. Yes, chapter ten is the last one. Oh, th thanks, man. No, you won't be alone for long. Oh. Deep breaths, Josh. Deep Why am I? Am I going? Is Josh going to die? You know, I was curious about uh, therapy, man, because I was thinking like, part of me kind of was like, is he is he like a figment of someone's imagination? But you know, at the start, didn't think that at all. But it was kind of like. Um, no, 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 again. wasn't sure like no, again. where he was in all this, get but no, I guess it, I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, get away from me! <laughs> no, you're dead. Sorry, you're dead. Shut up! Oh. So uh. No, you're dead. That's <sighs> not right. Are you you okay, Josh? Oh, I, I think God. the answer is no, but. I'm just curious what's gonna happen if you run into a Wendigo there, buddy. Oh, okay. Okay. Something I tells me it's not gonna turn I out good. You. I trust you. I think this is the first time I've actually played as Josh. Or that, or it's the second time I played as Josh. I don't play as Josh very much. Uh, he is zero brave. <laughs> He's like negative brave. Um, oh, that's unfortunate about Chris. But Sam's still around. She's still, she's still kicking. No. Is that Hannah? No, no, no. You're not real. You're all alone down there. Hi, Hannah. How are you doing? No, 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 um. I mean, I, I would. All alone. Oh, it's Beth and Hannah. Are you with us now? Family. Get away from me! Get away! I mean, if you Why ask didn't me. Why did you save us, Josh? Why did you want us to die? I didn't want you to die. I gotta be honest. I, I don't really think any of this is Josh's fault. It kind of happened without like him doing anything. He was kind of passed out. Oh, what? What? The... That's pretty gross. No! No! It's a pig. Ah! Wow. Josh Land is pretty crazy, I gotta say that much. I wonder if this is based on the answers that, you know, I, I gave the therapist. I don't take orders from you. No. Is this what you want? No! No! Uh -oh. Why are you doing this? Leave me alone! Why are you doing this? Why didn't you save us, Josh? Josh is, uh... Why did you want us to stop? I gotta be honest, Josh Land is pretty crazy. I'm, I'm calling this Josh Land, you know, like, seeing the eyes of his uh, inner horror. 
pretty horrific. Looks like a windigo. I was not prepared for how ugly that thing would be up close. Uh, Dr. Hill was a therapist. Uh, the therapist was helping Josh, but he refused to take the meds he was given and started self medicating. So much to say, gotta choke myself not to spoil. Uh, I understand, uh, Gamela. Uh, as much as, as much as it's really difficult to, like, go into it, um, again, it, it's pretty blind. Uh, I had a, someone earlier was telling me, like, there was Wendigos, and I didn't even know, like, there was, like, zero references to Wendigos as a, of that part, and it's like, um, th then it started happening, and I was like, oh, so that's what's going on. But... I think it is kind of interesting because I, I do believe Josh in Wonderland, yeah. Josh in Wonderland, a pretty creepy Eldritch like Wonderland. So, I noticed something kind of weird about it. Uh, I think they did uh, mention something about Dr. Like Hill. I don't remember, but I take it that's the therapist the man. So? I've seen it before. What are you talking about? I saw these old pictures of some guys with that scar, and he was transforming into a Wendigo. Oh, right, because well, Wendigos are made. Back in the 50s, they're, the they're created. Which means that thing is 80 years old. <laughs> At least. They all turned into a golem time. creature. They cleaned the known place as out. Wendigo. Killed a lot of people. They? You mean there are more of them? Oh, yeah, there's tons. How many? Too many. They are creepy. To the lair. All right, so now I gotta try to keep everyone alive. This is this is probably gonna be the hardest part right now. I really don't want to go in there. There's no other way. Wait a second. That that there's there's a totem over there. I see it. It's it's right over here. I almost missed it too. Looks like a fortune one. Burn the lodge. That's what we gotta do. We gotta we gotta trap them inside the lodge and burn it. I got it. Uh, I suppose I could do that, but why don't we try to go around? Mike. I mean, is this gonna be instant death is right over here? Death? Shit. Looks like a grave. Oh, that that looks like a watch. Oh, Beth's watch. The Wendigo was there the entire time, oh, God. uh, hiding God. in the shadows. This You're right, it was, but at watch. the same time, what? um, the what game was it? still trying to pull the punch that maybe there was something, like, supernatural, like, a like a, 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 so this is where a, a, like a spirit poltergeist. <sighs> and then, of course, there was also Josh playing, um, you know, Michael Myers, some sort of, uh, good. some sort of, like, uh, Psycho killer. So it was, it was, it was like there was multiple things that were kind of like playing a red herring, but also making you think like uh, it wasn't going to be a Wendigo, and then then it happens. And uh, and yeah, it's like I wouldn't have pieced that. You know that that that's actually what's going to happen today or tonight. Oh Come man. It's okay. You sure? I guess we don't need to worry it. about leeches, That's just hard. hypothermia. <gasps> oh, it's freezing. Shit. Can't feel my fingers. <sighs> Let's see. At the sanatorium, they took more than half of the 30 Myers and experiment on the Myers making them mad and becoming Wendigos. I uh, yeah, that, that seems to be what happened. Wait a minute, I thought you that matches up with what's been revealed so far. It was okay. You didn't like there weren't any sharks or anything in you. Sharks? Great. Thank you. I mean, I would have gone with leeches, but again, I feel like the water is way too cold for that. Uh, but that said, uh, you know, a little hypothermia probably is equally just as bad, okay. if not worse. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. Hey, my my guess is it. it would be a lot worse. I'm gonna make it. God. Don't jinx it! Oh. Oh. Come on. 
Also, knowing my luck, there'd be a Wendigo in the water just trying to, like, sweep you down. And then, uh, you know, muralize you. Wouldn't be great. Pretty bad. Let's see, what else? What, uh... I didn't. I don't want to go back down into the water. I just wanted to investigate. Sure, it makes sense, but um, n now, now we're just being silly and foolish. Take it back. Let's go back up. Meanwhile, Mike's just like Sam WGF. Why? Why? You know, I figured Mike would have made like a little little. Uh, he would have said like Sam. Why? What's the point of this? Oh, all the victims. Jesus. She, she. They let 12 Myers go to cover up the rest of the meaning they took 18 Myers and made them Wendigos. Yeah. Was that Matt? Was that... One of them looks like Matt. One of them looks like... Uh, there's no. Ashley. Oh, Unfortunately. Sick. So this is this is the room where you get to see how many people you've murdered. I think I saw something. Or you let die, I suppose I should say. This is the room that makes you feel bad. Is that Josh? I don't take orders from you. I don't take orders from you. You can't hey, you can't tell oh. me what to do. He's you can't uh tell me what to do buddy. This, this might not be good. He's having an episode. You might not see you as, an, as people. I trust I mean, he is in kind of his own little wonderland. I trust you. That could turn out really bad. What's the matter with him? He's tripping or something. Josh! Mike. Just smack him back into reality. Don't. Don't hit, hit me, please, please, please. Well, you were deep in it, man. Full mental jacket. We didn't think we'd get you back. Hey, yeah. let's just get the fuck out of here. Okay. Josh, do you have the key for the cable car? Uh, yeah. Here. Hey. There we go. Now we're on the right track. You see that over there? That means there's a direct way out. Come on. There's oh. no way Josh is going to make it up there. Okay. If you help me up, I can go back to tell the others we're okay. Yeah. Yeah, good. You bring Josh back the way we came, and we'll all meet at the lodge. Be careful. But what about the Wendigos? I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I, we'll probably be right, okay, but at the same good. time, I mean, oof, it, it's like having a handicap, you know, uh, trying to keep Josh alive. Uh, I have a feel. Am I playing as Josh? I am playing as Josh, okay. Wait a second, is he braver now? He's a little braver. I only say that because his brave stat is blue instead of red. Which might have indicated that I lost brave. Uh, and he's not very brave. Uh, still like Sam a bit. Not too crazy about Mike, but I guess that makes sense. They kind of did hold him hostage. I'm sorry about before, man. I I thought you killed Jess. I was wrong. All right, so uh, what's gonna happen if we run into a Wendigo? I mean, I guess the question is, uh, will we run into a Wendigo? No. Oh. 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 Is, is is Josh making some? <laughs> Making some pretty horrifying sounds. I don't know if he can cope with the fact that uh, people actually did get myrtleized. Oh man! All right, let's uh, we're just gonna keep on going. Now we go back into the water. You know, perfect. Just what I wanted. I take it we're going the long way. 
to get out of this. Just trying to avoid any windigos. Uh, again, you know, like, I, I figure one of them might just try to fish us, like, they take us down in the water. You know, they're just hiding, so we gotta be very careful. Oh, uh, uh, you're not! For real! No, you're not! Uh, oh, no, Josh. Wait. That's, that's Hannah? Wait, what? Was I not supposed to go forward? Uh, well, that wasn't so good. That didn't work out for me. I think, oh, okay. Well, Josh died. I don't know if that one was preventable. Probably. I feel like a lot of deaths are very preventable, even if they make you think they're not. I am surprised, surprised Jess is still kicking. She's one I didn't think would make it. But I guess that's, that's what they wanted you to think. I suppose I do need to go this way. Now the real question is, can I keep her alive? I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume probably not, but we'll, we'll see what's up. It's not looking good. Uh, all right, now I can tell you about Hannah becoming the Wendigo. Um, I mean, yeah, it, it seemed like that's what happened. I mean, unless that was all hallucination, but I, you know, I, I, I can see that. The tattoo would pretty much indicate that. Uh, it does leave one question. Uh, how did she become a Wendigo? because uh, that still hasn't been answered. Allegedly, the journal from um, the guy who was living on the, like on this mountain, um, said that if you get bitten, you don't turn into Wendigo. So I, I take it that's, um, that's not how you become a Wendigo, but it would seem like something happens. Like, is it a virus? Is it, is it something that like, is it, does it make like, what causes you to become a, in, a windigo? Well, I gotta hide. Uh, they're pretty quick. I guess we'll try to hide. There's no point in trying to run from these things. Especially given Jess's uh, status. Oh, are you, are you still kicking? That's impressive. See here, I was thinking, you know, don't don't move means uh, don't move. Oh, it's coming for you. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Uh, breakthrough. What's the worst that could happen? I I die immediately. I got lucky. I wasn't thinking that was gonna happen. After Hannah and Beth fell down killing Beth, but Hannah only broke a leg. Okay. Uh, looks like quick time events. Uh, climb. We're gonna try to take this the slow but more reliable way. And also try not to uh, fail the quick time events, because that's gonna have to that's gonna have a hefty penalty if I fail. Oh. All right, what we got? Oh baby. Oh, I'm a little nervous. Gotta be honest, we did it. Okay, Sam's still kicking. 
I said it at the beginning, if there was anybody who I want to have live at the end of this whole entire playthrough, it, it's at least Sam. Um, she seems to be like the, the one person who's actually pretty legit. Uh, Hannah buried Beth in the mines, leaving Hannah alone using old paper she found writing about how she starved for 30 days and ended up eating Beth's body. So, cannibalism. Actually, they did talk about cannibalism, but, um... I guess that makes a lot of sense. So, is that what happened with, like, the, uh... the miners? Like, there was a collapse in the mine... in the mines, and they, they kind of cannibalized... Uh, some of each other, and that's why they turn into Wendigos. But yeah, that that makes a lot of sense. Here, I was thinking, you know, maybe like at the beginning with uh, with Beth and Hannah, I was thinking like maybe there was a route where you could um, not have uh, Beth die. But I'm thinking, like, it's probably a little more mandatory, especially if, like, she's a Wendigo. Maybe, maybe not, but I feel like it is sort of inevitable. Also, I have a feeling I gotta, I gotta get out of here. One, I know that they like to hide in water, or at least that one did. Had a, oh, it's a Wendigo. But also hypothermia, you know, let's be honest. Don't want to stay in the water any longer than we have to. Oh man, all right, so let's let's keep going. Oh I have a bad feeling. I'm getting stalked. Something bad's gonna happen soon. Maybe it's just me. I suppose I do have to drop down. That or that was a terrible decision. Three days after she ate the body, the transformation began. Hannah experienced her nails being pushed out by claws and came uh, that came later. And she said she was, uh, and she said she was arcing, but she didn't feel well and had no pain. Huh? I, I guess I guess that's what happens when you become a Wendigo. You know, you, you kind of lose all your humanity, also. Oh man, this is the part where, you know, like, this is, this is what determines whether or not Sam lives or dies, isn't it? I mean, I guess I had a lot of moments like that, but th this one especially. Oh, quick time event, okay. The Lodge. Probably not the one place you want to go. I don't think anyone's in there. Did set that place on fire, though. Sam. Oh. Mike. Oh gosh, you look terrible. Gonna look worse if we stay out here. Come on. I have to say, Mike's kind of grown on me just a little bit. Not that I think he's a great guy, but just, just like, all the hell that he's been through. I, I felt like he's, 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 he's redeemed himself quite a bit. Emily, too, just a little what bit. What happened to Josh? I got him. God, what an awful way to go. Not good. What do you think we should do? We should check the basement. Might be someone left down there. Oh, no, they they all... Well, actually, maybe. I mean, we don't know if Jess is still alive. Uh, she's, she is, but she's probably not in the basement. Um, 
I guess we don't know if, uh... See, Ashley died. Emily. We don't know what happened to Emily. She could still be, like, kicking. Or, you know, there could be a Wendigo How somewhere around here. Chances of survival? Hmm? I'm trying not to think about it. Uh oh. Oh my god! Uh, lock. Oh shit! Oh, that was close. I, I almost could stay on there. I mean, not that. I'm not expecting it, but at the same time, I'm really trying not to make that happen. I'm gonna fail this. Don't move, it's it's coming for you. Don't move. Oh, this is tough. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. I'm gonna move. Not intentionally, but I'm trying not to move. I do like the design of these Wendigos, they're creepy. It's great. Wait, so Wendigo Wendigos, I guess, hate each other. Also, is that Hannah? Or is that just like the normal day with a Wendigo? You know, you find a Wendigo and you just wrestle each other. Mike's got a plan, but is it gonna succeed? Is he gonna succeed? Can he do it? Can I do it? You know, I like the fact that basically, you know, you got a... Uh... Oh, big hug. I like the fact that, you know, whoa. <laughs> It's a, it's a tough life being a Wendigo. Be a Wendigo. Okay, don't move. I was adjusting myself and, uh... This isn't good. Oh, thank God. I was adjusting myself and, you know, I got into knockout position before I could just successfully, uh, uh, rest. Also, Emily... Uh, looks like she made it out. I was wondering if she was going to because, you know, Sam and Mike, uh, save Mike. Hey! You know, they know what's going on. Oh, no. I didn't want this. It was such a delicate situation. Uh, you know, but I also didn't want to see it today. She wasn't taken by a normal spirit. She was possessed by the... The... I, the Indian tribe, I guess. it uh, Kind of like an alpha version of the Wendigo that is stronger and doesn't like the normal Wendigos. God, I'm seeing something. It looks like there are survivors. Don't scare up. Jessica to death. Yeah, so let's see. Who made it? Three people? Mike, Emily, and... Uh, Jessica? Well, that's awkward. Fuck. No. Oh, is this actually what, what happened? This is what made Jessica, like, the alpha Wendigo, as you were saying? No, we're just going through all, all the deaths that unfortunately happened. All, all, all my mistakes. And I take it there's a lot of ways um, how you can play this. Now that was just a really dumb one, I, I gotta be honest. That one could have been a lot better. Matt, you know, unfortunately that one... That one was just my own curiosity that backfired horribly. 
Sam, that that was just me trying to be heroic, and it just I it didn't pay off well for me at all. Uh, Josh, well, I, I take it that's a beginner's trap right there. How would you know that you're not supposed to go any forward? I was trying to save. What's his he name? He held it right up to my face. Right here, right in front of my nose, and he could have shot me. He almost shot me, the prick. I mean, you go out with a guy for however long, and you think you know him, but man, this one really takes the cake. <laughs> How did you end up in the line? <clears throat> I was... Poor Jess. She's dealt with him. so much in this whole endeavor. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. He's out of his fucking mind. He wanted to hurt us. Okay? And... I thought he was the one who attacked Jess. So, I, I take it they can't really About explain Matt, the Wendigo. A, have you found him? No. Not yet. Oh, God, he's dead. Isn't he? They're Why all gonna that? talk about the Wendigo, oh, no, and they no, no, can't no, no. really like go into too much He's detail just... without making them oh sound God, like I was such a bitch, they're crazy. And I, I, you know, I maybe could have helped him. Maybe I could have saved him. Nah. Mike. What do you remember? Mike, Mike was a dick. Me. He did. I mean, you know, I was kind of sabotaging their relationship he? a little bit. Did he make it? Josh helped us. And then, well, this is awkward. Fuck, I'd say it. my ex lived and uh, thing, my current girlfriend okay, lived. The Wendigo, it came out of the darkness and it just, I don't know. After the twins fell off the I heard screaming. Cliff, I got out of there. There's uh, no point in both of us dying. The cliff stranger found the, uh, it killed it to avenge uh, Hannah and Beth after that spirit was uh, after that the spirit was always uh, was always like always was released and took Hannah I think I understand so there was some supernatural elements and then there was the Wendigo and that was interesting I think it would also be interesting to see all the credits play with like you know everyone still alive unfortunately for me you know it's like I don't, I don't know if I'll ever see what that's like maybe but uh, for the most part this was me just going through it completely blind seeing what happens I didn't let everyone die which was good um, fortunately unfortunately I let a lot of the, the decent people die really but it came down to a uh, first impression, didn't like Mike, didn't like Emily. I was like, if they die, I'm not gonna really mourn over it. And yet, like, for the most part, I let everyone else die aside from Jess, which uh, she seems like she was pretty okay. She she's pretty she's pretty alright. So uh, at least at least I'm happy about that. Uh, after playing the game, I, I do have to say, you know, uh, Mike, Mike's alright. He doesn't come off great in the beginning, but he seems like he's a pretty okay guy, like, as you play him. Uh, definitely gets stuff done, and I, I like that. Um, Emily, I guess it's interesting seeing her, like, kind of do things on her own, but at the same time, um, she didn't really have, like, a huge redemption arc. A little bit of one, but it, it would have been nice if she had a little more hands-on, but I guess that's the breaks. Uh, also, th thank you, Gamala, for joining me on this endeavor. Uh, I won't. Uh, you want until Dawn 2, but it, it's unlikely because it came out five years ago in 2005. Um, I mean, I w never say never. Stranger things have happened. Although, you know, it is. You might be right on it being unlikely, but that said, I mean, it, it'd be interesting. I, I'd be curious to see what happens. Uh, especially, you know, if it's like another set of teens going up to like, uh, up to, um, the, up to the mountain and then they gotta go fend off against a lot of Wendigos, but I don't know if it would be like too similar. 
Uh, and that's like the only problem I really see with like a sequel. It might it might be too similar. Uh, but then again, like if you have a different setting, but like with Wendigos or maybe like something else, you know, maybe maybe Sasquatch. Uh, I, I felt like it might be a little too difficult with Sasquatch, but you know, maybe maybe it's like in a different location, but like there's a another set of Wendigos or something like that going on. Uh, that would be interesting. Took almost 10 years for Jumanji, uh, got a sequel movie. Or, got a second movie. Yeah. But, I mean, it happened. So, I, again, um, there, there could always be an Until Dawn 2. I mean, also, Duke Nukem Forever, that, that took forever, and then it got released. So, I mean, the strangest things have happened. But anyways, I, I guess we could, like, keep going with credits, but, uh, why, why don't we see, um, status and collectibles, you know, that, that'd be pretty good. Butterfly effect. I didn't really leave anybody behind, but, or did I? No, that looks like it's, uh, looks like I did some things that, like, changed some stuff. Uh, also, you know, we got, we got totems. Some of them were, some of them helped me out. Some of them I probably forgot. I guess I can also see events of the past, you know. Is that Flamethrower Man? Sometime after the prospectors came to mine this mountain. I suppose if I do things properly, I get like the whole events of the past, which talks about people becoming Wendigos. We'll never know what happened. After all these years, after many months, <laughs> until one night, my sight. Until one night. Oh, we were not alone in the woods that night. It, it's Beth and Hannah. So I take it this is how Hannah became a Wendigo? This. Perhaps. Yeah. Well, we'll never know. If you save Josh, he gets captured and becomes. The after Hannah, uh, events of the past is Stranger talking about how it all began. Yeah, it, you know, it kind of is, but uh, current progress and start a new story. I mean, I guess, I guess that would be the proper thing to start again, see what I do differently, but um. I don't know. I think for the most part, um, we we did it, everybody. <laughs> Until dawn. I, I'm not gonna lie, you know. I'm 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 proud that I managed to get through it, and uh, it was good. So uh, I'll probably be streaming later today. Um, as of streaming this, I, I think I might actually try to post this on. Uh, my YouTube channel, so, uh, you know, if, if you're watching that, you know, you can always go to my, uh, Twitch, it should be on my channel, and all that stuff, but at the same time, <laughs> um, for, for everybody watching, uh, mainly you, Gamala, um, I'll, uh, I'll be streaming later today, um, about 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, but, uh, also, let's see, his grandfather started hunting the Wendigos and the, and I, I guess that's the native spirit, or like the Indian tribe spirits, I, I'm not quite sure, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that because I felt like I'm going to botch it, but died when fighting uh, them, That that's unfortunate. But it is good to, like, hear a bunch of this stuff because I feel like it, it's stuff that um, I'd have to play the game over and over to really see what's going on. So I, I do appreciate that, Gamala. Um, it's it's good to have a little bit of the backstory. And I might play this again, like, uh, sometime either, like, stream or, like, um, on my own. But uh, it, it is good to kind of, like, have a little bit of the events explained since uh, there's a lot of mystery that 
wasn't really explained because when you do it, when you play through the game once, you know, you only get so much. And also there's a lot of things where it's like, I don't think you're really going to have a high chance of like trying to save everybody. That's one of the things that I've, um, I, I can say, uh, I mean, I don't think it's impossible. I just think it's a, it's a difficult endeavor that's really unlikely. But that said, I mean, if you can do it, it's like kudos. Uh, that said, I do have to admit, I think, um, I think there is a little bit of leeway where um, if you mess up, like it's it's not complete failure depending on the situation. I know, like. There was one situation where um, it was quick time events, and uh, I messed up with Emily pretty bad. But then I had like one more, and uh, I managed to save her before she died. So, uh, yeah, I, I have to say, like some sometimes it's a little more generous, whereas there's other times where it's pretty difficult, especially with those don't move segments. Those those can be the worst. But I digress. Um, Anyways, they, thanks for joining me. Uh, I'll, I'll be back on later today. Um, and peace.